Well, a very good morning and welcome into the Massey Club in Pukekohe for what is an exciting day of eight ball in Q Sports. It is the VNEA eight ball teams championship, the New Zealand team, the juniors versus the senior and one on one match play. Well, I tell you what, if you're the seniors, you're going to have a little bit of a nervous heartbeat because you don't want to get upstaged by the up and comers. It should be a wonderful day. Looking forward to having your company. And joining me, of course, the man they simply call the professor, the great Jimmy Henry. Morning to you, Jimmy. Yeah, good morning there, Mark. It's great to be back. Interesting format. Really good opportunity for these teams travelling away to get some much-needed game practice under the lights with the television cameras. Yes, definitely. This is one of the best uh, formats and teams there is in uh, New Zealand. So um, at the table, we've obviously got Kieran Dempsey, and he will take on Sean Greenfield. Yes. And so let, let's just, and here is the New Zealand under-21s of Dempsey, Burmester, Alexandria Andres, uh, Gulam Savdar Ali, and Blake Bernard. So it's a good under-21 team. And they will take on the New Zealand senior team. Um, we'll talk through the format. So it is the traditional eight ball. So unders and overs, or stripes versus solids, depending on what your definition of that game has been when you've been growing up and playing tables at camping grounds and at home around the country. Whoever wins the frame gets an automatic 10 points, but the losing team gets a point for every ball they do sink. Yes, that's right there, Mark. Yep, every uh, frame you win, 10 points, and the opposing player, every ball he pots will get whatever, well, how many balls he does pot. So it is basically ultimately done on accumulated scores, across the different matches. So five on yes. five, but each player will play each of their opponents on the other team in just the one frame. There is that New Zealand men's team of Sean Greenfield, Grant Huppy, Alex Hale, Machu Williams, and Stephen Harris. What do you make of that lineup, Jimmy? Yeah, good, solid, experienced lineup there. A lot of those guys there have been playing with uh, at least 10 to 20 years' experience, some of them. So they've got a good, solid, you know, Solid team. And first up this morning, it will be Kieran Dempsey versus Sean Greenfield. So that match will get underway. Yes, and two class players here, Sean and uh, Kieran. And there it is. And let's talk a little bit about the table they're playing on today, Jimmy. Yeah, they're playing on the Valley 7-foot table. Pockets are slightly bigger, so this game here, you can't afford to make a mistake. Otherwise, it's pretty much lights out. So no mistakes. So it'll be Kieran Dempsey with the break. The break's so important. If you're wanting a good break, you won't want a dry break. You want to have some options. Nice break, and he's got a ball. You know, he's a, 
Once yeah. they put a ball, you're pretty much, um, well, hoping they don't. Lovely but spread there, Jimmy. Looking at it, looks more, what, what initial shot, probably due to the fact that he's probably snooked himself on the solids there. So what the well, only option he's got to go stripes? Yeah, he can go, go stripes if he likes. Or he could the, snooker. The only thing with stripes is that 13 ball down here by the blue ball, which is a two ball. That's the problem there. Does but have the ability to move it though, doesn't he? At yes, some point, if he course. decides to. Yes, I think the solids are the ones. I think the six is on. He will just pot that and get to the middle of the table. So he thinks the six is on. I just thought that maybe if we can go above the table, just have a look at what he is working with here. He's going to play the shot. There, there we go. go. Just get back to the middle of the table and then take his options from there. Yeah, really, I was concerned off that break, just that first ball. Was there a pocket for the first ball? Well, he's found that now, and that does open up the table here on the solids for Dempsey. Okay, the three ball. Nice one ball, two ball. So one ball is the yellow, solid yellow. Then we'll come back to that blue twos, kissing the striped orange there ball. And just drops it in nicely. A little bit tricky to get out to the middle here. A little bit straight, but he's got a little angle to work with. Follow through and then to the middle of the table. So it's all about controlling the cue ball, folks. It's all about controlling that white ball. Nicely done. Is it a little bit too hard? No, he's good. He's got a little bit too much angle on that orange ball, so I think he'll take the purple ball and come back down for the brown ball or the orange ball. What are you wanting here? He'll, 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 wanna, he'll just want to play straight through here. He'll just want to yeah. make sure that he leaves zero points out there for the senior men's team and win this 10-0 and that would be a really good start for this junior side. Can he get it done though? Oh, he's going orange here, a little bit risky. You can see why he's taking the orange so that he can finish off purple, black, probably in the opposite side. If it's not on past that 10 ball. If there's been one weakness in Kieran Dempsey at times, it's just been closing out big matches, big frames. And that sometimes just comes with time and maturity, but don't underestimate the pressure these young men are under, and women. And so it's all there to be done. A lot of experience for Kieran. A lot of tournaments played for such a young age. Okay, that was the problem he was going to have. So he's got a difficult shot here on this brown seven ball. And then to come back and play the eight is what Jimmy's saying. Yeah, probably in the corner pocket here and just uh, the black in the right-hand corner. Oh, nicely yeah. played, nicely played. Now, can he squeeze that eight ball past the stripe 10 and take this frame 10 nil? Pick up the immediate 10 points. So really good start here for Kieran Dempsey. If he can get it done, and he does get it done, and just like that, well, wow. it is the VNA New Zealand junior team. What a start. Who start, and, well, Sean Greenfield, he doesn't get to the table. There's the other three players, Alex Gulam, and our new under-21 Cosy Club champion, Blake Bernard. So big bounce, Burmester comes to the table. These young kids can play. So let's just go through this immediate uh, matchup. So we've got Big Bounce Burmester, and he is playing. Who was he playing on the sh sheet here? I haven't seen who stepped up. So we've got Stuart and Burmester up against Grant Harpy. Okay, so what do you make of that break, Jimmy? Well, there's a few clusters, a few clusters there to get sort of um, try and solve. But the solids look the ones to take. Like I say, he's got the two to contend with later on. Now, unlike nine ball and ten ball, don't need to sink these balls in any particular order. You just need to stick to your either solids or overs if you are just joining us for the first time. Because Definitely nine, solids. Nine ball and ten ball, you want to work through an order, one through nine, one through ten. That's a good option he just took there. Look at that, he... Gets the two out as well. But has he got a shot? Yeah, he's on the seven. So good start here again from from Big Sheridan, Big Bounce Burmester. Try and screw back to the middle of the table. J 
just makes it, I think. The green ball is on. You can use the nine ball just to hold the white ball if he likes, or the yellow ball. Two options, yellow or the green. And what sort of cloth are we running on the table today, Jimmy? Yeah, the Predator cloth. So they're on most of the tables in uh, all the Messe clubs. So only the best. Oh, just squeeze that nice yeah. shot from Burmester. Boy. Looks like he's, yeah, he looks like he's home now. Yeah, he looks like he's dialed in too, doesn't he? But there is a reason. There is an industry. One good shot here. Where people are called sports psychologists because sometimes things just come undone. Now let's have a look at what Burmester can do here. Nice weight, really nicely played. Draw the one ball back a little bit and have good angle from the two to get to the five. From the blue to the orange. Little draw, centre table. Yeah, he's good. Perfect. J just explain what you mean by draw, Jimmy. Just screw the ball back, see how the ball went backwards. So there's three shots in this game you've got to master. The draw shot, the follow shot, and the stop shot. Okay. So just follow through with a little bit of spin to get towards the orange ball. Perfect. And natural position on the eight ball. He's got a might, this might be the most difficult shot he's had to play so far. Still not easy. Doesn't want too much weight on it. Plays it nicely. Big pockets as mentioned by Jimmy. Now, this for the frame, this for the juniors, to take another 10 nothing clean sweep. So the score now is 19-1. Still quite a few games to go. Everyone plays everyone. So there's 25 games there to play. And look how fast they do go. Just had some people just questioning, in, just texting in, Jimmy, and just wanting to know why you're known as the professor. Oh, well, I take a lot of people back to school. Here we go. <laughs> do a lot of... Uh, yeah, coaching with these young juniors. And so Alexandra Andres will take on Alex Hale. Yes, this will be a good game. Let's there's talk the teams there, guys. And there's the scores. Let's well. talk a little bit about Alex Hale. A man Alex who Hale. comes out of, well, I think, Tokoroa, doesn't he, Alex Hale? Yeah, Tokoroa, uh, Cambridge area. Very good player. A lot of experience. He's done well in the last... Uh, Year or two in tournaments. Okay, so it's junior team to break. The next round will be the seniors break. Big break here, no dry break so far. Wow, they're on a roll, these juniors. Yeah. It's looking pretty good. Looking at that, Jimmy, solids yeah, again. Definitely solids, yeah. Yeah, pretty much a pocket for every ball. And that's what they will get. They'll come to the table, they'll have a look, and they'll go. Yeah, and you've seen it before, haven't you, Jimmy? Where maybe even off the break, you might sink two, possibly even three balls of one particular, um, either stripes or solids, only for them to choose the other grouping because of the position of those balls. And not just the first shot, the second shot, but for the fact that there is a pocket for every ball. Yeah, one of the top ladies in New Zealand, or junior ladies. Good start. Mm. The only problem is going to be the yellow ball, if she can get the right. There, yeah, she's looking at it now. She's going to have to move it, isn't she, Jimmy? Yeah, just get a good angle off the six ball. Be best to take it now, get it early. It's a little draw into the... 12 ball on the cush there. To see it going low there on the cue there ball. You go. That's that just little stop shot you talked about. Okay, now it gets a bit tricky. The brown ball's going to be her problem now. It's the only problem she's got to solve is that brown ball. It's only in, on yeah, the difficult thing is here too, she can't necessarily, with how close that is to the cushion, she can't go that low on that cue ball, can she? She, no. does, she doesn't necessarily have that control in terms of being able to draw it back. Yeah. So she'll just push through here, push the 13 out the way and stay on the blue ball or the red ball. Doesn't have to hit it hard. Yeah, she's on the blue ball, perfect. 
That's a great shot. Like I said, the brown ball is going to be her problem. She wants to try and get it, get to it now. Or oh, maybe the four. She can get to it through the four ball, the purple ball. When you're talking the brown ball, Jimmy, what pocket will she be looking to try and put that in when she does have to play it? Well, those middle pockets are quite tricky. Tough so the corners on them, aren't they? Yes. So the corner pockets are the best to go to, but if she has to, it is on in the middle. If she gets the right angle. Okay, blue ball, red ball, probably. Purple ball, brown ball. Where is she going? Oh, she's going red ball. Going up the table, difficult shot, this one. Distance she between the cue ball and the object ball. A lot of distance to travel. But I oh, played it nicely. Has she done enough, though, Jimmy? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe the blue ball now for the brown ball. This is the shot here. Has to be a good positional shot. Get to that brown ball and she should be home. Really tough. Having one more look. Yeah, she wants to be down behind the black is probably the best position to pot it. This is top shot. Go towards that black. Let's try and get in behind it as much as possible. Another big shot here. And she does. That's played nice. So it's all there to be done now for Alexandres. Just got to get it done now. Just got to believe here. Doesn't want to get the yips. Okay, so the middle pocket is not the pocket for that purple ball. She wants to come straight across the table and put it down the corner. This bottom right-hand corner here. Bottom right-hand corner, so... Yeah, but... Would be the top end of the table if we were not looking at it from a plan view. So come right back. Just got to pocket this one. This is a big shot here, right here. Andres. She plays it good. So really really nicely. Okay, she's Jeez. only got the one option though, hasn't she here, Jimmy? Yeah. And that is the middle pocket now. Yes, but she's running away from the black ball, you see. So she's just going to nudge it in. Just tap it in. I think playing a slow shot like this is very risky. Yeah. But still, she should be around. She the white ball. doesn't want to go in off here. Leave the white ball where the 10 is. That's pretty good. Wow. And now the eight ball. This, How's that? This for the juniors to lead by 30 points to nothing through the first three matches. And we have yet to see a single player from the New Zealand VNEA men's team come to the table yet. It has been a complete performance so far from the juniors. Can she? Not too much weight here. And high on the cue ball. Spot the ball. Roll it in. Nice she weight. She hits it. Nice Beautiful. weight. And there we go. So the well. juniors win the first three frames. They've won it three to nothing. And, well, Alex Hale just has to sit back there. As was the case with Sean Greenfield and Grant Happy. And just watch an exhibition at the moment from the juniors. Coming up next, it will be Ghulam Safada Ali who will take on Machu Williams. Now, let's talk a little bit about Ghulam Safta Ali. Yeah, fairly new bloke that we've um, got from the schools. He's only been in the game for a couple of couple of years. We've had a lot of time with him. And he's uh, sort of new to the game, new to the competition, new to the uh, streaming, but still a pretty good player. Now, he's from White Trot, is he? Down Stratford Way? No, the next person is young Blake. Blake is. Yes. Right. Okay. Blake Bernard. Okay, Gollum, you got to follow suit. All of them had clearances. Look at the score, folks. Thirty to. Yeah. It's actually thirty. It's actually twenty-nine to one. They did get one ball. Off the break here. So it's twenty-nine, one. No, oh, that's not the that could be a foul break there. Four balls should have hit the rail. So just explain that rule, Jimmy. So when you do break, four balls must touch a cushion. I only think three balls touch there. So what's now the scenario? So the incoming player has the right to break, or he can send him back in and break again. 
in what traditionally is the best option here. Yeah, for the incoming player to break, like you said, in the last three breaks, those guys are broken and cleared. Yeah, here is um, Marchie Williams too. Very, um, talk a little bit about his proficiency, Jimmy. Yes, well, he's from down the line. Um, he's just driven up here the last day or two. And he's uh, fairly new to this game. He plays out a Hawera. Yeah, so he's a good Taranaki boy. Yep. Oh, good to see. I tell you what, if you say he's new to the game, he's got to this level pretty quickly. He must have some talent. One of those guys who's what, just been mucking around and at home or in old tables somewhere or in pubs and clubs and decided yeah. to take it seriously after all these years. Yeah, yeah he actually comes from, um, where was it, Wanganui. Okay. Wanganui, yeah. He's what, yeah, four hours, five hours away. Okay, so two stripes and one solid have gone down. So automatically a point to somebody if, in fact, they do play through here. A lot of experience. Guy that's been bought up playing snooker. As you see, he's got a snooker queue. So smaller tip? Yeah, smaller tip. Benefits of a smaller tip versus a, th a thicker tip? Or well, is there no real benefit? In fact, no. if anything, is it's probably a, what potentially could be a little bit of a weakness? Definitely, 100%. He hasn't got much power in those sort of cues on these tables because the ball's a little bit bigger. Mm. So you are watching, if you have just joined us, the VNEA eight ball teams. And this is a wonderful initiative by New Zealand Pool Association and the Massey Club in terms of taking our junior, which is under 21, up against our seniors in match play. Five members on each team. Each member plays each person on the opposite team in just one frame. Ten points for winning the frame. Okay, just playing the safe shot there. Just letting the other player have a go. So Gorlam will come to the table, probably take stripes. The starter there, the 14 ball is the starter. Big thing here for Gorlam, it is, you know, big occasion, television table, bright lights, people watching him. He's going to have to deal with it. And it does take time to adjust, doesn't it, Jimmy? You know, at peripheral things, I say, it's often greater than the sum of its parts when you get to this level. Definitely, yeah. So they've also got the uh, senior VNEA black team, which consists of me, and myself, uh, and a few other players, which are Alfonso, Roldan Lag Lago, yeah, Tony Federell. Yeah, and I was going to ask, actually, when just looking at the lineup of this team, one thing I've noticed is the, and I was going to ask you, is where are, in fact, those players of, the Filipino descent particularly, because we do have a strong contingent that have really lifted the standard of the game in this country. Yeah, a few of them have pulled out visa issues and family commitments, so, and also travelling to other places, so yeah, we've lost, lost a lot of top players. But the players we have got are good enough to fill their shoes. Still no ball on. Nobody wants to take the risk yet. Only because that big big cluster in the middle of the table there. I'm almost tempted here. If I'm much as to maybe just break this up and just put a bit of pressure back on the young man yes. making his television debut and see how he responds and see whether if there are any sort of possibly mental frailties and put the pressure back on him to sink the balls. And it's one thing you often get with junior athletes in junior sport. Yes, they can be physically fully grown and the rest of it, but they not quite have the mental proficiency just yet in terms of their sport or in terms of dealing with pressure. See, I'm not meaning that academically. I just mean in terms of just handling pressure that's right, in yeah. situations like this. And that, that's in all sport. Okay, cool. I, I think that 14 ball is okay to take because the 10... 211 plant might be there. Now he's going solids, the four ball. Okay, he's going to open a can, open a can of worms here. 
Once he plays the shot, it's going to be all open. He's made it too. Wow. Great That's shot. Great shot. We talked yeah. about, well, I talked about maybe Christian his mental fortitude. He's just showing me that perhaps he's got a head like granite. But here he goes. And, and in terms of a player this at under 21 level um, for Gulam, I mean, his understanding of the game is where it needs to be in terms of strategy and understanding the different shots that are on available and what the options are? Yes, well, you know, he's, he's, he's actually deserves his place in this team. He's done a lot of hard work. A few things to polish up on, but yeah, he knows the game quite good. We've had hundreds and hundreds of frames. So, so far, so good. Yeah, not too bad. What's he going to run the three and then what, the green six? Yeah, go down the table and back up maybe for the orange ball. Oh, he's playing bottom on this, so he's going to swing out somewhere. Stop shot. Yeah, great. Nice shot. Oh, lovely shot all just yeah. kissing that striped 10 ball. Well, these guys are on form. Okay, just touch it in. And then a shot. We're off toward him. Oh, he's a little bit straight, but that's good. That's pretty good. So he's six ball, then back to the eight for the yep. juniors to take the fourth of four first round rubbers. So I don't want to jinx him, but I've... He's played this shot hundreds and hundreds of times. So he knows the shot. Beautiful. Perfect. Well, the juniors yet again. Yeah. The senior side will pick up some points here because there have been a number of strike balls that have gone down the table. Jimmy, what's your math count there on the table? Yeah, so he's, he's got five balls, so he gets two points. So they're like 40 to three. Still four rounds to go. You never know. So... There you go, 43. The juniors dominating through this first round. Just one more player yet to be seen who will come to the table. And this is the man from White Truck. This is the man, Blake Bernard. This is the boy, yep. Up and coming. Yeah, he'll definitely get a title before, you know, his pool days are over. I've got to get me one of those shirts, Jimmy, with Watto on the back, mate. With what? Watto. Everyone calls me Mark Watson. Last oh. name is nickname's Watto. Oh, I thought it was the mouth. Somebody no, 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 no. Little no, kids no, try no. to give you that name. No, no, not the mouth. <laughs> no, gum flapper maybe. <laughs> no, I've got to get one of those shirts, and you could have the line confusing ability with ambition. <laughs> Basically saying that my ambition is way greater than my actual ability. Anyway, we do get back underway, and of course Stephen Harris will be representing the New Zealand team. Yeah, another person that's got a bit of experience. He's been overseas to these uh, events in Vegas a couple of times. So he's got some experience. Another guy, this guy here, can play. Just freshly new off the New Zealand Cozy Club champs, junior champs, that is. A couple of days ago, he won that tournament. And I can see him running out here. Yeah, it's great, isn't it, when we get these guys and they've had, you know, we've, we've seen a lot of them play in different tournaments, juniors, and sometimes just getting the yips and not quite delivering. And it's important they do win. Yep, they've got to learn how to deal with losing, but it's important too along the way they do get some wins. They do just get those little moments, which still gives them that belief. Yes, and once they get those, you know, the feeling of a win, they come in like, yeah, they just keep coming. Well, it's a habit, isn't it, Jimmy? Yeah, that's the word, habit. Knows how to win. Okay, this is the first round for the seniors. Not a very good start. Could be all over in two or three rounds. One have to play the rest of the games. Yeah, like you say, I mean, we know in sport it ebbs and flows, and we are, are going to see some momentum swings at some point, aren't we? We're going to see some momentum swings at one point. I mean, the benefit of this is it's just the one-off frame, so you can take a few chances. You, you've got to be positive. Got to back yourself. Boy, nice little grip there, too. He's a really beautifully balanced-looking player, isn't he, Blake Bernard? Good players and sports people have come out of White Rock, Tony Kemp, former rugby league. Yes, I remember him. International. Got a tricky angle here. Might have to try and follow through. Put the orange next. The shot is some 
right spin but it's almost a bit of a Chinese snooker having to play over yeah. the top here of the screen six ball it's going two rails I think oh well wow. nice straight up the table look he's on the six ball too which is great <laughs> wants to take that green ball now unless he can draw back if he plays the six is he drawing back to then play the yeah the orange ball just orange needs to leave ball. the white ball there white ball there is good Difficult one though, isn't it? Drawing back and having the right weight to play the six. Okay, he just wants to hold this white ball. Which other white ball will hardly move, even though there's a big angle there. He wants to just try and hold it. Soft touch. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Where's the black ball going? Gee, that's like... Uh, Four clearances from the juniors and one win. Draw back, put the black in the same pocket. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just doesn't want to go in off, off that nine ball. No, it's just there for a moment. Just He should swing past that nine ball, the yellow stripe ball. So this to go up 49. See, there you go, and there's that does it. Wow. And does it beautifully. So another really good performance this time by Blake Bernard over Stephen Harris. And we will introduce you to, to the New Zealand senior team shortly, but we just haven't had the chance so far <laughs> because they, haven't the table, they just have they? haven't been at the table. Yeah, they don't look overly concerned at the moment. Still four, four, four more rounds to go. Pretty relaxed. Uh, Jimmy, um, probably an opportunity too. We just want to acknowledge the passing of Chris Bowman, uh, yeah. one of the real stalwarts of the Q sports scene in this country. Um, sadly passing away in an accident a couple of weeks ago. Um, what a player. Uh, what just a lovely gentleman and just, I don't know, just, just was a wonderful ambassador for the sport. Yeah, that's the exact words for it. Great ambassador of the sport, a great sportsman, a great player. Be sadly missed. And uh, yeah, he was always my first man to go to whenever I Look for a team. He was the first guy you yep. go to. And that that right there is just, you know, wonderful credit to him. And because you want that guy that you can rely on. You want that guy you can go, go to the trenches with. And yep. that was very much Chris Bowman. And so thoughts and, of course, go out to his family. And um, he would be sadly, sadly missed. I had a couple of times where I've spent a bit of time just chatting with him and finding out a little bit more about him. And, yeah, just, just a really humble guy too. Yeah, great player. Thousands of memories with Chris Bowman. So dry break, is it, Jimmy? Yeah, dry break. Young Kieran Dempsey at the table. Yeah, boy, bit of a cluster, isn't it? So what what are your immediate thoughts here, Jimmy? It looks to me like possibly stripes might no, be the best option no, here but you're saying solids yeah, because solids. everything's free up at the other end of the table well he's looking at stripes too oh no solids are the ones yeah everything's there yeah now watch how he does it he'll come up the table finish these three off down the here down the bottom of the table oh he's opening up trying to open that black up but he didn't need to it's still not bad it's still not bad he's still got to move that black again once more you can do it from the three so this is what they're talking about. So they'll stand up at the table, they'll map it, they'll know where every ball should go, they'll look at it and go, right, what ball's going to provide me the greatest difficulty? What ball doesn't have a pocket? How do I move it? And still can train, control the white cue ball while also potting the object ball immediately in front of them. So a lot goes on here, and that is the control of the spin. Okay, just what they do. watch out for the black. We try to move that black. He hasn't quite done it yet, has he? Still, as long as he's at the table, he's got a chance. Yeah, he's got a lot of hard work to do now. The one in the black are the problem balls. He'll come back down the table later on for those. Top of the table, finish those three off. Okay, here's an opportunity, opportunity here to open the one or the black up. If he doesn't do it here, he's going to be in big trouble. That's the thing, if you go too early and don't finish it, you're in trouble. Yeah, just got to slow down here too. A little feel like they're under a bit of pressure with the television table here. Just got to take... Oh, missed it. Went for it though. And now the door of opportunity opens. The first real opportunity now for this New Zealand senior men's team. 
but certainly, Jimmy, what do you make? What do you make of yeah. their chances now to play through here? Well, not a very good chance because of the blue and the green ball, striped ball on the other side. He has to get to those two. And he's made a little bit harder there by putting that two ball there. That's his problem around that area. Grant Happy plays out of Hamilton Massé every Monday night. Good, strong, solid team he plays in. Yeah, that's a good shot by Grant. Get it out early, open up his cluster. So Grant Happy is the player at the table. So probably the messiest frame we've seen so far, but that is the tactical side of it. And that's the thing about this, there's probably never been in the history of this game, worldwide, one game that's that has exactly shot. mirrored any other game ever played. And so as much as you practice, there'll always be a different scenario. Definitely. Okay, he's going to try and open balls up here and as hard as he can and hope. Yeah, he didn't quite do enough, did he? Yeah, he's still trying to work on his problem, but uh, he's left his one in, black ball untouched. Okay, Grant's got plenty of time. He can just push balls around here until he's ready. He's nominated the forward in. Good shot. Okay, you can play this purple ball and screw into the black, which will open the black and the 13 up. Okay, so the 13 is the orange stripe ball down here, bottom yeah. left. And does it. it. Oh. Nice at all. Oh, That's good. Himself. That's good. Okay, one good shot here, one in the game. It's nine ball in the corner. Still got a bit of work to do once he puts his nine ball, the 13. You talk a little bit about Grant Happy. Yeah, from Hamilton. He's been playing the game for quite a few years now. Probably not as many as uh, the other seniors, but yeah, he's, he's playing good. He hits the ball nice. Mm. Okay, here's the problem here that he was always going to face, the 13 to the 11. Where's that 11 going? He's got draw on the ball. Oh, screws it, screws it. Oh, difficult shot now. Might have to go in off. Okay, so 11 ball. Just try and pot the 11 ball, let the white ball go. Going to cut it? Yeah, cut it in the top left there as we look at it. The left corner. Let the white ball go. Nice try. He would have been perfect. Oh, no, no, he was short so, on the so, white ball. So, Jimmy, I see down off, but I meant the bank shot that was never on the bank shot. Well, the cut was there, you know. I mean, I asked that because I think most of us at home who don't understand this game at the level you do would probably automatically go, oh, yeah, I look to bank it, I look to just use, use a, real cleat, a real common term, I look to ricochet it off the cushion and put yeah. it in. Yeah, the bank shot, the double, yeah. Kiwis love those shots. It's box office and the, it's television stuff. Great shot by Kieran. A little bit straight here, so you can see some action on the uh, white ball. Follow through with plenty of spin and running forward off two rails, maybe. Is that hard enough? Yeah, that's pretty good. He's a good player, isn't he, when he's on? He's the type of player, if you leave this table open, he will he will wipe the floor. Definitely a player of the future. I've been saying there that for we go. years. So, another opportunity, but some valuable points gained by this New Zealand men's team, which could come back and make a big difference. So Alex Hale will come to the table. Yeah, another good guy, Alex Hale. Another guy that's very engaging, easy to talk to. So that's score at the moment. Is the juniors who lead by 70, 60 points to 10. 70 points to 10.
There it is, 60 points to 10, in fact, just confirming that for you. So Sheridan Burmister up against Alex Hale. Alex Hale at the table. Very, very good, precise player. He just decides that he want to just break that up and look to move that 10. Difficult shot now coming up here, Jimmy, with the control of that cue ball. That nine ball is the ball that's going to offer the greatest degree of difficulty. 10 is open. Let's try to go into it then. Now he's going to try and get into it again. Okay, so when you're in this position and you don't get to your nine ball strike ball, you're in trouble. You're pretty much 95% you're going to lose. It's going to be a slow death. Yeah, it's a tough game, isn't it? Because we look at it at home and you just see such a big heavy ball advantage in favour of the stripes with only just the one ball left on the table. But it's such a difficult shot. And now, Okay, here we might see one of your bank shots. No, I don't think that's on. You might call this corner left-hand pocket by his hand. Tough shot. Yeah, he has called it. So what's he calling, Jimmy? This left-hand pocket here. The bottom, bottom left. Bottom left. He's gone for it. It hasn't worked, but he oh, might, have, might have come out with second prize. Yeah, tough shot here for Big Bounce Burmester. What are his options, Jimmy? Does he look yeah. to run the brown six, or is he going to look to play the two? Yeah, he can play the seven. Seven, seven my apologies, yeah. the brown seven. Yeah, the brown seven's a shot, because even if he plays it at a slow weight, Alex will still have to make a double. I don't really want to go down table there, Ker I mean, Sheridan, because you're gonna, if you miss, you lose. Okay. okay, he's confident, he's confident. That's why I said, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. There you go, big bounce. Burma starts, says to Jimmy, the Professor Henry. You can take a lot of people back to school, but you're not taking me back, Jimmy. <laughs> okay, nice stop shot. Give um, Alex a jump shot. Yeah, he wants to play the five, so stay in so close. So now we're just starting to see him defensively. Remember, it does have to come off the rail. One of the balls has to come off the rail on a snooker. Can't just touch it in behind with neither the cue ball or the object ball coming off a rail. That's what I mean, folks. If you... Don't finish your set. You're going to have a hard time getting that last ball. Yeah, it's a little bit here, really, isn't it, now? It's a bit of hit and hope. It's a bit of, like, yes. you're just going to have to take your chance. OK, can I pull out the television shot? Can I pull out the miracle shot? Why not? Let's give it a crack. He's going to go with the jump cue. He's going to have to really come down on this quite hard. And so that nine ball, if he sinks this, you'd think that he should win the frame. But this is a low percentage shot. But you admire him for it. Yeah, okay, so at least he at least he hit it and doesn't give a ball in hand away. Okay, Sheridan might run into this little cluster on the left hand side here. Or he could just pot it and pot the six up the corner. He okay, tried to run into it. He doesn't get much luck. Okay, again he can just snooker Alex again. Touch the orange ball, sit behind the green. Yeah, he does. He knows the shot. Yeah, well played. We said big bounce, Burmester. I mean, he, he he's a guy who's been around a lot now. He's won some big tournaments. Starting to come into his own. He's got that confidence. He, he's another very likable young man. And so, you know, well, he might be an under 21, but he wouldn't look out of place in the open men's team either. Definitely not. Okay, if I was Alex, I'd move that six ball, hit it up towards the, because that'll be, yeah, that was Sheridan's breakout ball. He would have used that ball to break the orange and so the So he does get ball in hand, ball. so he's done it yeah. deliberately. He's deliberately given the what cue ball away, but there is there is method to the madness, Jimmy. Okay, so Sheridan's playing a TV shot here. This is not the right shot. He's going to try and open up those that little cluster. Okay. But he's confident. He is confident. And that's what we want. We want entertainment. We want guys to take a chance. Just watch out for the on-off, mate. 
off the edge of that five. Just got to remember, Las Vegas wasn't built on winners, folks. Good line there. He's done it, and oh, he's broken it up. Nicely done, that. nicely done from Big Bounce Burmester. Well, he one. says to the professor, you doubted me. Twice. Twice, and now I've come back and said, basically put his fingers to his lips and said, Jimmy, 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 I'm a different player today. Great shot. Good finish. Yeah, nicely done from Big Bounce Burmester. I tell you what, these juniors just extending that. That'll be 70 to nine. 19 shortly. And now this to pick up another 10 points that that New Zealand senior men's team they'll pick up 9 as nine balls were pocketed. So it'll go to 70 points to 19. In fact, 70 points to 16. My apologies, of course, just the seven balls same. Still thinking it's 10 ball for some reason. But we will dial in. I went for a cease from this morning, Jimmy. Well, that would have been great, mate. Nice yeah, cool it was a bit cool out there. It was um, pretty rough. Did three and a half kilometres. This was visualising what I had to come, thinking, God, I'm going to go from here, I'm going to have a beautiful drive, I'm going to catch up with my good mate Jimmy, the Professor Henry, and I'm going to have an afternoon and a morning of calling Q Sports. It's been a while, hasn't it? We've sort of, um, I've been around the country doing rowing and water polo and back to doing this sport. I love it. 70 points to 16. There you go. There you go, folks. The senior team have yet to get a win. Yep. Could be all over and... I'll let, you, rounds, I'll let you do the maths on it, Jimmy. So, of course, 10 points if you win the frame and then a point for every other. If the losing player still picks up a point for their sank. So, really, we saw seven points because they sank seven out of the eight previously. Okay, a nice break there by Machu Williams. Solids look good. Solid, solids look real good. Yeah, so... Opportunity here now for Machu Williams. It's a little bit short on that shot there. Now he's going to probably play the. And I think his cue might have let him down there. Now he's going to play the triple plant, 7 6 2. 7 6 2, big shot here. So brown, green, blue. Sit back, yeah. folks. Here we go. A man from Palmerston North, Whanganui, in fact, Wanganui. looking to try and make a television moment. Oh, no, he's got no. the green ball. Oh, I mean the uh, purple ball, four ball. But look at that. He's made a few more clusters there. Much harder run out now. Yeah. He won't be running out, folks. Guaranteed. So he's going to need to play defensively at some point. Or he's going to have to play hit and hope. Yeah, hit and hope. He's got the uh, black ball to contend with, the orange ball. He's in trouble. Yeah. Okay, so the incoming player, the key here is to get rid of his, uh, you know, hard ball, get the nine in the open. Oh, went for the bank shot, didn't he? Yes, he did. Looked for the television shot. Okay, Alex, Alexandra, Andres at the table. It, the thing's at some point, isn't it, for this junior team, if they continue just to keep accumulating these points, yes. at some point the pressure comes off a little bit, but then there's that decision, do you want the pressure to come off? You know, we're actually playing well under a little bit of pressure. So it's an interesting scenario that can play out. But it does just mean that they can just play possibly with a little bit more freedom. Now... Here's a chance here. It's going low on this cue ball. Missed it. Okay, Alex should put that nine ball. Get it out of there now. Got plenty of time to get it out. What pocket's the nine ball going in, Jimmy? Middle pocket. 
was good enough. She needs to do something with it before. So she's going to bank this. Well, she can play this uh, 15 ball past the green ball, the crimson strike ball, and screw into it if she wishes. She's got that shot, she can play that shot. Not just yet. Okay, she can take all her good balls away and leave that nine ball for last, which is not the best way to play this frame. that right back up the table now tough tough position here got some options though what's she looking at Jimmy uh, probably the blue ball now 10 ball yeah the 10 ball blue strike ball She's taking a lot of the good options away Going high on the cue ball, so I'm looking to just run through here. Nice shot. Okay, get rid of that orange ball now. Just pop the ball, hide behind the uh, stripe ball, the green stripe ball, leave them, leave them snookered. So that's a good tactic now. Now, if she wants to play it, has she seen it? Hope you are enjoying coverage here of this. VNEA 8-ball teams competition between the New Zealand under-21 junior team and the one of the New Zealand men's teams. Doesn't have to hit it hard, what's she doing? Just have to, need to touch it and leave her ball there. Yeah, if she would have touched it in, she could have got a snooker out of that behind the strike 14 ball. Anyhow, that's a good shot. So that is the score at the moment, 4-3, and that's just based on the number of balls that have been sunk. Whether you own the stripes or whether you own the solids. Machu Williams is the man who is playing the solids. Or everything from seven down. And just nice, that's much better weight from him. I'm not going to drop, though. Still pretty good. Alex hasn't got a pocket for that. Purple strike ball. No pocket there, so she wants to pot a ball again. Just give him the uh, yeah, give him the blue ball. She has to give him one of those balls. Take the green ball. Yeah, eight balls, um eight balls in a tough spot, isn't it, for Machu. So yeah, maybe what does he she look to plant? Which yeah. 12 onto the green seven. Yeah, put the, the seven shot. down. And then the green six, yeah. She green want, six. Yeah, she brown seven, of course. She don't want doesn't want to disturb the eight ball. She's gonna disturb that eight ball, I think. Playing this shot. There you go, she did disturb it. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> wow. Yeah, picks up the top prize and picks up second prize as well. Run out here now. What a shot. So all these young juniors are off to Nebraska again in July. You've been to Nebraska, Jimmy? Yes, I have. Yeah, and what did you make of Nebraska? Nice place, nice little town. Great shot. Wow, what a finish. I never thought she'd be able to finish that, but wow. Still got a little bit of work to do. Have to get, has to get to, to that uh, purple strike ball. Easy chance here to snooker herself if she does put this 15 ball over the pocket. Play the right weight and find the right line to the 12. Nice. Oh, snooker herself. You talked about it, Jimmy. Has she got a angle through here? 
We might just have to go above the table and have a wee look here. But might have just put herself in a tough shot. Yeah, I'm not sure she can squeeze past that, can she? Jimmy might need to come off the rail and look to just try and cut it and hit and hope. Yeah, a low percentage, percentage shot, but she has to call a pocket. That's the thing, you can't just hit and hope and, and go in any pocket. No, I'm saying, but certainly that top right-hand pocket. Yes. But come off the rail and look to just try and cut it in. Is that the option, Jimmy? Or Definitely the option. See, there's a little window between that eight and that blue ball where she could have got to. So this is exactly what she's trying to do here. How much weight does she put on it? She's wow, hit it hard and she pulled that. it off. <laughs> Television shot, but might have just got herself into a little bit more difficulty. Really tough eight ball coming up now. But boy, that is a very, very gutsy, courageous shot from Alexandria Andres, and she's pretty happy with that too. It's the only option. She took a chance. And nothing ventured, nothing gained. So really, really good from Andres now. Equally difficult shot here. She's going to kick this one too. This is Jack up again. She's going to Let's have a look. If she misses this, you sense the frame will go comfortably the way of... A little bit higher, needs to check that you Williams. Higher. There you go. See what she can do here. She's in good form. She's playing really well this morning. A little bit unlucky. I'm lucky to get snookered there. And now, ball in hand for Machu Williams. And really, it should be fairly fundamental from here for him. He's got options. The good thing about Alex, she did get seven points. Does get seven points. Yep, so the seven maximum points so she has sunk every one of her strike balls all these young players will be wondering what sort of cue much she's got never seen one like this in their lives i don't think a few of them it's not about the cue he's got the win that's yep. the main thing. I keep saying it, and I mean it probably a little politically incorrect these days. It's the Indian, not the arrow, Jimmy. Now the shot tape runs it down, and that is the first rubber, the first frame that we have seen go the way of this New Zealand men's white team. And so... They have closed the gap. However, as mentioned, Alexandra Andre is picking up the maximum seven points available for the player who does lose the frame. should mention, too, there is a black team that is heading off to the VNA World Championships, which will feature Jimmy Hendry, the man next to me, Richard Alfonso, Roldan Lago, yep. Ronald Lopez, and Tony Farrao. To break. Stephen Harris, first time we really can have a proper look at Stephen Harris, yet to feature through that first round of match play. Sides in Cambridge, plays out of Hamilton Maste. Played Done a bit of work with him, Jimmy? Um, no, no, not really. So, oh, oh dry break. Who's he playing? Who's popping out of that seat? I think it's Blake Bernard. Blake Bernard, the young man out of Whitera, who recently come off the back of a tournament victory. Is it? No. No, it's, no, it's not. Our apologies. So it is Gulam. Lam. Safta Ali. Mind you, he looked good too, didn't he, through that first round? A player with confidence as well. Let's look at the seven and see if, if that's available. But that's a pretty tough area to get into. It's real... Tough area. Uh, Jimmy, we've talked about, I mean, clearly you do a lot of coaching. W where's the coaching at these days with Q Sports? Have we got some good coaches starting to come through? Oh, yeah, we've definitely got top coaches. Marco Teutcher, Wayne Carey, Theo Mullen helps us out. So we have got the coaches. 
and as you see we've got the results as well these guys have only been playing for five years max of that Good start by Gullum. Tough two ball down the corner. Watch out for the middle pocket. He needs to play what's in front of him at the moment. That's right, yeah. Just run the balls in. Get a bit of confidence. That's a nice shot. And that's one. Okay, so he wants to play this red ball leave himself an angle maybe on the purple ball to open the brown ball. Okay, so purple four there in the middle of the table on the brown ball, just sitting behind that blue striped ten ball. And that is the order in which Jimmy's suggesting he will play. Go. Yeah, he's looking at it now. He's seen it. Stop shot. Or just leave the white ball in that area. He's doing a stop shot. Okay, just run this purple ball in. And then nudge that blue striped ball with the brown ball behind it. That frees that ball up, solves that problem. So top left hand pocket, purple four ball. Oh, he's looking at another route. Yeah, looking at the bottom left. Yeah, orange ball first to get into that area where he just went to. Just draw this back, get that angle. He wants to be around the middle pocket. Little draw stroke. Oh, missed it. Boy, big opportunity gone begging for the young man. Was that the right option, Jimmy? No, we I talked think about it was. playing the ball in front of him. Yes. Thank you. But he still had a bit of trouble with that green ball. That green ball's got no pocket there, Mark. Okay, Steve Harris at the table. Nice follow through. Nice position. Punch the ball out to towards the five ball or run it through one or, one or the other. He punches it out. He's got a good line on the 12 ball if he wishes. Run the yellow stripe ball in, come out for the 12. Purple stripe ball next. Mm, tough shot, left him a tough shot. He can actually take this 14 ball and open up that blue stripe ball from here if he wishes. on 12 ball where's that going is that going in the corner nice shot and, and, and just looking at the choice of cue here for Stephen Harris yeah I think he plays with the predator traditional looking pool yeah, cue the graphite yeah they're the uh, cues of the future now yeah everything has gone these days isn't it too Moving away from your traditional wooden cues. Definitely all graphite now. Okay, so he's left himself the 15. He wants to try and put this 15 and run into that little cluster where his last ball is. Okay, so he'll play this with some bottom left spin, spin into that little cluster. Oh, he just missed it. it. In and off. Mm. So door of opportunity now opens back up here for Gulam Ali. Yeah, a little bit unlucky there. Need a little bit more draw, a little bit more spin. That's hard though, isn't it? You've been sitting down, you haven't had much of a warm-up. You've been sitting down watching, then suddenly you're expected to come to the table and just having smallest of margins. And you just feel that the momentum is very much still with this junior team. OK, that's the wrong shot there, Goulam. The purple ball would be best to play. So open up that little cluster. He's going to run into it from behind. But like I said, what do I know? No, Jimmy. No, you yeah. call it. So, Jimmy, the Professor Henry, bringing all the expert comments. Got to remember, a lot of these players are under 21, so they're still in their learning. The thing breaks it up nicely. Has he left himself an opportunity for that four ball? Yeah, he's got the orange ball here to 
get back down table. Or he could run two rails off the brown ball. Did he do enough on that shot though, Jimmy? Um, I would have went the other way, but yeah, that's pretty good. You know, he's still at the table, he's still got a shot. He's controlled the white ball. I think he's going to be behind this brown ball, the weight he'll play. No, that's a good weight there, beautiful weight. Perfect weight. Now, tough, tough shot coming by yes. certainly standards at home, but certainly by his own standards under a bit of pressure here. Okay, one good shot here will win him the frame. And this is it. It's a nice, beautifully balanced looking player, isn't he? He's got great technique. Just runs it nicely, doesn't quite get it. And now he throws the door of opportunity back onto Stephen Harris. Stephen Harris, though. Let's have a look at his options. So he's got no bottom left pocket. Does he look to bank this, Jimmy, or does he look to play percentages? He has to have a go. Nothing to lose. Bank it back in the middle pocket to where he will be standing. That's the only pocket it can, it can go into. Oh, wow. How's he going to do that? Triple. Can't see it going past the four ball. Triple. Look at this. He tried it. A intriguing game, isn't it? Just the smallest of margins, but in the one frame scenario. Okay, it should be all over here. I sometimes think, Jimmy, isn't it? It's, it's interesting that the, the difference between good and great is sometimes that ability to not gamble, to be play the percentage shot. But easy sitting down here saying that you're not up at the table. Okay, he'll be in two minds here, whether to put the black in the middle or down the corner. He's going to put it in the middle. Oh, nicely played. Beautiful shot. Well, that is good from this young man. So, Gulamali, this to the, ni the nice thing is the national team or the men's team will still pick the white New Zealand men's team. We've got a New Zealand white and New Zealand black team. The white team will pick up a further six points, but it's the juniors who pick up another ten and continue to extend that lead. Do we have an overall score at the moment? I oh, was just waiting for the uh, updates to come. We'll have an overall score. Sean Grenfield. Could be Sean Grenfield, Blake Bernard. These guys have sparred before. My calculation is that score might be 87-32, Jimmy, 87-32. So Sean Greenfield. Is he playing Blake Bernard? Tell us a little bit about Sean. Yeah, he's a, he's a class player, Sean. can say a lot of good things about him. He's won some good tournaments. He hits the ball just as good as anybody else, and... The technique is very good, solid technique, beautiful technique actually, one of the best around. Yeah, what, what what determines good technique in Q Sports? What, what are you looking for in regards to technique? Well, you're looking for quite a few things. You're looking at their stance, their chin on the cue, their bridge, so the way they strike the ball. Just saw the four ball drop. Not like golf. Okay, and I'm picking this guy to run this rack. He, he'll be, uh, you know, a little bit of, a bit blast off for sitting at the, uh, on the seat so long. Well, I think all of these, they just need some time at the table now, don't they? They've yeah. just got to somehow get their nervous systems up. They've got to get their mojo. They've got to feel comfortable at the table. We turned up here. There wasn't a lot of opportunity for warm-up this morning, so there are a few factors. It's the young ones that have been at the table. They're the ones that have been playing. So you're getting your eye in. These guys are still just trying to find it. So big shot here already for Greenfield. Just coming over the top. You talk about that form there. Lovely little bridge. Yes, he's got it all. He's just got a little problem there with that yellow ball. He's running out of um, the balls to get to it. I think he might be able to get it off that blue ball if it, that blue ball's next after this. at the blue ball again. He's got that little window between the yellow and brown ball to pot it. And then draw back and open up the yellow ball. That's what he'll be thinking. With one chance at it. 
has to make sure. Here it is, folks. This is the shot that's going to win him the game. Draw it into the black and yellow and hope for a bit of luck. Oh, no, he's going the other way. Doesn't like that shot. Look at him. Look how poised he is. Look how low he gets down on that cue. Oh, that lovely shot. shot. Oh, look at that. That's a nice shot. Yes, he opened it up. Yellow. We knew there would be a momentum swing. We knew at some point this New Zealand men's white team will find a way back into it. Is this the starting point for them? Sean Greenfield going to be the catalyst for a shift. So he wants to angle on that yellow, yellow ball and use the black ball to hold it for the brown ball. So pop this. A little off balance here. Well, that one m might be on past that, between that black and yellow stripe ball. Wow, I don't think it is. Oh, it looks all right, pretty good there. So looking to try and just almost cut this into this bottom left corner. I think he might lose his white here. He's going to have no pocket for that brown ball. Has he got an option here? Has he got a second shot, Jimmy, that you'd no. prefer him to play? No, he hasn't. This is the only shot. It's the only shot he's got. So settle back, folks. Here we go. Oh, look at that. See, he's got no pocket for the brown ball. That's it. That's the end of his run, folks, unless he can come up with a miracle shot. Now, whoever's playing him is going to be happy to get to the table. Teach a lot of these kids just to run the eight balls. Any potential snooker here, Jimmy? Is Serious? there anything he can do? No, nothing at all. Where his hand is, he might be able to play the brown ball there on the left-hand corner there. As we look at it, what's he going to nominate? Thinking of safety. Oh, he's nominated the middle. How is it going to go in there? Oh, in behind, kick into the middle. In behind. Big shot here. Yep. There you go. Okay, like I said, folks, when you're in that situation, you're pretty much lost now. Open table, no traffic. So, so, so just take us back, Jimmy. D did, did he do something wrong in the build-up to that, or was he just a victim of where the cards fell? Yeah, that's right. He had to play what he had to play and what he could play and use the you know, the balls he had to try and make angles, and he, yeah, he ended up not making the right angle. Okay, that's not a very good start by Blake. No, he knew at the moment he played it too. He sort of lifted his... Hands in the air, so it's not over yet, folks. Yeah, he wanted to be up higher. Now I think uh, he'll play the defensive shot. Just touch the 15 as the shot, so he doesn't jump over that ball he's looking at. So just remember the snooker. One of the cue ball or the object ball needs to come off the rail. Can't just kiss it and... He could cut it, go for the TV shot. If he misses, he loses, but he played the percentage shot. I, I'll keep saying, Jimmy, the hardest thing sometimes is to play the percentage shot, but the great players have that ability to do it. Yeah, a little bit unlucky. Blake needed to be up higher on the table to have a shot at any other ball. Sitting behind the nine, had no shot. What does he do here, Jimmy? He has to get out of the jump queue and jump over it and wish for a bit of luck to get to the black. Here we go, airborne. Really high bridge with that finger setting. High on it. Let's have a look what he can do here. That was good effort. Still not easy for Blake. He might no, I was just looking at the setup there. Jimmy was about to say the same thing. You took the words yeah. right out of my mouth. Who sang that song? You took the words right out. Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Good uh, on you, Jimmy. Just checking. The 11 ball here. They said you were a bit of a hopeless romantic, mate. <laughs> okay, he's playing a two-way two shot here. He'll play the 11 or the 12. And sitting behind the 8 ball. Where he's going? He's going down the table to have another look. It's great to see these young players just having this game now slow, isn't it? And then being able to actually execute it and, you know, really sort of show a level of maturity beyond the years sometimes. Yeah, 
nice start. Oh, he's still in no man's land here. 14 might go past the 15. Whoops. 14 might go past that 15 strike ball. Doesn't look like it. So you look for another another bush to hide behind. Another place to hide. So we'll try and sit him behind the black ball. Tough shot. Well, he's got options though, hasn't he, Jimmy? He's got a lot of options. I mean, the pressure is still right back on Sean Greenfield, whatever he does. Yeah, if he decides to play safety or if he decides, in fact, to take it on. Oh, beautiful shot. Well yeah, played. He plays the safety and does it beautifully. And again, well, really, for Blake, it's nominate a pocket and hope. Well executed. Does he does he have an angle here to come off this bottom side rail, lowest bottom of the screen here, and look yeah, to somehow kick this in? Yeah, there's a couple of angles there past the 13 ball, the orange strike ball, or that's probably the best. So the right hand side of the table, as we look at it. Yeah, well I think he's going to go for the jump shot again. It's going to be tough to jump over this ball. With the, uh, they've got a thinner slate on this, so it's not as thick as the... Uh, so what, you don't get quite as much bounce? Yeah, you don't get quite as much bounce. So I'm, I'm picking him to move this eight ball. If he gets over it, excellent shot. Couldn't do it. No. So ball in hand. You, you talk about the, the variance in regards to the thickness of the slate, the base of the table, and it varies what, according to maker, or it varies according to the type of game we're playing? Well, the size of the table, you know, seven foot thinner slate, nine foot much th thicker slate. And that's standard international, is it? Yeah, pretty much standard for the nine foot tables and these tables. start get rid of his two hard balls or the balls away from his finishing pattern screw down here and then finish it off still got a bit of work to do from the, the two balls sitting on the same rail it's always hard to get to those two nice little punch shot he wants needs to take the 11 now but leave that 14 there thinks he can get to the oh he's looking at the plant he just had a look at a plant there so he draw back to the rail and play the plant which is quite simple yeah weight's going to be important lovely weight too really nicely done well that's a good shot in terms yeah. of control of the cue ball definitely a great shot really really good here from this young man and that's what happens if you let Blake these Bernard. yeah if you let these young guys go you know they'll go with a lot of confidence once their confidence is up Hard to stop them. So I'll be, oh, yuck. That's uh, way too hard, Blake. There's a mistake there. Well, he plays safety here, doesn't he? Yes, Put it in behind the eight ball and yeah, yeah, well. force Sean Greenfield to come away. Still a hard shot because he could double kiss this. He has to hit the right part of the 13 ball to make that happen. Well, he's just going to have to touch it, isn't he? Yeah. The white ball will be hitting the rail anyway. So what's Sean looking for there? Just make sure the ball's not touching the rail. If it is, the white ball has to hit the rail or the 13 has to go to another rail. Nice touch. Beautiful touch. Oh, maybe, maybe just the smallest chance yeah. maybe for Greenfield. Well, he can hit that. Might just go if we above the table here. We have a look here. So, still game on. But yeah. Greenfield is going to have to be at his absolute brilliant best here. But certainly the door is slightly ajar. Can he walk through? Intriguing encounter. It's been a wonderful, wonderful match this one. And this one-off frame between Sean Greenfield and the youngster out of Whitefer and Blake Bernard. Okay, Sean has to just watch out. He doesn't go in off here. Oh, he's going to jump it. He's going to jump it and try okay. and pot it. He doesn't see the angle, so he has to go 
over the eight ball. Had a similar shot previously and couldn't quite get the height on it. Jimmy's talked about the slate base being a little bit thinner, so you don't quite get the pop that you might on the nine foot tables. Gets over for that. Hoping, hits hopes, hits hopes. Wow, well, what a turnout. Yeah. And he's got second prize. Well, it's easy for Blake to get out of here and, and snooker him. So the key here for Blake is just to hit the 13, make sure you touch that 13, and then you'll end up snookering him. Yeah, he knows the shot. That's going to have to be with the right weight. Yeah, the right weight. I've just got to watch out he doesn't hit it too thick, otherwise the white ball will end up going into the corner pocket. Yeah, also just got to be careful too. Any chance here of an in-off, Jimmy? Definitely, yeah. If he hits it too thick, it's going to go in-off. So white ball will drop. Yep, the white ball will drop if he hits the right part of the 13. He wants to hit it as thin as he can, so it doesn't drop in. So just watch this weight. Important here. He's got to get a read nice on the table. Weight, nice, nice weight. weight nice, nice weight. Looking weight. good. Looking good. Lovely yeah. shot. Wow. Lovely shot. Wow, that's as good as it gets from Blake Bernard. That's two outstanding defensive shots from this young man. And the pressure now goes on Bernard once again, and I'm not sure... He's got too many options here other than now literally hit and hope. Yep, just hit and hope. Make sure he hits the ball. If he doesn't, it's all over. Mm. Sean, a player that don't give up. He still think there's hope there. Oh, you've got to, do, don't you? I mean, we've all played these shots at home, haven't we? Where, yeah, it's no different than sometimes on a golf course. You can necessarily be in the best position. You hit and hope and it goes in. Or oh, that's a bit soft. He's miscued. Yeah, miscued that, didn't he? You could hear it come off. And so now it will be just a simple case here from Blake Bernard from getting the job done. Gift. Just draw this back and come back for the eight ball. He didn't come back far enough. No, I was just about <laughs> to say, he's given himself a bit of work here. Yeah. A little cut shot now. Should get it done, though. He's laughing to himself, thinking, jeez. I didn't help there? myself here. Boy, you'd hate to miss this, wouldn't he? Nice thing is... Even if you was to miss this, you'll still pick up the maximum of seven points. That's right. Good seven points there. But he doesn't miss it. Doesn't miss it. And it's another one going the way of the juniors. It'll be a six-point pickup for the New Zealand men's white team. But it'll move to 97-38. And still, it is the juniors in control of this wonderful, wonderful initiative, having the juniors take on the New Zealand men's team, the white team. And the VNA World Championships to be staged in July, I think, for the juniors. So now Kieran Dempsey. Comes to the table. Yeah, good break, Kieran. You hate to see a ball go down when he breaks because you good chance he'll clear. Oh, yeah, I'm going to Did he pop one? No, dry break. No, I think he's still at the table. His feet are still there. Well, I was just seeing the shoes in the distance and thinking, did I get that right? I didn't see anything go down. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got a stripe. Yeah, he's got a stripe. Yeah. Looking at the table, Jimmy, what's his options? Does he want the stripes or does he want to look at the solids? Either one, they're both there. Both sets are there. He's just got to pick the right one. Yeah, my I think the stripes are much better. Yeah, I was going to say, my, my inexperienced gut feeling is go with the stripes. It's just the 13, it'll be his hard ball, but like I say, the small ones are there as well. He's going to go smalls. Yeah, 7 6. Those two balls down the bottom first. He's going to go smalls. Where's he going to? Why did he play that shot? Yeah, he wasn't happy with it the moment he played it too. Yeah, he's got himself a bit of trouble here. Yeah, let's take the red ball straight away. Maybe he wanted to get to that red ball. I would have stayed to the green ball and then worked around it. Makes it look easy. Now he's got a lot of hard work. See how he's going down the table, then he has to come back up and then he has to go down for the black. So he's up and down the table. We should have stayed down here, cleaned up these three. And then moved up the other yep. end and Easy swept the floor up there. Yes. So Jimmy the Henry, the professor, bringing you all the expert analysis. And just just a reminder for people at home, Jimmy, why they call you the professor? 
I would try to take people back to school, but uh, lately they've been getting the best of me. Yeah, it's funny, isn't players. it, how the uh, students then become the teachers. Yeah. Be careful what you wish for. So here, now he's got that two ball. So I want to move this back up the table now. So let's have a look at how he plays it. Okay, so we've got the black team playing them next, the other senior team that's off to Vegas. And gee, these guys are going to be well warmed up. Oh, wow. That was so unlucky. Yeah, he went, went the wrong way about finishing that rack off. Should have stayed up here and then went down there and would have been closer to the black. Okay, Alex Hale. Should have easy clearance here. This guy here, you could probably... Yeah, the only concern I have, Jimmy, is just what you talked about. Just maybe how much time have they had at the table? Have they got their eye and have they got a feel for this table? You know, just those things. They've been sitting down for a lot. They've been watching basically an exhibition being put on by this under-21 New Zealand team. And just haven't had a chance to really gain any real momentum. Because when they have come to the table, it's been often in a situation where the frames have been quite messy. Just want to put some numbers on the board here. Just want to get a string of pots and find some momentum. Still got to be patient here. Doesn't want to be too casual. Does Alex Hale. Yeah, nice touch for the nine in the corner pocket. That's a good weight. Beautiful weight. He's got two options here. Mm, yeah, he looks confident now, doesn't he? Let's draw back here. Yep, draw back. You called it. Oh, he's touched it through. Mm. Keeping it simple. It's our commentator's curse, isn't it? You say one thing and they go and do the opposite. Yeah. But as I say, we're not cowards wise after the fact. You call it as you see it. That's right. And plus, we, we can't see the angles, so... No. no. And look, it's, it's like anything, isn't it? That's always one of the ones at the table playing it. And just like that, they do pick up 10 points. And for you know, juniors, they'll pick up a valuable further five points. But the gap just starting to close a little bit. Still a commanding lead going the way of the New Zealand junior team. But really nice victory there for Alex Hale. We said there would be a momentum shift. And we're starting to see that because Big Bounce Burmester, Sheridan Burmester, coming to the table now. It's always been an interesting discussion why he's called Big Bounce, Jimmy. Well, uh, how did he get that name? Yeah, yeah, just the... Uh, Jumping cue? No, no, the table's at Glen Eden. Got a, quite a big bounce on it. So, yeah, he plays on that table quite often, so that's how he got that name. Used to bounce too much. Okay, so. Nice break. Has he got a ball? He's got a yep. ball. Another guy you don't want to see get a ball when you're playing against them. Capable of running the rack once, once, once he's at the table. Oh, this is quite tough. I'd say the stripe, I mean the solids. Even though the stripe has gone down, unlike at home, you do get to choose what you want. Unless that nine goes off that one into the middle, I'd say you'll take solids. Three ball go into that eight ball now. Now, if he was to play through here, and pick the solids, he's going to go the overs, so he's... No, he's going to stripes. Yeah, so he's done it again to us. But in that scenario, Jimmy, just for people at home, if he had gone solids, he played through. The fact that a solid ball had gone down off the break, he would pick up nine points, and the opponent would pick up one. If a solid goes down, yeah, the opponent gets the one ball. Yeah. So he'd still pick up 10, but the opponent gets the yellow ball that he's potted. So if you try and open up that nine, does he do a... Oh, no. Wow. Well, at least he, you know, even if he misses here, the incoming player still has a hard run too. He's got no shot here. Yeah, Marty Williams, I'm not sure we've seen the very best of him just yet either, so... And he's now played safety. Yeah. So now he's going to throw it back onto Williams, who has yet to find his mojo. So 
probably got a good read on his opponent as well at the moment. Sometimes you do have to go, well, what's his game like? How's he playing? Mm. And let's see where he's at. Let's see how much pressure I can put on him early. And uh, as I mean, guys like Marchie Williams just simply haven't had enough time at the table yet to find their rhythm, to find their form, playing with a snooker cue, so a very thin tip on it. Yeah, he has to take Unconventional. The he has to take the screen ball here to open up that blue ball. If he does it, he's going to be in trouble. Plays with quite an open stance. Oh, that could be just on, I think, the blue ball. Maybe. He's having a look at it now. That's his problem ball. Okay, the other ball he can use to open that blue ball up is the red ball. Cut the red ball down the corner and run into the blue. So we're going to see you later on, Jimmy. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I haven't got no warm up, so I've got a few excuses there. No, there's no, no excuses, Jimmy. You're going to come under the glaring spotlight. Yes, yeah. Not looking forward to it, but these guys, like I said, they're all warmed up now. I've got the feel of the table, they're up being under the lights. You know, Jimmy, you can sit here and you're very good at being able to say, look, that's the ball he should be playing, or I don't agree with that. I think he should have gone with the other option. When you're at the table, do you see it that clearly? Do you see it as clearly as you see it as you're sitting here as a commentator? Yeah, very much, yeah. We've seen so many patterns. And I, I say that because sometimes it is different sitting here. Then you get up to the table and you actually go, well, OK, I've just done exactly what I've told other players they shouldn't do. No, the key the key is if, you, if you're going to be a good player, you've got to know the patterns. If you're inconsistent with the patterns, you won't be winning very many frames. You see all the good players, they know good patterns. So and they'll they play win, percentages yeah. when they need to play percentages. Yes. They'll play the box office shots if they need to play the box office shots. That's right. If you don't know the patterns, well, you ain't going to be very good in the long run. The key is learn all the patterns. Okay, this ball was on earlier in the frame. Oh, wow. He's in trouble. <laughs> OK, folks, when you get into this situation, there's a slight chance you can win, but normally you shouldn't win. Mm, he's just going to have to look to... Yeah, he's going to have to look at doubling this back and hopefully staying on that three ball past yeah. that 13. So he's just going to play up and down. Yeah, he has nominated the pocket. Double it back and stay on the red ball past the 13. As we look at it, that three ball could still go in. Not hard nice weight, nice weight, nice weight, nice enough. weight. It's not going to roll enough, though. Jimmy called it and just kissed that cushion on the way through. So the intent was right. Not quite enough weight on it, though. Okay, you're going to see a slow ball into the corner pocket if it's on. The 15 ball past the 8. Just on. He's going to take the 14, 15. Slow ball. He could leave him the double on either ball if he misses. If he pots it, it's all over. Oh, he's going back that way. Yeah, he's left him the double on either ball. only left him a double on the five, but... Yeah, so the orange five ball. You see where you're standing? That orange five ball can go under those two balls and in the pocket. Nice, easy double. It's nominated the pocket. Just yeah. see there you're going top left on that cue ball, yeah, just looking to try. Uh, it's going to straighten up if, if he doesn't know it. Oh, again. Great intent. And it'll be... You'd say from here, game set and match to yeah. Burma start to big bounce. Well, not much luck going their way, the senior white team. No, I keep saying it. It's just if you're not at the table consistently, it's hard to find your mojo. It's hard to find your form. You're up, you're down. Before you know it, the frame's over. You're sitting out another 20, 25 minutes. You're back up again. Don't underestimate it. It is a tough, tough format. But big bounce, Burma start. So nice this shot. particular under-21 team, when do they go away, Jimmy? Uh, July. It is July? Yes, yep. July, yep. Nice 
other side of them. Good cut in the middle and just drift out a bit. Get a bang, better angle or punch it in the corner to make the white ball move. through for the black in the middle nice shot fairly easy black yep it'll be five points will go the way of the New Zealand men's white team it'll be another ten points to the New Zealand under 21s and that will continue to just stretch that lead so big bounce Burmistake gets the dob jan over Machu Williams and it is the under 21s who still can take control and time will start to run out shortly for this New Zealand men's team. They just really haven't found their groove. And now young Alex Andres comes to the table. She's shown some very, very good form. Her break, she'll be wanting a big break. You do just feel if they can grab this one. You do start to just put a little bit of doubt in that New Zealand men's team. Can we come back? Can we come back? Not sure I've seen enough from them just yet. Well, that's still two rounds to go. I mean, this Dempsey's look good. Burmester's look good. In fact, all of the juniors have looked superb, haven't they, really? Two more rounds to go, and, you know, I think it's all over, folks. I'll let you do the maths, Jimmy, on what that threshold is. Yeah, it looks pretty tough for them to come back. Alex and Stephen Harris. This should be a good game. You'd like to see a bit more of Stephen Harris. We haven't really seen him in full flow just yet. And a dry break, is it? Nine ball, nine ball, Mike. No. Nope. Oh, wow. So dry break. So Stephen Harris will come to the table. It's a good break in terms of a spread. Looking Definitely. at it, Jimmy, what, what appeals to you here? Uh, I like the solids. Uh, they mightn't look good, but the, there's a few connectors there. Oh, it's a ball that's going to create the greatest degree of difficulty. Yeah, well, the black ball straight away, that's why I'd take the solids, play this five ball, knock into that purple ball, open that little cluster up, and they're all there. Okay, so play this. Play the orange ball, knock into Five that orange ball. ball. Yep. But he'll go stripe, see, and he'll get stuck on that, that purple stripe ball unless he opens it now. And the black ball as well. How's he going to get the black ball? There's no, uh, oh, the 10 ball could open up the black ball. Yeah, just look for connections when you do look at your run out. What ball can open up the black ball? What ball can open up the uh, purple? And he's having a look at it now. He's trying to think that he's going to get behind it, but. So the way to open up that purple ball is take the 14 in the middle, strike the green ball. And then use the 15 strike brown ball to open it up. It's going to try and open it up now. Two rails go in behind. That's pretty good. Great shot. Yeah, it's looking good now. Got this 15 ball. And then he's got three options up the top there to choose from. He'll have a look what sort of angle he likes. And well, they're just desperate for that momentum shift, aren't they? Will this gentleman here be the one who does shift it? Yeah, you can shift the eight ball now. Just nudge it out the way. You'll still be on the green ball in the middle. Nice touch. You don't want to hit it too hard. No, he's nudged it in. He's in trouble. So, folks, when you get to this sort of situation, you're pretty much, unless you move it, you're pretty much behind the eight ball. Okay, so we've got another match going on the way just off tube at the moment on one of the other tables, which involves our 
New Zealand under 12s and our New Zealand under 16 team combined. They're taking on the New Zealand seniors. Seniors lead that one. 139 to 127 after wow. three and a half rounds. Holy so smoke. you've got the young big boys in there as well. Yeah, yeah, they're firing. Playing some great pool. Sean and Jack. Sean and Jack Beggs is talking to their mother. Lovely lady prior to the start of this tournament. Just trying to move that black. Nice try. But like I say, he's in a bit of trouble. So a lot of the drills I give these young juniors is the black ball and the solid balls. Just got to pop those balls like 10 out of 10 times and then you're pretty much there if you can do 10 out of 10. Yeah, like I say though, isn't it? Training's one thing. Put yourself in a game situation under pressure, bright lights, television, competition format and sometimes clarity is not quite there. Or you just, you know, adrenaline can be going and now... He well, he could go to the left corner here, off the five thin, black off the five thin towards that left corner. He's going to have a look at it. So talk us through that, Jimmy. So we're talking the five ball here, which sits directly in front of the black at the moment. Yeah, he just needs to nudge the edge of it to head towards that corner. So he's going to go around and have a look at it. And they're there. So he's put it there. So that's where it's going. He's seen the shot. The only shot available, I'd say. So let's see what he can do here. This will be a television shot if he pulls it off. Wow, he's and got it. And he's got it. Wonderful <laughs> shot. Great shot. Brilliant. Wow, that is good. He was in a world what of trouble, finish. and he has found a way. One of the great finishers. Holy and smoke. that is a really, really good piece of Q Sports from Stephen Harris. Well done, Stephen. Superb. That would make highlights real anywhere in the world. It was a tough shot. It was a high percentage or low percentage shot. Backed himself. Did yep. it superbly and somehow, somehow got himself out of some serious trouble. Is that the momentum shift? Is that what is now going to bring this New Zealand men's white team back into contention? Stunning, stunning shot. Well, there you go, folks. The replay of the shot. <laughs> yeah, he should be celebrating that. And it's the shot of the day. Mm. Gulam Ali up against Sean Greenfield. Get to see Greenfield really hit his straps too. He's come to the table in some pretty precarious positions. And he hasn't necessarily been blessed with layout that he probably had hoped he's got an opportunity here it's a dry break so he's got a chance to take control whether at three putting the pressure back on Gulam Ali or deciding to go for it and he's going to go for it so he's gone with the solids he had a nice start all the balls in the open just that ball down the corner right here yeah the purple four ball that's the hard part you need to move that nine at some point yeah the earlier the better Okay, he wants to play it probably after this shot. He wants to play a combination in there somewhere. He needs to stop that white ball there and then play the six onto it. Open it up straight away. So that you can use all your balls to get back in position. The later you leave it, the less balls you have. He's playing one in front of the other at the moment. Yeah, I don't back know what, there. What, what he's doing here. Anyway, I'm not at the table. He thinks he knows better. See, so taking all these balls where he's going to end up playing that six onto that stripe yellow and purple. I mean, he's got to play it the way he sees it, doesn't he? He's got to play it based on his own style and his own temperament. So, yeah, okay, I can see what he's going to do now. Okay, so he's going to pop this, just nudge the edge of that nine and leave the six there. So he's going to end up putting the four, but the six is going to be right over the pocket, but he should have played that first. 
So it gives him options if he does go out of position. And this one shot is relying on one shot to win him the game. Here it comes. So he just needs to hit that nine ball sort of full. So it just drifts him behind. Well, it's good thinking though, isn't it? It's smart thinking. I mean, he saw this clearly a long way out. Yeah, but something could go wrong here if he doesn't hit it right. Or if he snookers himself, he's got nothing to get back on. So another big moment here for this white team. Another big television shot. And Ooh, oh, that's a great shot. Just, yeah. just avoided snookering himself. Nice shot, nice shot. You talked about it, Jimmy, but boy, I tell you what, when it counted, he pulls it off. So some really, really good Q sports being played here now by this New Zealand men's team. Greenfield. Okay, he's going to draw that back. Just stop shot for the middle pocket. Oh, where's he going? He's all right. He's good. Move move the eight ball. Move the eight ball. We don't want to give him 10 points. Yeah, he's moved it. There you go. So this... For a 10... Zero. Oh, they're back. Point they're back. accumulation, and they are well and truly back. So 112 will go now 112 versus 73. Momentum swing, and it's come, it's come lately, but it's certainly arrived. Right now, it'll come down to Blake Bernard, young man from Whitra, and he will take on Grant Harpy. back to the corner now it's all on Harpy so intriguing intriguing match and there we go we look at it Burmester well he's been unstoppable so far through three still 100 points left there so all wins What went down, Jimmy? It was top left. Strike. The 11 ball went down. What's concerning them here? That, that little uh, cluster there. I'm going to try and open it up straight away. The one in the 12 ball. Yes, the one in the 14 ball. Just run into it, open it up, and then he should be good. So he needs a little bit of spin on this to go towards that one in 14 ball. He played too much, that's good. Oh no, he's played too much. Okay, so here you go, Grant. This and off, it. Grant Happy at the table now. Okay, the he, momentum swing is changing. Yep, he's worked, he's waited for this moment, Happy. Now he's got to come, he's got to be meticulous. Start with the solids, take the five ball first, five three, run over to that side. Still open. So we do apologise. Well not apologise, I'm just saying the balls can look slightly different coloured than what they are in just with the bright lights. Yeah, the stripes look good too. So, so I just don't like that uh the, those two balls in the corner there, the fifteen and the ten, the blue stripe and the crimson stripe. That might give you a little bit of trouble later on if you don't get the right angle on it. There you go. Solids is the balls to take, but I'd start off with the five because it's got no pocket for that five ball. The orange ball. Okay, that's going to be the tricky part. We'll look how he's. Got, we'll see how he's going to get to that orange ball. Okay, could be off this the purple ball here. Just draw back to it. And let's go low. So no. Yep. Screws that back across. Going to play that two ball now, is he? Yeah, the two ball could, could connect to the five ball somewhere. It's going across into that area. Going low on the cue ball. So he's going to bring plenty of spin back on that. And now, is yeah. this his chance to put down this orange ball? This should have been the first ball to take, but 
Like I said, what do I know? It's a good shot, a great shot. Yeah, it's just enough. Shot. Didn't snooker himself either. Nice spot here, make sure the pot. Don't do too much with the white ball. Yeah. Now we talk about momentum shifts and there's well and truly been a big one here. I can just roll this in, put the black in the middle. Nice positive weight. As needed, not too hard. That's nice weight, perfect weight. Tough shot still here on the eight though. Yeah, it's not easy. Not an easy shot with those difficult square corners. So 10 2 if he sinks this. He's got it. And it nice is 10 push. 2 in regards to points. So New Zealand team will move to 114, but that means white team will now move to 83. And the gap is coming down, folks. Settle back. Enjoy all of this one. Okay, we're back to the start of the fourth round. Kieran Dempsey. So just two more rounds remain. And the gap at the moment is 31 points. Okay. Is the gap. Machu 31 Williams. points. Machu Williams versus Kieran Dempsey. Good fight back by the white team. Yeah, coming back. We always say that you sit in sport even in rugby and whatever, you know, you see a team dominate, but you know at some point there will be a momentum shift, particularly if it is two relatively close teams coming into it. But, yeah, it'll come down to key moments now. And this is when suddenly, th for the first time, probably not quite there yet, but shortly, the pressure will start to go into the under-21s. How do they handle that? That'll be the big question for them. But that's what this is ultimately all about. It's preparing them for international competition. It's putting them in those yes. situations. It's the more they come into these situations, the more they adapt, the easier it becomes. And so we often talk about it, it's the athletes with the top two inches, that ability to deal with pressure, the ability to slow time down in key moments. So Machu Williams probably haven't really seen the best of him yet. So is this his moment? He's capable. No, very capable, without doubt. It's a nice break. Ooh, well, so he's got a starter here, he's got a good chance to run this out. What did we see go down? A solid, wasn't it? We want solids, solids. Is that what he sunk though, solid? I think so. Here's a, here's a shot he won't see there, Mark, is the blue ball onto those two stripes behind the black. The blue ball, yeah, onto those two stripes so behind the So blue ball is just behind the cue ball? Yeah, but he won't see that because he doesn't know the uh, balls proper, properly yet. Just an option that I can see. So what's the option, Jimmy? Explain what you... Talk us through why that was an option and what because the benefits it opens, are. It opens a whole table up for those stripes. So he's still got the, uh, if he takes the solid here, he's still got the brown ball to contend with. And right now he's just got the orange ball to play. So how he should play this orange ball is play it off the stripe ball so that leaves the black ball on. The edge of that orange stripe ball, if you can play that, the black is on. So that's one problem solved. All he needs to do is get that brown ball out. Can he see it though? Can he see it? The no, question is. No, he's drawing back into this other cluster right into there. Oh, he's opened up the gap. That's a good shot. So he just moved that 12. Now the brown ball's on. Great shot. Okay, play this and go up table. Got to sink this though, doesn't he? Nice shot. Lovely little cut Kiss. shot. Yeah, great. The nudge too off that one ball to hold it down there and give him a shot at the one. Okay, now he has to find a pocket for the green ball. Just got to make sure you pot this, stay at the table. Could run into that yellow stripe ball, that'll give him the win. Well, it won't give him the win because he's got to find a pocket for that black oh, ball. Oh, got it too. Good shot. That's a good angle there too. Good shot. Huge pressure shot, big shot. Good angle to pot this and get behind the yellow stripe ball and pot the green ball from there behind the yellow stripe ball. Not a tough shot with that cue, but there you go, he's behind it, way overcut it. So he would have shot at the green ball too. But then he also had the black ball, so I don't know where the black ball was going to go. 
Well, still an opportunity, but you do just think, though, that Kieran Dempsey, just such a, an experienced player now. Yeah, Kieran's best shot here is just to nudge the 13 down onto the rail, snooker him, get ball in hand, and then clear. Yeah. Open up your cluster. Actually, that cluster's on. That was my first shot, remember? I was going to take that plant behind the black. Going to get your opportunity later this afternoon, Jimmy. You're not just going to get to talk about it, mate. You are going to put on an exhibition, my good man. A little bit cold, mate. A little bit cold. No excuses when you get to the elite <laughs> level, my friend. Just don't confuse ability with ambition, mate. Nice shot there by Kieran. Going behind the black ball now. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Doesn't like that. No. And again, that's what I talk about. You're sitting down for a long time, aren't you? You're not at the table sometimes for too long, and it's one of the real challenges is to keep somehow keep your nervous system up, keep your eye in. So um, the plant behind the black mustn't be on. It could be on behind the... Uh, if he was behind the brown ball, it could be on. So can you get there? Definitely looks on behind the brown ball. In that area, it's on. Go on, Karen, show us the TV shot. Okay, so his other option, folks, is go back to where he started, but near the black ball, and play the snooker. Oh, he stopped it, so he's going to play the plant. So at nine. 9, 11, 13. 9, 11, 13. I don't think it's on from that angle. We'll go above the table, have a look. There you go, there's, there it's going to hit the rail. So there we go. Tough shot. Is it on Jimmy? If he plays it with not too much weight? No, definitely. I don't think it's on. Or has he got to play with weight? He's going to hit into it quite hard, looks like. Oh, you'd said it wasn't quite on. And Machu Williams will come back to the table. Yeah, not a very good uh, leave anyway. Well, I can tell you that the New Zealand under 16 and under 12s have beaten the New Zealand men's black team. And my apologies, in fact, it is the New Zealand men's black team who have accumulated 191 points. The New Zealand under 16 and under 12s, 165. So really good close contest, but that New Zealand senior men's black team have beaten the New Zealand under 16, under 12s. I just thought there for a moment... It had gone the other way, so congratulations to that senior men's team. But boy, outstanding performance from our youngsters to get that close to Definitely. some quality players. Definitely. Now another opportunity here to pick up 10 points for Machu Williams. Not an easy shot. Just needs to run this. He's run it nicely, run it nicely. It drops, does it? It does. And there you go. Four points will go the way of the under now under 21s, but it'll be 10 points, a further 10 points that'll go the way of the New Zealand men's at white team. And so it continues. They just continue to chip away at this lead. Real they momentum do. shift. Okay, we're down to uh, nine more games. So 90 points out there. That lead is now. We'll get confirmed that score for you in a minute. And it's 118 to 93. So 25 points, the difference. It can change very quickly. So Stephen Harris.
played a wonderful shot earlier today. Arguably the shot of this test match. So surveying its options here, Stephen Harris. Yeah, the table looks good. A nice shot by Stephen. It's got to probably nudge that one somewhere along the line if it's not on. If it is on off that 14 green strike ball, if he plays it off that, it's on. Okay, everything's pretty straightforward here. Just has, has to control this. Speed on this ball here, well, the seven doesn't look that good now when I have a look at it at the table at, well, at that angle. Punch this in, open up the one, that's a great shot. Yeah, look, it, it, he's really, I think he was the, that shot earlier, which was the real momentum swing, wasn't it? Yeah, it's the been five off the black off the five, yeah. Yeah, being the real... Still got a tough out here. You can screw this back. Going forward, would run into that green strike ball, maybe. Yeah, you could just give it a little nudge and sit to where he's pointing now, somewhere around that area. So, no 30 second shot clock. Draw back and just hold the white ball there. We could draw back and bounce out into the middle of the table. I don't think he's going to do that, isn't he? Just looking at the... Oh, he didn't get no, nothing on that at all. The good thing about it, he's got five points. That keeps him in the game, I think. Yeah, I think they want to... Uh, it'd be nice if they could just pick up this 10 here now and really just start to put the pressure on the youngsters. See how they respond. You know, 25-point lead. Suddenly it's chipped away down to 18. Now before you know it, it comes down to just one frame. It's been a very, very good match though. He's tried for a safety shot. Not a bad leave, the green ball's on. Shouldn't take that 14 on, maybe. The 12 is a little bit tricky into the middle. Yeah, big bounce. Burmester hasn't lost a match so far. Can he make it four from four? The 14 ball is the ball, probably. Wouldn't risk that 12 in the middle. No, he's going safe here. He's just doing his top shot screw back. Well, we talk about playing percentages, don't we? Yeah. And if Kieran goes back to have a look at the first shot he could have taken was the uh, safety shot, which would have won in the game, I'd say. But he went the attacking way and sort of got out of position and lost that last match. He should have won. But again, that's the opportunity, isn't it? Go back, look at it. Yes. Talk it through with you, Jimmy. Map it. Say, right, scenario next time I play, and it might be internationally. Exactly. I know what I've got to do now. I've been here before. See what he does here. I think he's got away with it again. Yeah, might have come away with second prize, didn't he? Oh no, the 15 looks all right. It's got to watch out for the end off in the middle if he takes the crimson strike ball. Be careful of the end off. Good starter to win the frame. Focus on potting the ball. Don't worry about the white ball, you're going to be in position on one of those balls down there. 13 probably. Runs it nicely. Okay, he's pretty much in got options. Yeah, plenty of options. He's right in the middle of the table where you should usually be. So does he just look to play down this bottom half of the table, or the left-hand side of the table as we look at it, as you say, Jimmy, and then just come back up? Or is he going to go up and down? Or is he just uh, going to draw back to the middle each time and yeah, just pop these just, off? Yep, just come back to the middle every time. Be back around the middle area. 
doesn't he's got so many options he doesn't know what to take yeah just draw back to the middle again yeah, really nice shot this one camera shot take the yeah he's got plenty of options here orange ball come back up the middle of the table wants a good line on this blue stripe ball that's down the far end or down the balk end of the table this is the one here yeah the balk end that white line is the balk line Yep, there's the shot here. We that often one. have certain rules at home where we're not allowed to play up the table or to play downside and used to have to put it into the old, put the white ball anywhere in the D. He stays ball in hand, generally means you can put the ball anywhere on the table. Okay, you can play the 13 with a level Q, push through the ball, come up to the middle again, get to the middle. So big bounce Burma start. Looking to try and just alleviate a little bit of the pressure, try and just take the momentum back away from this New Zealand men's team. He's looked very good today, Burmester. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Now we're going to have to see a little bit of spin here to make the white ball go towards the middle. The natural line is coming back behind the black ball, but he's going to change the angle here by putting some spin on it, or is he going to go back round? He's going back round and look what happens. Ooh. Yelch. So maybe the first sort of mistake we've seen from Sheridan Burmester. But still some work to be done here by yeah. Stephen Harris. Yeah, he'll just focus on potting the ball and just take his medicine. What sort of medicine does he? Pretty good medicine. Yeah, perfect. Pretty good medicine. So, looking to now take a further five points back from this under 21's team. They will pick up five points if he pots this, the juniors, but they will pick up 10. Go 123, 103. We're down to 20 points, folks. Settle back. Just now, real shift in momentum, hasn't it, Jimmy? Definitely, yeah. The back, not that far behind now. No, just the 20 points and good break. Play through, clear the table. Suddenly we're down to 10. Great match, great concept. Especially putting these juniors on show. Mm, and don't go away, folks, because later, Jimmy, the Professor Henry, is going to put on a masterclass as he'll step up as a member of the New Zealand black team. And he'll be joined in that team by some outstanding cueists. It'll also include Richard Alfonso, Roldan Lego, Ronald Lopez, and Tony Faarau. Yeah, most of the, the team, that, the people that are on my team, play out of West Auckland, Massey, and Glen Eden. Yeah. Tony Faarau plays out of Pukekohe. So anybody that wants to join the league can come to any one of those clubs. Get yourself a four-man team. Yeah, and, and I've got to say, I've been around. It's not a sport I've grown up with. And I say everybody's very, very friendly. Everyone's very welcoming. It doesn't matter whether you're any good or not. No one's going to embarrass you and knock you and make you feel small if you do turn up and maybe you're just sort of beginning at the game. I just want to encourage the participation side of it. And it is a sport where, a little bit like golf, where everyone's capable of having that box off a shot and certainly nine ball and ten ball. You've always got a chance. Okay, Sean. Again, this is the guy that can get him right back in the game. He's the sort of guy that you want your last man. Yeah, he, he looks composed, doesn't he? As you said, technically very, very good as well. He's got a good head on him. And you just feel that he's starting to come into his own too. He's just got that one ball behind the orange ball. I wonder if he's going to try and move it now. That purple strike ball there, Mark. Also the uh, green, it's going to look at that green strike ball behind the yellow. Yep. That's the other hard ball. I think if you can get the orange stripe and the green stripe. Yeah, just run this through one here a little bit. Yeah, just have a look at the cue ball. Let's just see how much weight he plays. Uh, yeah, nicely. No, done. he's too hard. He's, too, he's gone. Gone a little bit too far on everything. 
I don't think he's got a shot. He might have this one here, but is it on? No. I don't think so, yeah. No, he's looking for a safety shot. Set the white ball behind the brown ball down in that area. Let's have a look now. So a big key moment here. All of these moments now start to become key moments. That's pretty good. He's left the purple ball for Alex. The key for Alex is just to keep potting balls. She can pot this first one. She's got a good chance. Oh, she looked very good so far throughout yeah, we might be matches we've seen so far from her. Yeah, after this match here, we might be able to get uh, a view on all the scores, team scores, see how they've done. Okay, looks like she's putting it down the corner, roll it in. If she can pot this, she's got a good chance to win the frame. Runs it. No, hasn't quite got it, has she? Okay, Sean. It's the all there for you. The intent was the right one. Execution was just a little bit off. Uh oh, no. No. Well, well an unforced error now from Sean Greenfield. Okay, if Sean can nudge a bit of that purple stripe ball you can sit in behind the yellow stripe and the brown stripe he's got a little bit of piece of that purple ball that shot is possible oh he's jumping well i think it's always a good opportunity match play if you get a chance let's be honest um not a lot of jeopardy here in terms of the bigger picture wants to say wants to make sure that the game is right when they head overseas and so use that jump cue in the match situation. It's easy enough to do it in training. So what's Alex looking at here, Jimmy? Yeah, her first data has to be the seven ball, the brown ball. Don't know what sort of angle she's got to try and get out into the open. Ideally, she does want to take care of that number, the red and the orange ball, if she can. Okay, follow this through, going behind okay, the... Okay, so top high on the cue ball. Yep, going behind the red and orange ball. Oh, my God. It doesn't look good. She hasn't got a ball. Can't run that up through. No, no line there past that one yellow ball. No. What are her defensive options, Jimmy? Not very many. She needs to probably be somewhere around the blue ball up, up the top there. That looks like the only shot she can play. I'm going to ask us a, a question here, Jimmy, and I'm going to ask it on behalf of the people at home. Can she play a plant here? Well, I think she possibly can, and she's trying for one. Oh, yes, yeah, she's trying to go off the blue ball. Low percentage. Okay, Sean should take care of this. Yeah, player of his quality. You'd expect him to. Predator Q, Revo Shaft. Most of the top players got him now. Let's keep it simple. Draw back. Follow through. Let's get a good angle on the 12 and just run through behind the black ball. But he hasn't got the right angle, so he has to end up near the green ball up the top there, near the middle, to pot the black. Just watch out for the in-off. Watch out he doesn't go off the green ball into the middle. No, that hit the good side. So, another big, big shift here. Yeah, they're back. They are well and truly back. And they knock that bad boy down. And just like that, another further 10 points goes their way. And suddenly we are in low double digits. The margin between 
New Zealand under 21s and the New Zealand men's white team. We will see Ghulam Ali come to the table now. Up against Grant Harpy. This should be a good game. Hard to pick a winner here. So 124 plays 113 now. So just the 11 point difference. Wow. What a comeback, hey? One point, been like oh, 60 points Yeah, down. 60 odd points at one point. It might have even been more. Yeah. And that's the thing. When you get to that lead, you have to re... What would you call it? Regather, refocus, and just let that go, you know? Yeah, it, well... Pretend it didn't happen. Got to somehow find a way back here because this is a really good break here from Harpy. Then, you know, we literally could be just the one point. With one round. One round to go. And, you know, the longer each of these players spend at the table from this New Zealand oh, men's wow. team, the more confident they're going to become. But it is a dry break. Oh, sorry. Okay, we up. So we are back on. Do apologise for that. Okay, Grant Happy. Yeah, Grant Happy up against Blake Bernard. In fact, Gulam Ali. My apologies, yeah. so Gulam Ali. And it is still. Well, Grant Hubby at the table now. Yeah, nice. What's he doing here? Stop shot. No, he's just touching it in. Nice shot. He's got the blue ball. Take it either way down the corner would be better. Or he could nudge into that black just to hold it. No, he's going yellow. Yellow down table. We'll try and open up these balls down here. He just misses them. Wow. It, it, it's an interesting one though, isn't it, Jimmy? Like you look at it and you talk about maybe a ball that they can't see and you go, well, why don't we just, you know, we've still got a round to play. Why don't we just pot the balls and just accumulate some points? I can't see myself winning this particular frame and almost playing the percentages. As I say that, we do see a mistake there from Grant Harpy. A shot that he should have made. And so now opportunity here for Gulam Ali. He's got that problem with the blue ball in front of his. He can do a skill shot and pot one of his and then knock that ball in at the same time. He carries on. What's he looking at here? Well, he hasn't got really many options here. He only, he only has that plant. Yeah, it's a low percentage shot, isn't it? But it might be the only shot. Let's have a look if he can provide us a little bit of a box office moment. Doesn't quite get the angle right. So it throws it back now, but might have picked up a little bit of a second prize here, Jimmy. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Still some work here to do for Grant Harpy. Okay, he's going to just open up his cluster. So does he look to play the little plant here? Does, can he? Yeah, he just pushes. The key is to push the, four, the orange ball in front of that stripe ball on the rail. So like comes so. and touches. Like so. So a defensive shot. 
but but provides himself a lot of options if he comes back to the table. So Gollum needs to move that 15 ball up towards the blue solid ball, that corner. No, he's going to leave that for later. Well, he hasn't got that option no more. What's he doing down here? Not much happening down here. No, he's in a bit of trouble. So, okay, we talk about momentum. It's still continuing. He has got that easy ball, the 13 ball, as he's, or the 12 ball. He'll just come out for the 13 ball. Nice weight, nice shot. Like I say, he's still got that 15 on the rail there near the black. That stripe 15 ball. It's going to be very hard to get out. He's going to have to end up doubling that. So no good really taking that. Just get points here. Yeah, I was about to say, Jimmy, is it just a case now? Just take the points. Yes. Minimise the damage. Take the points. Look to try and get, see if he can pick out five or six points here and just take his medicine. So he's happy to give that, put it back on and play some safety. So not a bad option in the finish. Showing a lot of maturity. Grant Happy, what can he do? Can he thread the needle here? Does he have a shot past the black? I don't think he does, does he? Is there a ball on the other side of the black there, Jimmy? No, it's open. It is open? Yes. Okay, he's looking at a bit of a safety shot. So nice, comes back himself and says, well, here we go. We'll go above the table here and just have a look and see what options that Ghulam Ali does have. Get Jimmy to talk us through it. He hasn't got very many options here. He has to, like I say, he has to, that 15's got to be his problem. He should have just potted his three balls and then dealt with the 15. Get three points for the team. Actually, you can play this blue ball down the corner there and, and move that 15 from this angle here. Okay, and that's what he's, he's going to do. Yeah, I think he's a little bit too low here. Oh, no, that looks pretty good. Move the 15. Yeah, he moves oh. the 15. He wants to pot that five. Good shot. Great shot. Wow. That just turned the tables right there, taking his good ball away over the pocket. So it might not have been maybe as box office as we've seen, but I tell you what, you just listen to the yeah. professor's talk. That was one of the great shots of this match too. Low percentage, but made it look easy in the finish. Really, really intelligent play coming from this young man, Gulam Ali. Okay, now he's set himself up. Four ball finish. It's been in the scenario before. So we talk about momentum shifts. Are we now starting to see another one go back the other way? Will this be? Yeah, he's just got to find a ball to finish on that black. The best ball would be the brown stripe ball because he's behind the black already. So it's easy to get to the black from the brown stripe ball. He's got to put these three balls here. One, 15, and then the 14. Come back for the brown ball. 13, 14 now. After the shot, he'll be playing two rails towards that 15. Go, folks. Two rail shot. Follow through with plenty of top spin. Watch out for the in off. Yeah, you mentioned that a lot, Jimmy. Not enough quite weight, but might have got away with it. Yeah, that's all right. Naturally, he's going to go back behind the black. It's still a difficult shot, though. Don't underestimate the pressure these guys are under, too. Key just put the ball. He's a little bit low here. Needs to follow through so it'll kill his weight. Oh, nicely done. Great shot. And so now, opportunity here to maintain, extend that 11 point lead. Out to a 17 point lead. Runs it nicely, and there we go. Very good victory for Ghulam Ali. Well, he was in a bit of trouble, and he found yeah. a way back, didn't he, Jimmy? Yeah, We'd well. almost written him off.
Hey, Blake Bernard. This is Alex Hale. So this is the last of the fourth round matches, is it? Well, I think if we can have a look at the score sheet, um, I think it's only one more. This is the last round. Is this the last round? Are we? Oh, maybe one more round. A few more games. There we go. Oh, yeah, one more round. One more round following this. So Blake Bernard, and then we go into it. So 134 plays 117, 17-point lead. And it'll get to a point. Where maybe, maybe a couple of these matches might not get, need to be played if, in fact, that score breaks out one way or the other. Nice break, but a dry break. Yeah, sometimes that's a disadvantage. Such a good break, you open the Definitely. table right up and nothing yes. drops down, and then it's just a chance of just picking them off one by one. So quick observation at the table, Jimmy. Is he going to go with the stripes or is he going to go with the solids? Stripes, because there's no solid on. Well, is there anything on? 39 is on in the middle. Sometimes you are left with the set that you don't want. 15 ball across there. Nine ball as well. Yeah, well, the only problem with the stripes is the 14 ball and, and probably the 11 ball behind the black. It's got those two trouble balls to get to. Okay, he might be able to get his 14 ball out here. He's got to put the 10 in the left corner. Then nudge into that 14 black. Or the 12. 12 might be the easier shot. But he's got an angle here to open that 14 up. Got to say, he, he's looked good all day, this yeah, young yeah. man. He has looked very, very good. He's seen everything well. Yeah, well, he's just fresh from the uh, winning the New Zealand under 21. Cosmopolitan Championship Juniors, that is. There you go, he got the 14 out, great shot. This could be it, folks. He, he might have found the way home here. Okay, now his next problem is the 11 ball. Like I say, get to that early and he should be okay. 14 will take him to a good position in the middle of the table. Well, if they get out beyond a 30 point lead, with three matches to play, they cannot lose this. So if they can win here and win comfortably heading into that final round, it becomes very, very mathematical. Oh, he's going to take the nine in the middle. A little bit risky. I'd probably try and chop the 14 and even if it's set over the pocket, it might buy me another chance, but anyway. Yeah, I just wonder whether they've seen, though, that this New Zealand team's starting to find their way, and he yeah. misses the shot anyway. Oh, Does he pick up leave. second prize? He, he might did. have. Yep, so in saying that, we say that inadvertently. It just means that Alex Hale still doesn't have a lot to work with, so it wasn't an intentional type snooker, not that it's a snooker, but he's got away with second prize. And saying, well, I didn't sink it, but I'm going to make it bloody hard here for Alex Hale. Yeah, he's just going to nudge just two ahead and put the 14 and try and hide behind the 5 and 2. I think he's done pretty good there. Oh, no, the 12's still on. The ball near the yellow ball is still yep, on. Right up there, top left pocket. Purple striped ball is the object ball now. Can he see it, though? He's looking at doubling this 11 ball. Has he seen it up there, though, Jimmy? Or does he not think that he can get through? Yeah, a little bit risky. He's having a look at it now. A little bit risky. Because you don't know what's going to happen once it makes collision with the other okay. stripe ball. So the 12 purple stripe ball is the object ball. Beautiful balance. Nicely done. Now, now, where do the cards fall? Where do the cards fall? Wow. <laughs> Not very good. Okay, this is the TV shot coming up here. If he wants to win this. He has to take the ball nearest to the black. Right up the rail there, past the purple ball, actually. I've got to run it up. Yeah, he has to. So does he play this with a level of intensity here, Jimmy, or does he just look to run it gently? No, just play it to win. 
Could be your last shot. He's looking at it now. He doesn't like it. Back yourself, young man. Yes, Back commit, yourself is what we're saying it. here. Commit. It's the only shot you got. The winning shot. The TV shot. Always oh, going for the double. Wow. This is going to be a good shot if he makes this low percentage on that angle. Oh, he's run it, he's run it, he's run it. Oh, kisses the corner. Low percentage. Didn't back himself to run it down the rail. Will he pay for that? Will he pay for that moment of indecision? And so the great man comes back to the table and Alex Hale. Yes, unlucky there. Stop the white ball there. Nice shot. Good angle to get out. Back into the open. He's got a number of balls. Got a backspin on here. Oh, where's he going? Don't want to be too close to that. Yeah, got to be careful. He doesn't become too casual here either, too. I mean, he's a player that just, I think, just the way he, his whole stance just makes him look a little casual. I'm not sure that yeah. is the case. No, it isn't, but that's how he plays. But yep. like I say, he should have played it way harder. Get right down the end of the table. Even if he had to bump into balls, it would have been better near the middle of the table. Now he's making a plant here or double. go. Wow. Back and forth this game. Still a lot of work for Blake to do to finish it. He's got that striped crimson ball. He might may be able to run into it now if, it, if the nine's on. He's got the angle to go over that side of the table. Not a bad lead by Alex. Have a look, runs that nicely in. Cue ball, cue ball. Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, Chinese snooker. Yeah, he got the nine ball low. Yeah, he can't do anything with that. Take the plant double now. Looks pretty good. Double nine, black finish. That'll be the shot. One good double. Go over the top here. Yeah, maybe get another point and then double. That one point could uh, make the difference at the end of the game or the end of the match. Well, it's coming down to that, isn't it? I mean, what have we got? We've got a 17-point lead at the moment. Keep an eye on this one, Craig. This really good shot if he can pull this off. He's got nice weight or not nice weight. He's done it, has he? No, he hasn't. Just hitting wow. that top part. And so now the door is open again now here for Alex Hale. A little bit of a mistake earlier. I'm not sure he'll make the same mistake again. Here's one. That's a nice shot. Four is the next ball to take. Juniors pick up five points, whatever happens here. So really what we're saying is if Alex Hale can clear the table here, they reduce that lead to 12 points. OK, so use that purple ball to get to the black, probably. There's no unforced errors here from Alex Hale. That's a nice shot. Good angle on the green. Well, he's taking the blue ball. Now he's come up table. Get a better angle on the screen ball. It's okay. Okay, I think the next shot he takes, he's going to play the purple ball and run into that nine ball. Middle of the table is good. Screw into the side rail and back out. Nice shot. Beautiful. That's perfect. 
Picture perfect, folks. Yeah, no, he's playing well now, isn't he, Alex Hale? I mean, it was just a chance of who was going to crack first, who was going to make that little oh. bit of a mistake, and has he made another mistake? Let's go above the table here. He Does he have a clear shot on that eight ball? He might be able to play it off the 15, that ball over the pocket. Yeah, he, he tried to nudge into the, the screw it back into the nine. The nine would have held the white ball good, but... So, really big moment in the context here. Does he come off the rail here? Well, oh, wow. What a shot that would have been. But, but, chance now for Blake Bernard. This five point would be incredibly valuable. I say that he'll pick up 10, but in fact, it'll be a four point. Opportunity. Oh, a little bit too hard. That's all right. It's going to run somewhere near the black again. It's going to probably nudge into the black. Unless he can put something on the whiteboard to avoid it. I think at it real thin, he should be okay. So looking to try and extend this lead out to a margin of 20 points. New Zealand men's team will pick up seven. Yeah, it's good. Okay, one more round left, folks. Yep, one more round left, ladies and gentlemen, and it is now a 20-point lead meaning, Jimmy, that if the juniors come to the table and win the next two frames, play through, they will win this. Yes. So all they need out of the last round is 30 points. And I don't think they can be caught. So three wins. Or, or two wins with no points being conceded should, should do the damage too. Okay. Yep. So 20 point lead, 50 points available. Plus. Okay, this is where I think they uh, get back into action and have a big round. Well, good guy to kick it off too with Dempsey. Go. 20 points behind. Dempsey and Burmester have the ability to do this on their own. They've been very good so far. Jeez, look at those first two rounds. They nearly had two perfect rounds. Need a good break. Needs to start here with the break. Hope you're enjoying coverage of this. VNEA eight ball teams between the New Zealand juniors and the first of our two senior men's team. This is the New Zealand white team that are playing. This is Kieran Dempsey, a member of the junior under 21s, a man from Hamilton. Good break, but a dry break, is it? He's hoping, he's wishing. Wow. Okay, who's he playing? Matt, is it Matt? I Up think. against Stephen Harris. Yes. Oh, Stephen Harris. Well, this will be a good game. Yeah, Stephen, you feel just starting to come into his own in his last two matches. But he's a, can he play through here? Can he run this rack, ladies and gentlemen? He's going to need to be at his very, very best. What are you seeing, Jimmy? Is there an opportunity for defensive play here initially? No, definitely not. He'll take one set. I just can't see what set it's going to be. They're both tricky. <laughs> Both need a lot of work and attention. Yeah, you do sense that. If you can get that 13 moved early, this is it here. This is the 13 ball here that'll win him the game. Okay, Stevie. It's one shot here can win you the game. So, so the orange 13 strike yeah. ball. Let's get to the middle of the table. It's Runs nice it shot. nicely, brings it back into the middle of the table as Jimmy says. Now he's got the ability to pick him off. Yes, he has. He's nominated the plant. So it's a soft plant here. Leave the 15 over the pocket so you can get back into position down table. Perfect. Okay, he wants to be down near the black. Or take the 10 after the shot and stun himself behind the black. Okay, so the 10 is the striped blue t striped blue ball there in the middle of the table, that would in front of that top middle pocket. Yes, that'll be the best option. Take the 10, stop shot, get behind the two strike balls and you should be okay. Above centre, get to the 10 if you can. 
You don't want to be short. That's the thing. You don't want to be short. Okay, he's gone too long, but there, there's the spot I said he should be earlier. He's got options, though. He does have options. Yeah, a little bit tricky from here, but he's going to get to the right side of uh, the 14 next, I'd say. Go back to where his hand is. Okay, so here comes the tricky part. That's why if he would have taken the 10 first, and then these two, he would have been all right. Okay, just come back and then play the 10 up the top corner. Let's have a look at it now. Oh, he's going to come right back and cut it in the middle. Same pocket 10. There you go, nice shot. But he's running away from the black here, and that's the reason why he should have got that 10 first. Well, wow, big difference here in the scores. He doesn't make the black. He needs a 10 pointer. So, what does he do here with the cue ball, Jimmy? What's he looking to do in terms of where he's hitting the cue ball in terms of yeah, well, his contact point? Yeah, I should, I'd just punch it and try and get behind the four and come out behind the purple. I think he's going to try that, but it needs to be a little bit lower to play that shot. There you go. Wow, great shot. Played the right shot. Perfect. Nice shot, Steve. Whew. Well, which way do you go? I don't think it's on past the red ball. Well, let's just go above the table and just have a look and see if we can just see how that red ball is positioned. Because he's that's probably the side he wants to play, but that's a tricky shot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's... Boy, tough shot whatever way he yeah. goes here. Usually they hit this ball too thick, so it'll hit the rail and then sit behind the three. So now he, just, he, he has chosen a side. He's going to oh, run it, beautiful. and he does it beautifully. And does it really well indeed. Oh. So that is a very, very good frame there from Stephen Harris in regards to the context of this match because it was a 20 point lead to the juniors heading into this final round and now it is down to I think just the 10 points yes 10 points so Burmist four matches left 40 points left and it'll be Sheridan Burmister now up against Machu Williams. No, in fact, my apologies. Alex, isn't it? It's going to be Alex Andres up against Alex Hale. And with the way... No, it can't be that because uh, Sean's at the table. Uh, yeah, so, OK, we have to apologise. Sean Greenfield, in fact. It's Sheridan. Up against Sheridan Burmester. That'll be a good game. Well, big match, isn't it? Yeah, Two really, match. really good players playing each other here. Okay, so in the fifth, fifth session, they get a break each. Each team has a break each. So the next break will be the junior under-21s. So the 10-point lead. And this is where Sean will show his true colours, how good a play he really is. Solids go down, but that cue ball, just kissing that stripe ball. Okay, stripes. Stripes to go. Can play a, he can play a solid one onto the stripe one if he wishes. So he can play the green ball onto the 11 striped and call that ball. Only on the first shot. Yeah, only on the first shot. That's a good start. So he'll know what's at stake here. He'd love to just go through, clear the table. Okay, back to the middle of the table yeah, for him. Bring it back to a at 144 each. That's a nice shot. Good line on the yellow nine ball. What ball's offering the most difficulty there, Jimmy? Okay, the two ball and the 13 ball, the Owen stripe, but he's going to move it right now. Nice stop shot and run into it. Got to sink the ball low first. Yeah. He does it and he shifts it exactly as he luck. says. <sighs> no luck at all. Wow. That's what happens when you run into balls. You don't know what's going to happen. You're wishing on a bit of luck. What's the safety shot, Jimmy? Is there a safety shot? Yeah, definitely. A nudge of 14 sitting behind the two if he wishes. That 12 might be on somewhere. Actually, I, I think there's a gap between the yellow and the blue ball of 13. And we'll go above the table and just have a look and see if nah. there is, in fact, the yellow, red and the blue. Two. In fact, we'll stay here. We'll just wait. There we go. Yeah, no gap there. No gap. OK, so, so where's that 12 going in that corner by the four? Oh, well, nice shot. Bad. Nice shot. Boy, that's a good shot under pressure from distance too. Well, 
this will be a good finish like I say he's the guy to sort of have that last say put him as your main anchor it's a great anchor man sort of player that's just going to leave yeah you just sense he's got a very good understanding of the game he just looks like he's got a really good head on him don't seem to oh, st shot. stress too much and great shot this could just be devastating for this under-21 team right here. Yeah, I think the 14 has to be the shot because once he plays this 10, he's going to run into that blue ball. And then you never know what's going to happen. He's going to give Sheridan a chance. He's going to hit and hope, I'd say. There you go, hit and hope, and look what happens. Nothing at all. That's why I would have probably taken that 14 on. Anyhow, that's good points. You know, that keeps them in the game. Six points is good. Double it. Yeah, I'm going to say the double is the only real shot here by the looks of it. Yeah, you can double back or double forward. It's going to nominate the middle. Oh, he's going backwards. So he's going to bring it back. Yeah, let so the he's ball. Going to try and bring it back here. So this real, real big shot here. Really big shot oh, here. He's going to get this. Sean Greenfield. I'm and Jimmy he's says this. he picks it, says he's going to get it. Gravity wow. doesn't go his way. And now big bounce Burmester comes to the table. So Greenfield did everything right. But what did he ultimately do wrong, Jimmy? Well, that was good. Good, great effort. Yeah, I think I thought he took the, well, the second to last ball was the wrong ball he took for the ten. Got him out of position. Okay, still a hard finish here for Sheridan. Well, the six points definitely will go the way of this New Zealand senior men's team. Whatever this, happens, this is do or die under pressure. He knows what's on the line, and he's got it. Great shot. Ah, oh, he looks fantastic. He's looked really good today. Big bounce. Great start. Did you know that his parents caught him when he was one and two years of age? <laughs> What's that? Another basketball analogy? No. Big dribble. Big dribble. <laughs> True story. Then he matured and became big bounce. <laughs> oh, where's he going? He's lost the white ball there. Why couldn't he just do a stop shot? Yeah, he doesn't like yeah, it. Yeah, I know. He's just looked at himself and said, what am I doing? <laughs> How did I have such a big brain fade? That's, mm. that's the sort of uh, pressure of this team's event. No, that's what we're saying. We're getting into that pressure in now, aren't we? This is where there is a thing called sports psychologists. Okay, yeah, he can play what he's looking at now. Just touch the green ball. It's an easy snooker. We can take the red ball on. Go for glory. Miss, it's all over. Pot it, you're a hero. I wouldn't say hero, but you could win out for the unoff mate I can see where he's playing the white ball that's a nice shot under pressure yeah now here's where it counts six points definitely go at the moment to the New Zealand men's team the gap is ten the gap if Burmester can play through here will be 13 with three matches remaining Just got it, snuck it in, snuck it in. Nice shot. Okay, he's going to see two balls going in the same pocket. Can he hold or can he snooker? What will he do? Go across the table, hold the ball. It's going to take tough seven on after this. He should get, go forward. Pop that, go forward. Yeah, don't underestimate the pressure they're under. I don't know what that score is. They know what's up for grabs here. Roll it forward. Great, Missed great middle pocket. concept, this one. Juniors versus the seniors. Runs it, oh, missed it. Wow. He's way short on the and brown now ball, too. They're going to concede some pretty serious points here. They're going to concede five, five points in the finish, so it will be... 10-5, so what does that make it? Yep. 1-4-9 versus 1-4-4. Four, four, four. Five points, yeah. With three... 
matches remaining. And does get the job done. So well done to Sean Greenfield. Bounces back, but some unwatched characteristic play there from Big Bounce Burmester. Very uncharacteristic. And so we talk about the endurance side of it, the duration of these matches too. We've been playing for three hours now, so it's been three hours of sitting down, watching, waiting, and you just wonder whether, you know, just some little lapses in concentration just starting to affect both teams, all players at the moment. But what a big match this one is now for young Alex Andres out of Waikato University, former out of Waikato Dio. She will take on Grant Harpy. Really important this break. She wants a good break, but she only wants a good break if she pops a ball. So they're off to, they're actually off to I Iowa. Iowa. Is that how you say? Iowa. I thought it was Nebraska. Iowa. Iowa. Sioux City. Sioux City, Iowa. I have been there before. I'm sure you have, Jimmy. I'm sure there was a lot of nightclubs and pool halls <laughs> that would testify that Jimmy the Professor Henry has been there. <laughs> A good-looking man like you would be a very desirable commodity up there, Jimmy. Thanks to my partner that uh, gave us the right information. Next weekend, we've got the qualifier for the uh, World Champs at the end of the year. And how does that look, Jimmy? What What's the qualification and... Yeah, you just got to win the tournament to get a free spot in the World Champs at the end of the year. Mm. Hopefully we'll see a lot of uh, world-class team ball players come over for that event. You can join through Q-Score. Win the tournament, you get a free spot. Mr. Marco Teutscher will not be there. Yeah, where is Marco at the moment? I'm about to ask you that question. Yeah, where is Marco yeah, Teutscher? He's, he's in Auckland. He's enjoying the uh, little bit of the wet weather. Working hard lately. And so his absence, reason why? Because he already has a spot. So leave it open for somebody else? Definitely so. Oh, he's gone a little bit too far there. He may have left him the... 15, blind cut back to the left, the corner pocket. Yes, I think that is what he's going to take on, or the 14, one of those two. The 14 would be better. No, 15 it is. You missed it. So, door of opportunity now for Alex Andres. Okay, Alex, get the points. Accumulate the points. Let's bring it down to the last two matches, possibly the last match. They said it would be close. We didn't think it would be this close. No, especially after their good start. Absolutely jumped out to about a 60-point lead. We knew the momentum swings would come. But it took really until halfway through the third round for that shift to happen. It's been one-way traffic since. Two, nice shot. two balls and one. Look at that. Two very shot, shot. good junior players still to come, and Blake Bernard and Gulam Ali, who have both looked really, really good. Sometimes the decision making maybe has forced them to come undone, but in terms of their ability to pot today, has been superb. And so now Alex Andres surveying her options. Coached by the great Jimmy Professor Henry. She's also done a lot of work with Marco. Runs that down. Nicely done. The gunslinger from Eindhoven, if you are watching. Very good afternoon.
Sullivan Clark, where's Sullivan Clark at the moment? Yes, I think he's still in New Zealand somewhere, practicing hard, of course. Has he got himself a place? I think he may may have, yeah, he should have. Yeah, quality player, Sullivan Clark. Big shout out to him, Sacred Heart College. Big shot here, big mark <coughs> here for Alex Andres. Nice shot. Okay, where did she end up? Well. Bank the three ball. Could be another close game here. Yep, picking up more valuable points. 149-144. She can sink one more ball, they'll still be leading by a point no matter what happens. If she was to lose this frame to Grant Harvey, we have just the one point difference. She of course can close it out. She'll extend that lead. Big shot here. Really big, oh, well great played, shot. great shot. shot. Wow, that is good under pressure. Wow, look at that. That'll Perfect. give us some confidence. Another opportunity here. So really good opportunity. Big shot, big pressure, big moment. I've always said she's one of the best junior lady potters around, if not the best. Yeah. I understand that she gets a talent from her mother. <laughs> I hope Bernie doesn't hear that. Might have a job, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bernie Andre is heavily involved, clearly running the Massé organisation. So just a little bit of a humorous dig at Bernie <laughs> and promoting the mother. Oh, come on, if you speak to her mum, she's going to say, of course, the talent comes from me. So I just can't hesitate here. Can't hesitate. It's got to believe in herself. And she missed it. Just saw that. It just took too long on the shot. You just felt that she was in two minds. Plays a difficult shot and then just couldn't quite see. Okay, Grant happy for the cleanup. Yeah, so now Grant will come in. But five valuable points here. Yeah, if you can leave that 14 ball near the middle for last. Oh, I don't think he will be now. You know, he could have got to the black quite easily off that ball, but now he has to get to the black off the orange strike ball 13. The key is just to put the ball. Give yourself a chance. Don't worry about the position. Focus on the pot. Oh, I missed it. Boy, no one wants this one at the oh, moment, wow. do they? He's got wow. second prize, though, because wow. he's got it right up in that corner, just kissing that cushion. So not an easy shot here from Alex Andres. Pressure's really on both. Yeah, both are feeling it, both aren't they? players, yeah. Okay, I think Alex has got a couple of shots here, even if she does miss this. It's going to be hard for Grant to put the 13, then get back to the 14. So he's going to be right down we the, understand end of the table. That both players have actually scored five points each. Yes. Who wants those extra five? One good pot here with the seven in the middle. Not too hard, otherwise, you're going to be. Snook it on behind the black. It's a nice weight. That's pretty good. Okay, like I said, Grant's going to find it hard to put the 13 and get back on the 14. Not impossible, though. Definitely not. I might just, um, well, I'll double the 14 back and kick the 13 in. Two points in one go. But you're gifted, Jimmy. Not everybody has that gift, Jimmy. I think he's going to, oh, he's, yeah, he's going to do my shot. He's going to do your shot. Yeah, double back, play plenty of bottom, kick the 13 in as well. Yep, he's got it. Can he pull it off, though? Can he pull it off? Brings it down. Nice weight, it's looking the, good. That, it's the no, it's not enough on it, is it? It's just going to sit up. So still game on. Nobody really wants to grab this particular third to last frame of this test match. Well, like I said, Alex has got two shots at this, but now she has to play a real good shot to get back to the brown ball. A lot of follow through to get behind the black. Maybe in line to the middle. What's she going to do? Maybe stun it out. Be better to follow through and behind the black. Back to the middle. Two rails. 
playing bottom. Watch out for the end off. Oh no, she's just touching her. Just touching, touching. Does it drop? It does. Wow, Another valuable point. That's a great shot. And nice now, pace. Now she has an opportunity to win this frame. Whew. Boy, I've wow. been doing the maths all day, Jimmy, and it's been going back and forward in my mind who's going to come out on top at the end of this. And what we've got now is a chance here to extend this lead out to 10 points. Just touch it and not too much bottom. Nice touch. Nice touch, beautiful. Now she'll come back and this to extend the lead. How many more games left too? Let's take it out. Twenty ball, twenty points left. And this will give them maximum. A yep, and this will give them a ten point lead, Jimmy. So two more games they need. Ten point lead. And just the 20 points left on the table. Yeah, they need 10, one win, and a couple of balls. Well, if they win this, they win it, don't they? Not necessarily. Well, they've got a 10 point yeah, lead. Yeah. If they win this frame, there'll only then be 10 left one on the six. table. So. Yes, 169. They win this frame, the under 21s, they do win this tournament, or win this particular test match against the New Zealand yes. senior men. So, plenty of pressure now will go on Alex Hale. He's going to want a very good break, and he's wanted just going to play straight through here. Just want to 10 -nil. play the rack. Knows what he needs. He doesn't need it on and off. Oh, key ball, look at that. Well, this is going to be a scrappy frame. Yeah, it's going to be ugly, isn't it? All across one side of the table, some clusters there. And now. Hope you are enjoying coverage here of this VNEA. New Zealand inter-team tournament between the New Zealand under-21s and the two New Zealand senior men's team, the New Zealand white team, are in action at the moment. Very shortly we'll bring you the New Zealand men's black team, which will feature Jimmy the Professor Henry. But we've got just the two matches remaining, so just the two frames. Ten points separate them. If you have just joined us, ten points for winning the frame. But your opponent will pick up a point for every ball that they sink or is sunk. So maximum points for the losing team being seven. With that 10 point lead, Alex Hale needs to win this frame. Juniors cannot lose if they win this frame. So he's allowed to do that because the object ball kissed the cushion, came off the rail. And he's going to return the favour here. And so the cue ball comes off the rail. And so it's tit for tat at the moment. Mm. Both of them want to get on those solid balls. So don't let him see the solid ball. Well, he's got a chance here now to pop that seven in the corner. Does he take it, though? Yes, I think he does. Or does he continue to return the favour? Does he look at him and go, you know what, young Gurlum, 
do you have the mental fortitude? Can you handle the pressure? So he's playing the snooker himself. Well, that's a good shot. Pretty hard Not to so play much a snooker, but putting him in air. difficulty, isn't he? Yeah, Gordon will just probably touch the seven ball back down table. Doesn't want to go up table. So Brown seven. Good option. 12 ball off the 9 ball in the middle. Try and push that 6 down the rail a bit. Oh, oh nicely so. played now. Where does the cue ball end up though? Oh, that's good. So. Well, he didn't nominate it. No nomination. Okay, Alex, all this. Was that an. Why not the nomination? You picked yeah. it, Jimmy, and yet. Yeah, he didn't call it. Didn't call it. So is that a rookie error or was that not the intentional shot? Well, probably not the intentional shot, I'd say. So he wasn't yeah, looking to necessarily pot, so that's why Hale comes back to the table. Oh, that's a ugly shot first off by Alex. So Alex has gone with the solids, has he? Yes. So we do technically have a point then going the way of the juniors. You don't want to play as they have no ball to hit after a shot like that. You want to go right in really hard and hope. Well, five in the middle, I'd say. He's going for it. It's going to open up a can of worms here. What if it's 10 5 win to the seniors? 10 5 win to the seniors. So what's that? 10 59 to 169 to yeah, 1. You have to play the last game. 159 to 160. Yeah, we do have to play the next game. Last so game, yeah. I mean, it is important they still accumulate points here. That's right, yeah. Now just getting to that end where you can go, well, let's, we can win the battle. Well, we can win the war and maybe you just need to win a few battles at the moment. Wow, he's all over the place too. Yeah, he both feeling the pressure, aren't they? Well, the 10 ball might be on, yeah. The 10 ball looks like it's on. Just make the pot. No. Get the points. Can you see it? He's coming back to line himself up. So does he have a channel with that 10? Can he thread that needle? Can he get past that orange 5? Jimmy thinks he can't. I think he thinks he can. So Ghulam Ali. Nice shot. Top shot. Is nine points enough? Uh, seven, sorry, seven. You're starting to really challenge me mathematically now, <laughs> Jimmy. Seven, Seven points nine. would give the New Zealand juniors 166, 10, 159. No, it wouldn't. We will go to. Why so hard? Another frame, okay. our final frame, if Alex Hale wins this. Okay, so the win's here for Alex right now. They're all there. Just has to make the pots. Draw it back a little bit for the two. That's pretty good. You can pot the two and run into the one. Best to try and miss the one if you can. Because you don't know where the ball's going to end up if you hit right, start running into balls. Nice shot. Okay, the three looks good. The seven looks good. A little nudge back for the three ball in the middle. You just got to make sure he pots them though here, Alex. No, oh, what we call unforced errors. Yeah, he's gone a little bit too far on that one. Wanted to be dead straight, so it could have been an easier finish. 
Any help? Is he going to go run around the table? He's just going to nudge it and kiss him to the 11. That's a nice shot. He's covered that pocket up. Put the ball. Hold the white ball near the green ball in line with the green striped ball. Just wants to be in line with it. Just hold it there. Now he's got a nice shot here to get back behind the black for the middle. Great angle. Just got to push through the ball. Keep it still and they'll execute the shot. You listening to the intel from the great Jimmy the Professor Ooh. Henry. Just into it. We get to the business end. Alex Hale up against Ghulam Ali. Second to last match of this what has been an intriguing test match. We'll call it that. Wow. And just like that. They do pick up the 10 points, the valuable 10 <coughs> points. Excuse me. And they win that one 10-3. So it is very much going to come down to this last frame to determine this match. Because 162 plays 159. Wow. It will not what be it will not be enough for the juniors if they sink seven balls and lose the frame. What we're saying is. Whoever wins the frame, wins the match. Well, seven okay. won't be enough. Seven. What about a draw? <laughs> no, seven will bring. Yet yeah, seven will bring that will allow money. will allow for a draw technically, Jimmy. So we could have a draw if they yeah. do in fact get the seven. Yes. So you've done your maths, Jimmy. Where are you, Massey High School? No, Rutherford High. Rutherford High. There you go. Well done to the. Maths department at Rutherford High, not so good for me <laughs> at Mighty Man Abbott Grammar. But okay, now, okay, here wait we of the go. let's go, big break. Here we go. So, Blake Bernard. Big break, Burmester. Takes on Machu Williams. Oh, he's got a ball. And oh, he's got wow. a good break. He's got a great break. Stripes here, Jimmy. Yeah, Stripes, definitely, yeah. 13 is the problem ball, but, yep, yeah, Stripes is the one. Stripes are the ones. So fascinating to read these guys get on it. We look at it very differently at home. We just accept what's gone down, what's put, what set's got the fewest balls on the table. It tends to be the default setting for most of us at this level. It's all about surveying the options. It's all about looking at the first phase, second phase, third phase. What ball's going to provide me the most difficulty on as wow. I start to run through the table here? Needs to make these shots. Can't be too casual. Just needs to slow down. Nice weight. There's one. Seven points and we will have a draw. Well, the 12. What about six points? Ain't going to be enough. The 12. If it's on past the eight, he's got it. 13 will be 13 to the 12. Should be the last shot he plays. Yeah, what you're forgetting, though, is pressure. Yes. It's pressure. Suddenly the pockets seem a little bit smaller. The cue feels a little heavier. Can't quite see the t object ball or the cue ball as well as you have been. Nice shot. There's two. You can see the nerves in them. Okay, he probably wants to stay on the back side of the 14. It's a wonderful experience, isn't it, for these young men and g ladies in terms of Alexandre just having to deal with this pressure. A little drawback again. He's still just got to believe in himself here. Does he believe? No, he's going forward. That's still all right. Forward is good. Sit on the rail. Oh, he's trying to nudge it. That worked out perfect. Well, a little bit risky, but okay. He's got the perfect line here. I might tend to take the 13 first and then play the 14 and go back behind the orange ball. Yeah. So 15 is the initial object ball. Okay, that's this is all right. He just needs to play in line to put 13 down the corner if he wishes, or the middle. Comes yeah, off middle. nicely, so 13 ball is the orange striped. So he's got to just nudge into that five enough so he can stay on that 12 ball. Now, if he sinks two more balls, worst case scenario is we are tied up when it's all said and done. And then I'm going to let Jimmy oh. explain what happens then. Well, I think they play the last round. They play the last round again. <laughs> so we don't want that, do we? We want an outright winner here, otherwise we're going to be here for another half hour at least. Oh, I'm enjoying it, Jimmy. It's... Sixth round of it. But you can just see the juniors in the background now. Oh, he's, wow, he's going down the bottom, is he? Oh, no, he's going to the middle. 
It's nudge it in. Yeah, tough pocket. This one. Tough pocket. Oh, no, he's so going down. He's going down. He's got it. What a shot. Oh, but I don't like his now, Chinese snooping now, now. Come with the man. Come with the out. They said, come to the edge. He said, no, I'm afraid. They said, come to the edge. He said, no, I'm afraid. They said, come to the edge. He went to the edge, Jimmy. They pushed him, Jimmy, and he flew. I'll let you have a think about that one, Jimmy. Is it from the, somewhere from the Bible? No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not a religious man, Jimmy. <laughs> okay, here's the winning ball. Punch it in. Go back behind the two. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 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 oh. He's snooking himself. He's snooking what himself. Did I tell you? The jump cue's going to need to come out here. What did I tell you? Okay. It's going to be a draw. It, it could end up being a draw here, folks. And so, what does he do? Does he look? He celebrated early. Yeah. No, jump cue, you just can't get over the top of it from there, no, Jimmy. Too close. Too close. Okay. Well, so. you can do, but yeah, a little bit risky. So now, a money shot to win it for the juniors, or we potentially go to a tie if, in fact, Marchie Williams can come up and then clean the table up. Big shot here. He comes, not enough weight on it. Was always underdone. Now, now it is Marchie Williams. <laughs> yeah, he punched it too hard. Come up. Behind the two balls, look at himself. Well, Jimmy, we are tied up, my good man. Whatever happens, we have a draw. If he pots all of these balls. If he pots all of these balls, we have a draw. Do we? Not not on the... 169, because seven down, that's it. It'll go to 169. And then the 10 for the winning team will take them to 169 as well, Jimmy. So, big moment here now for Marchie Williams. Oh, they haven't added the seven yet. Yeah. We haven't maybe seen enough of this gentleman just yet to be convinced that he can get the job done. Has he ever been on television? Has he ever found himself in a pressure situation like this representing his country? He has. But, but taking this ball on here is not going to leave him Very good. open stance. And that's one. See, so this is... He can't get back to the seven. I don't think he can get back to the brown ball. So he'll have to throw a snooker in right here would be the best bet. Is he that type of player, though? Yes, I think he plays percentages. Does he want to risk it now? Or is he going to gamble? Is he going to argue? He's going to gamble. Is he's he going to say... He's gambling. I'll say Las Vegas wasn't built on winners. He's going to say, well... I'm I, gonna think, I think he's out of position here. And so... He runs oh. that down. It's two. Uh oh, see now. Now, now he's, he's in trouble. trouble. Okay, so he has to snook a Blake here. Sit behind the brown ball. He should have done it earlier. It's just too much of a risk to run, you know, run all of those balls and he could have broken it down, got ball in hand and then finished. But who knows what Blake could have done. Can he bank this, Jimmy? No, he can't. This is the wrong shot. You don't want to be playing that way. You want to just nudge that four and then sit on the left side of the table behind the brown ball. He's got no choice here. He's going to have to play the percentages for the greater good of his team. He's going to take it on, though. He's going to take it on, is he? No, he's playing the nudge. Just got to watch out for the on-off. Like, yeah, you got to watch out for the on-off. <sighs> Nicely done in the finish, though. That's beautifully done. OK, so now Blake, he knows that if he can't hit it, I know what Blake will think that he could do, is push that seven down behind the black too risky at this distance see I told you what he's thinking of doing <laughs> I think he can play off the rail knowing his angles and nudge that black put the pressure back on Matt no good to play this shot under the, the, the situation just looking at that Jimmy playing off the rail bottom of the screen here would he be playing the right side of the middle pocket, or would he be playing the left side of the middle pocket? He'll be playing the short side, the right side. The right side, yep. okay. So the right side will then create the angle onto the black. Yes. If he goes further down, he's going to miss it by a mile. Okay. So you think of a triangle, look at the triangle from, you know, the middle pocket to yeah, the eight. Yeah, geometry wasn't my thing at school, Jimmy. So he's going to play this shot real risky, too risky. 
If you can set it on, good on him. That's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. Makes it a little bit harder for Machu to mm. play that seven down the corner now, but that's a winning shot. What's an isosceles triangle, Jimmy? Isosceles is... Is it two even sides? Yeah, I think so. Two, two even, maybe three. No, that'd be a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> two even sides. Uh, yeah, isosceles is two. I think it's yeah, two. Yeah, I think it's two, Jimmy. I was going to ask you to spell uh, stop it. The, I was yeah. going to ask you to spell it, but I won't. But we should get back to the serious business because it is a serious business oh, here, no, folks. What's he doing? What's he doing? He has to take the... Has to take on the seven now for the win. That's a good shot by Blake. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, you just feel that advantage has gone back the way of the under 21s. Yeah, Boy, what a match it's been. For him to win, it had to be the brown ball. Oh, he's, oh, he's miscued too. So it is opportunity here. And that will throw up the back way now of Blake Bernard. And now juniors are on the cusp of a very good wow. victory over this New Zealand senior men's team. What has been a stunning, stunning match. And here it is. So Blake Bernard and the New Zealand under-21s win it. And they win 172 to 163 in the finish. It could have been so much the other way. But when it was all said and done, the early pressure put on by the New Zealand under-21s was simply enough to get the job done. It was a competition that went back in ebbs and flows. Big momentum shift came halfway through the third round. But this very, very impressive team gets it done. Congratulations to them. Some final thoughts from you, Jimmy. Yeah, great match. Great start by the junior team. But somewhere along the line, they fell off a bit. And now... And now, yeah, they just scrape through for a good win. OK, folks, well, we're going to take a wee break here live from the Massey Club in Pukeko. If you do live in the region area, you want to come along and watch, it is free to get in. When we come back, the second of our New Zealand senior men's team, the New Zealand black team, will take on this New Zealand under-21 outfit.
Well, a very good afternoon. Welcome back to the Massey Club here in Pukekohe as we get set for the second leg of what has been an exciting morning already. It is the VNEA 8-Ball Teams Championship. Opportunity for our under-21s to take on both our senior men's team, the New Zealand white team and the New Zealand men's black team. We've also had the juniors in action under 16 and under 12s. All of these athletes taking part in Las Vegas later in July. And we've just seen New Zealand under 21s beat the New Zealand men's white team 169 
to 163. It came down to the very last match. It is an interesting format. Five players represent each team. Each player plays their other opponent in one frame. So it is round robin. It can go a long way. Zane Bernard is joining me in commentary. Good morning. Good afternoon to you, Zane. Welcome. Hey, Mark. How are you going? Very well, thank you. Well, exciting first up this morning. A wonderful opportunity for the under-21s to gain some valuable match practice, but also deal with the pressure. Yeah, definitely. Um, a lot of the juniors um, st had to step up, um, come right down to the wire at the end. So that is that New Zealand under-21 team. Dempsey, Andres, Burmester. Uh, Gulam Ali and Blake Bernard, and I've got to say, all looked very, very good this morning. They do have the advantage. They've been at the table. They've got the nervous systems up. They've got their eye in. They're used to the bright lights. They're used to the television cameras. Not so much the case for this New Zealand men's black team, and that is that team of Roldan Lago, Richard Alfonso, the Jimmy, the Professor Henry, Tony Fa'arau, and Ronald Lopez. Yeah, good-looking side. This one should be a tighter match. Looking at that New Zealand lineup. Um, contrasting styles of play. It's the first time we'll get to see Jimmy the Professor play. Yeah, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past him to have all his little wee tricks up his sleeve and bring them all out. I, he doesn't like losing. He, he's a guy who clearly knows this game inside and out. That's why they call him the Professor. He's got wonderful tactical now. Gets a really good read on things that need to be done but he himself Jimmy said look I haven't had a lot of match practice so it's all very well knowing what to do you still got to have the ability to execute it oh no well he coaches my son um quite a bit Blake Bernard um so when he says he hasn't had much match practice he might be fibbing a little bit there he's ready okay he, he dealt to my son last night um eight two eight one the other thing they've got to get to so the seven foot tables big pockets they can at times play out here on the nine foot tables one thing noticeable with the seven-foot tables is the is the slate base, not quite as thick as you get on the nine-foot tables. Therefore, those, um, uh, by I guess bringing out the jumping cues, don't tend to quite get as much pop. Yeah, that's right. Um, but the table out there is looking beautiful. It's running, running really good for the players. Um, I didn't see too many of the guys get too many jump shots in, so you're probably right. It's stuck to it a little bit. Well, another opportunity for both teams to gain valuable practice. We have been one change, I think, to this New Zealand junior team. So we have seen Ghulam Ali. He has been replaced. We'll update the name of that replacement. But it will be this man here, Kieran Dempsey who will break first, and boy, what a wonderful start they got off to earlier this morning. They jumped out to almost by a 60-point lead. It was only really halfway through the third round that we started to see the real momentum shift come back the way of the New Zealand senior men's team. And so these guys will know each other fairly well. They play a lot of tournaments here in New Zealand. It is a beautiful television table, so Roldan Lago, Kieran Dempsey. Key thing here, Zane, is you want a break, you want a good break, but you don't want a dry break. No, that's right. You definitely have to get one off the break. Um, both these players, if they're on, it's finish. There's not a lot of room for mistakes, and we will see it. Pressure will come in. I say that in all sport. That's why there are people called sports psychologists, yeah, that's and they right. deal with the best players in the world at the highest level. So... You know, even the best sometimes struggle with the mental side of it, and that's part of the development process, isn't it, for our youngsters? Yeah, and Masse, they do a lot for the younger kids. Um, of all the coaching, of all the different types of coaches coming in um, just to develop their skills. At, you know, one of the best organisations in New Zealand. Yeah, not just the technical side of it, the te tactical side of it, but also the mental side of it. And So here we go, Kieran Dempsey with the break. It is what we call an eight ball format. So what we're all used to playing at home, unders and overs or stripes or solids, however you want to call it. The winner of the frame takes 10 points. A loser of the frame can accumulate points simply by the number of balls they sink. So potentially you could see one team pick up 10 for the frame and their opponent's picking up seven because they've sunk all seven balls on the table. So that is the format. So it is a dry break. Roald Largo will come to the table player with much experience, one of a very good group of Filipino players who has really seen the game 
improved dramatically and gets away to a good start. Yeah, he left the white ball in an awkward position. Still got the long shot, got the ball over the pocket, so he should be able to carry on his visit. So that five, the three red ball goes down. And they'll get stand at the table and they'll map it out pretty quickly in terms of what ball's going to potentially provide them the greatest degree of difficulty and then somewhere along their journey they will look to try and move it if they can while still maintaining control of the cue ball it is a remarkable sport it's a remarkable skill set and that's all really just through spin so now it's one more and it's a lot of screw on that but yeah, not either. perhaps the shot he was hoping for started off a little bit nervous just trying to get the weight right He's normally very clinical in everything he does. Yeah, nice little get out of jail shot there. Comes back, so. Where does he look to go here? What's he thinking? Probably definitely has to go for the one and then get the gap between the nine and 15, I think it is there. Yeah, so it's going to play that yellow ball. Yep, the yellow one. And just nice weight on that, runs it beautifully. Yeah, it does way. come back, lovely control of the cue ball. Now the blue two on. Yep, come back it. there for the green six and hopefully it's all said and done. Just run this through and hit the gap between the black and that red 11 on the cush. It's a tight little gap. Yeah, plays it nicely. Got enough weight on that cue ball. So you've got to get through there. Yeah, definitely. You just might need to just come off that rail, though. Yeah. Small ah, so margins. Yeah, so close, close to the pocket, he should be right here. Yeah. Such an experienced player. That is the lineup. So we'll have Alexandra Andres up next. Against Richard Alfonso. Now just to come back and... Yeah, you're right there. You hit the cush first. Lovely. Just to see this... Oh, it's going to be a good start yeah, run from run, the seniors. Yeah, run through this rack. Ten zip. So other than the break, Karen Dempsey, well, we didn't see a lot of them. So early advantage goes the way of Roldan Largo. They pick up the ten points. The New Zealand under-21s come away with nothing. And now Alexandra Andres will come to the table. She'll take on Richard Alfonso. It'll be, Alf, it'll be Andres who will break. So the juniors will break this round. It'll be the New Zealand men's black team who will break in the second round. By the time we get to the fifth round, if in fact we need to go to a fifth round, they'll alternate. Yeah, well, the seniors team have been out the back practicing all morning, so they're definitely sharp and ready. Yeah, you did feel a little bit this morning for both teams having to come in here and start out pretty cold. And we saw that juniors team get that early momentum they got at the table. But I'd imagine one of the challenges for a lot of these players, like we just saw with Kieran Dempsey, you get the break, it's a dry break, you sit down, and you're waiting another 20 minutes before you come back at the table. And, boy, hard to get any momentum. Yeah, but at least they can be there supporting each other. So now Alex Andres needs a big break here. It needs something to drop. What did we lose? Uh, I think the 12 purple big one went down in the middle pocket. Okay. In the first session, have you been impressed by any of the juniors? Oh, I was impressed by all of them, actually. I was really impressed, actually, by um, 
Yeah, Blake Bernard, I just thought he he just had really good temperament of, you know, clearly um as you know, coming out of coming out of White Tro there and um I watched him a couple of years ago but just looks like yeah, he's matured a lot. I, I just thought all of them just showed great mental fortitude, which I think is the key at any elite level sport is being able to deal with the mental side of it. But no, I was also impressed um by Gulam Ali. Uh, you know, I know no um, clearly, Burmester and um, and Kieran Dempsey. I'm a little bit more familiar with them, so I probably have a higher expectation on them. Yeah, Gollum. He was a bit of a surprise package. Um, he played very well this morning. Oh, I'm just impressed by how quickly they've got a read on the game and how good they are tactically and understanding. You know, in terms of connecting the dots and understanding the patterns that are presented and taking the right options. You know, there were times when Jimmy would be saying, look, I would have played that ball first, but that went across both the senior team and the junior team. Yep. So, you know, it wasn't just pointed or targeted at, say, the so-called more inexperienced juniors. But no, pretty good, really good. Yeah, a lot of the times you've just got to be 100% sure and back yourself and be positive in the shot. You know, a lot of these times, juniors, they take the wrong path, but sometimes it's a path for them. Yeah, and it's easy sitting here, isn't it? You're not the one at the table, and we don't always get the angles 100% right here on television than what they're seeing. And so, good start here from Andres. Now, she got herself into a little bit of difficulty here. No, she can come back. She's yeah. certainly got an option there on that. Well, she Brown promoted, seven. promoted those the blue and the green little boars. So there's a possible cannon on there. Just got to be able to move the white around the table here. low on the cue ball, stops it on a dime. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what her next shot, what she was planning for her next shot. No, unless she's looking to go up the table, but she's clearly looking at the two, two ball. Maybe she played for the double. Yeah, it looks that way. To play a, try to play a safety shot there. Yeah, he has left the door ajar though. So opportunity now for Richard Alfonso, another experienced campaigner. This man's been around forever. Yeah, outstanding. Good shot to get underway too. Now, everything he wants is at this other end of the table. Bar that nine ball. In fact, it might be the 12 ball, in fact. Nine ball now. There doesn't seem to be any problems here, so he's just got to connect all the dots. stroke in there. Yeah, he's a nicely balanced player, isn't he? And this is where you can just see the experience just come up here looking pretty relaxed. No real pressure at the moment. Playing with real freedom. Yep, just got to miss this middle pocket. Oh, oh we oh missed nice. it. Commentator's curse, yeah. commentator's curse, wasn't it? You, I've got to warn you about the commentator's curse. Yeah, Never preempt anything. <laughs> <laughs> now often, there's a reason why they have the commentator's curse. Every time we say something, they just do it. So really unforced error there from Richard Alfonso. We just talked about how relaxed he looked and playing with the free head and yeah, suddenly. I, th I think he was worried about that middle pocket. So he put a little bit too much bottom on it. 
put too much work on it, wasn't quite sure on the pot then. Yeah, nice shot. Hey, she's been good this morning, Alex Andre's been really good. These days at Waikato University, so life has changed a bit. It's got a little bit busier. Maybe not quite as much time to spend at the table than perhaps she did when she was at school. But has done a lot of work with Marco Toysha and Jimmy the Professor Henry. And now just the one ball away. And then the eight. Needs to stay composed here. Two ball just not sure if it's kissing that cushion, but still tough shot. Didn't quite do it too. This has opened the door again now for Alfonso. Yeah. Be happy though, still has accumulated some valuable points. I was going to say she had to really get into that too to get the white ball coming back. So, so I've just got a bit of top left on this. Oh, got an unlucky kiss on the two, but he should still be right here. Player of this quality should get it done. I, I was saying earlier, and it's an entry. It's one of the few sports where you can play this. You could have every single game of pool ever played in the world, and not one game will ever, ever, perfectly simulate another or replicate another. And he oh. just cuts that too fine. And what's that commentator's curse again? I know, I know, I know. And we've got to I normally have it on with Jimmy there, Zane. So <laughs> we've just got to we've just got to put a stop to it. We're not yeah. going to tell you how good these guys or girls are playing at the moment because at the moment they're just making us look foolish. That's two already and it's only a second frame. <laughs> I know, I'd never had a problem all morning with Jimmy. Maybe there's something with you, Zane. Maybe it's you. Maybe. Just maybe it's you. Maybe they want to get you out there and bring Jimmy back in for their own sake. Oh, at least we get to see the professor on the table. We do, we do. I haven't, I'm not sure, I think I've done a couple of, maybe one television game with Jimmy in the past. He's been on. It's a big shot here. Big, big shot here. Key moment. Looking. Yeah, smart shot. Keep the snooker on. Let him kick the 13 out. Now, what does he look to do? Very, very good defensive player as well as this man, Richard Alfonso. Yeah, no, and Richard, he's trying to sink this ball. Suggesting he's a gambler, eh? No, the way he's looking at the ball, he's trying to contain it, play a little safety. Snooker Alex on the two. Yeah, I think you've got to get a really good understanding of your opponent too. Right, what are they feeling? How have they been playing today? If I do throw this back on them, how are they going to respond to it? Well, open the door here, so Alex certainly has an opportunity. Yeah, and you can see that shot Alex just played was very smart. Just set the ball up, let her opponent clear the traffic um, from the black, and now this is just an easy AB. Commentator's curse. <laughs> Nothing is easy. Yep, she played that very nice. Come back down now to win this frame. Not to win it, a chance of winning it. One ball to pot. Six points accumulated by the men's black team, though. Which could prove incredibly valuable later on. Just to go trail by 16-10, and she gets the job done. So yeah. good victory for Alexandria Andres over Richard Alfonso. Yeah, beautiful finish. It is one rubber each. And the score, though, it is the New Zealand team, men's team, that lead by 16 points to 10. Uh, Zane, uh, are you clearly with your um, son Blake? Are you uh, 
Q Sports family traditionally? How did you guys get into Q Sports? Oh, it was actually from my son Blake. Um, a few years ago, went down to the local club, started playing, and then from there it's history. He's done a lot of stuff now, been to the best coaches in New Zealand. We joined Masse a couple of years ago. Um, they just provide a lot of opportunities for all the kids. And you're obviously incredibly proud with what he has achieved. Yeah, definitely. He's getting better and better, especially at the VNA, the Valley game. Um, last year won a couple of the Junior 10 ball events. Um, last Junior 10 ball in the under-19s. Um, he managed to get into the final with Henry Arnouin. So that was a good achievement there. And you yourself have obviously learned a lot about the game. Yeah, well, he's been all the, to all the best coaches in New Zealand and I've been right next to him. <laughs> I, 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 I can't do everything by teaching him. But you understand the, the, yeah. the, the basic philosophy and the basic strategy involved? Yep, for sure. And it's been a, a roller coaster of a ride. Oh, that is sport though, isn't it? I, I'll keep saying at the elite level in any sport, you've got to learn how to lose to learn how to win. If you can't handle adversity, might as well get out. Because very few athletes are going to win more than they lose. And so big boss, big bounce Burmester, he's been good today. He's been very good. Just nice and steady. Controlled. Oh, missed that though. But still. You get a sense he will come back to the table. All right, here's the professor. Here's the professor. This is going to be bread and butter for him. And Jimmy, the professor, Henry, one thing he will do, he will get a read on this. He just says to himself, he's just playing, just pretty playing safety here. Not even, no. Oh, cut it. I thought he was going to play safety. Now, where do the chips fall for Jimmy? Yeah, well, he's blocked his one ball, his yellow ball of the nine yellow ball. Okay, so there's no pathway through. It doesn't have a pocket at the moment. So that's his only problem right now, I think. Going to have to look to maybe look to try and move it at some point, or certainly move the nine ball, which is blocking the pocket. At least he can find a way to play back up the table at some point. shot probably has to take the oh no maybe the green six into the middle Jimmy will know exactly what he's doing as he said he goes look I know what I gotta do whether I can do it or not's another thing because he hasn't had a lot of table time spent a lot of time coaching course this morning it's in the commentary box okay for the brown Said to Jimmy, a good game's a fast game, Jimmy. Yeah, he's just undecided here. He wouldn't want to be losing to any of his students. So <laughs> well, I, think, his I, th I think he can be forgiven on a one-off frame where I think there's probably an element of, you know, probably a little element of chance and a little bit more element of luck. Yeah, well, when you get the one chance, don't you? So, and from Rutherford High School out of West Auckland, they call him the professor because he'll take you back to school. Oh, he's got onto the right side of that, that um, brown ball. Oh, okay, he's going so for the double kick into the nine. That's what he'll be doing. Oh, there he goes, a master class from the professor. He doesn't even smile. And whose knowledge of the sport, well, it's almost unparalleled. You've got the likes of the Dino Canes around the country and some very good cuists over the years, but this man, Wayne Carey, another one, runs it up, shot. One good pot here. And the frame will go the, the way of Jimmy over Sheridan Burmester. 
Still proving that the teacher is the master. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely yeah. white ball stays up, and there we go. Stayed away so from that nine. Ten points goes the way of the New Zealand men's team. Two points goes the way of the under 21s. And so it will be 26 points to 12. And we will now have Ramatula Nazari, who comes into this team. We didn't see him this morning. It's an opportunity for another one of our youngsters to be exposed to some top-level competition and a high-pressure environment. Uh, Zane, so y your family from Waitra? Yep, yep, well, we're from Waitra. Um, my, my two oldest kids, Blake and Sydney, both born in Australia. Yep. I guess you can figure out where Sydney's born. <laughs> um, Waitra, what's still traditionally what rugby league for a lot of kids? Yeah, rugby, rugby league, um, Clifton rugby clubs around the area, the Waitara Bears, at yeah, netball, pretty popular. Yeah, and I had a grandmother who lived in Bell Block there in New Plymouth, used to spend a lot of my childhood time down there, so oh, nice. drive through Waitra. Yep, five minutes away from us. Yep, used to have the freezing works there. Yep, my dad used to work there. Yeah, I don't know much about Tony. Tony Kemp, or Tony here, Tony Whaarau. No, yep. I was talking, it was funny, I was just thinking Tony Kemp, rugby league player, another proud man from White Truck. Yep. And then you mentioned Tony Whaarau. Well, talking about Tony Kemp, Blake's been on his radio show. Yep. Uh, chatting about some of his um, pool games last year. A lot of congestion in the middle there. Yeah, it's just an ugly break, isn't it, really? From Bamatula Nazari. So deciding that he wants to go the way of the stripes. Unders and overs, stripes and solids. Everyone's got a different name for it at home. This is that opportunity though. So it just opens the door here for young Nazarite. He hasn't had a lot of chance. He's been had a chance to practice out the back. But is he used to the pressure of this format? Television table, bright lights. Yeah, Gulam, Ramatola and Blake. That's their first time in the New Zealand under 21s. So they're all inexperienced. Nice little plant. Once he left himself though, what are his options here? What sort of read has he got on this? I always say to people, look, this is a little bit like rugby. Got your first phase, then you think about what first phase might lead to second phase, third phase. It's always about thinking ahead a little bit. Oh, he got away with that one. Yeah, picked up second prize, didn't he? Yeah, I was thinking to myself, maybe he should just start putting a few balls just to get into the flow of the game, get some confidence. Yeah, and that's not actually a bad option. Say, look, you know what, I'm happy to go down 10-6 in the first round. I just need to get at the table. I need to get used to it. need to get comfortable and just get the eye in, get the momentum going. Yeah, so do you know much about Tony here? No, I've, uh, I've certainly um, we've certainly commentated on Tony previously. Yep. But clearly, to be a member of this New Zealand team, black team, he's obviously fairly well established and fairly well accomplished. Has a big game mentality, and so we'll get now an opportunity here. We'll. Matula Nazari. I'm just going to run this down and move that nine ball. Looking to just try and open this table up. Yeah, 
Yeah, nice control here. Trying to get onto the six, and he's got on there very nice. So, we talk about the importance in these early rounds to just get time at the table, get your eye in, get a feel for things. And that one just sneaks in, gravity goes his way. There was come down for a difficult shot, only one shot on here, right to the middle. He's going to need to just run this little white ball through. Doesn't want to get himself snookered. These are difficult shots. If they hit the jaw, they just bounce out. Nicely done. So, he should clean it out from here. Yep, taking control of this frame. Really good start here from Mazzari. Little, little screw back. Yeah, not bad. A little, bit of, mm, a little bit of a Chinese snooker, but should have plenty of room to get over the top of that. So now whether or not he just feels any pressure on the shot, those basic shots can be sometimes the most difficult when the pressure is on. Yeah, he puts yeah. that away nicely, so a really valuable 10 points goes the way of the juniors through Ramatola over Tony Fa'arau, who really never got a chance. And so good start, and now one of the real rising stars of the sport, Blake Bernard, will come to the table. He will take on Ronald Lopez, which will not be an easy match. A young man who has matured over the last two years. He's applied his trade, travelled the country, playing every tournament, getting the right coaching, learning how to lose to learn how to win. Yeah, and that's told it. he gets his talent from his mum. Yeah, definitely not his dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't worry, I said the same thing about um, Alexandra Andres, so I'm not picking on anyone here. <laughs> i just got a terrible sense of humour, mind you. It's a big break here, really wants to try and just get off to a great start. Wants a good open break, but needs to sink something. Doesn't need a dry break, and he's going to get a dry break by the looks of it. And so he's going to sit down, and he's opened it up. Chance now here for Roldan Lago to have a wee look, survey what has been left for him, and then decide what he's going to do, and immediately says, solids is where I see it. That's where I think I can join the dots. There's one. And only, only problem I can see here is that red three go. Oh, it definitely goes past. It should be easy for him now. Yeah, that's the hard thing too, isn't it? Uh, so you expect him maybe to... Keep that commentator's curse going. Clear the table. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a vested interest. That's <laughs> technically making me a little bit biased, wouldn't it? Uh, so if you're not aware and you have just joined us, so Blake Bernard, his father, sitting alongside of me in commentary, Zane. So thus the... Hoping that we've had a couple of situations where we've preempted some things only for them to go the other way of the old commentator's curse. As we now have a look at Roald Dan Largo, he seems like he's pretty comfortable with the way things are set here at the moment. Just having a look across the table, doesn't really look like anything of real difficulty. He's going to need to maybe just that orange five ball. He's got a pocket, has it? Yeah, the orange five, he can get the six and then the five. Yeah, nicely done too, and now addresses that ball. Come back. I can see he's going for the five, then the four. He's just got to try to avoid. Yeah, he's just got that little three ball, hasn't ones. he? Yeah. yeah, the three ball's the one that's just got that eight, so he just comes across as he provides. Oh, lovely. Really nicely done. I think he's got the angle. I think he can get through here. We might just go above the table and just have a look at that line. Yeah, it's got a nice line here. So Chinese snooker having to go atop this and then just comes back, beautifully set up and just like that. Blake Bernard, well, other than the break, we're not gonna see him at the table. We'll have to wait another round. And another so 10 points to the adults. Yep, and there we go. So they pick up another valuable 10, just like that. 38 plays 22. And we are back now into the second round. 
That seemed to fly. Yeah, when it's played that well, isn't it? But it does come down to that break, doesn't it? You know, it was a really, really good break from Blake, other than the fact that nothing went down. So he opened the table up. I mean, that is sometimes the nature of it. So we've got Karen Dempsey facing Richard Alfonso. No, no. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah, Richard Alfonso, so he will break. It's a reverse of um, this morning's juniors versus seniors, where the seniors have jumped out to a big st big, head st big start. Yeah, you always felt, though, this morning that at some point that New Zealand senior team would see the momentum shift come, and when it did come, it came pretty quick and swift. Um, I just wonder, though, whether there's just too much men's experience here, there's too much experience amongst these men's team, if that gap does get too big, whether we're going to see the same shift. Mind you, at that point, those youngsters have nothing to lose and therefore they can play with maybe just a little bit more freedom, start to take a few more risks. So that was a dry break by Richard. Yeah, Karen Dempsey, another one out of Hamilton. Great to see talent from right around the country as well, not just sort of centralised in one part of the country. Yeah, Karen, he actually won the World Under 21s last year. He did, yeah. yeah. Facing um, Sheridan yeah. Burmester in the final. Very talented cures. Yep. Oh, I've watched a lot of them over the years. The only, well, I think at times, there's just been just sometimes finishing off big matches at key moments. But that sometimes just comes with time or just a little bit of you know, assistance maybe from a sports psychologist. It's, as I said, it's, it's you're dealing with small, small percentages. You've got two balls in play. You've got smallest of margins, angles. Start here for Kieran Dempsey. The setup in Massey here with the cameras, the streaming, second to none in New Zealand. Oh, I know they present it beautifully, don't they? He's got to get himself a good commentator now, and they're all good. They're all set to go. Yeah. Take it to the world. That's why you're here. <laughs> no, look, I, I, I've tried to learn the game over the years, but you've got a good expert. But I think sometimes when you've got an expert as your lead commentator, an expert as your expert comments you just end up talking to the expert and so sometimes just having somebody who's coming in and you just ask the questions that I think everybody's wanting to ask and just trying to broaden it beyond just that niche audience but I find it a fascinating game I talk to people all the time and I just said man it's like any sport at the elite level there's just so much going on but just their ability to get to the table be able to map it be able to identify the ball it's going to create them the biggest problem and off the break, you could sink three stripes and still decide solids is the best way to go because that's just how it's mapped out on the table. There we go. Oh, I was about to say, did he get the yips? He didn't, but Dempsey bounces straight back and says back to the New Zealand men's black team, anything you can do, I can do. It's a really good start to kick off the second round and that New Zealand team pick up a valuable 10 points and suddenly, I think it's a six-point margin between the two teams. But is it the professor... It is. The great man himself, Jimmy Henry, comes to the table. Going to be facing Alex. He's done a lot of work with Alexandra Andres. Yeah, she's been fortunate. She's spent a lot of time with Marco. Yeah, I, I, I think the thing is, too, you know, I wonder whether he has an advantage as a coach. You probably also know what potentially their weaknesses are. And so you go, well... I think this is a shot that I've worked a lot with her. She struggles with, or he struggles with, and so you just oh, let's put them in that situation if I have to, if that is an option at some point. If I do have to play some sort of defensive shot, not a dry.
tight break. I think we lost the two ball, did we? Yep. So does he decide to go with the two ball? No, I think he'll, he's looking at going for bigs, but he'll hit the six first. So on your first shot, you're allowed to hit the opposition. Of score. course you are, because yep. you haven't determined what you're doing just yet, are you? Yep. Nicely done, Jimmy, for a man who says he hasn't practiced. Played that nicely. So it's the only time that he can go against suit because he still hasn't called his suit. The only game where we allowed flukes is nine ball. And it's a very different format. Must sink all nine balls, one through nine in order. So Jimmy looking just to come out. And I think he realises he can just play through here. Just got to make sure he doesn't get too comfortable. But so far, so good for the man they call the Professor. Oh, he got on the right side of that 12. And just screws that back. Lovely shot from Jimmy. Boy, a masterclass from the great man. I'm not going to say that, though. Commentator's curse. It's one. Now back for the eight. Boy, this was done in about two minutes. Might just be the fastest frame we've seen of the day. Yeah, I can't even keep up with the scoring. No, I tell you what, he, he talks himself down, but there is a reason they call him the professor, and that is just a dominant display. And bang, 48 plays 32, just like that. Jimmy Henry keeps a pretty strong buffer for this New Zealand team. And Alex Andre as well, never really got to the table, did she? Now it will be Tony Fa'arau. Very well accomplished. I understand he does come from a snooker background originally as well, like a lot of players. So you don't really need to rack those balls in any particular order. Just have to make sure that black eight ball is in the middle. Let's see what Tony's break's like. Yeah, interesting coming across the left-hand side of the table here. And what do we go? Another dry break, is it, Zane? Yeah, I've no opportunity for the juniors. A few clusters here. Just having a look at the spread of the table. If you're talking to your son, Blake, what are you telling them to do? Smalls or overs? Probably go overs, take the one on to take the, the stripes. Nine. Yeah. Take the one on to the nine. Because he's allowed to do it off the oh. first shot. Oh, this is Sheridan. Sheridan Burmester. Big bounce Burmester. And he's going to do that too, isn't he? And brings it up the far end of the table. I'm not sure he's that happy with that shot. He's got a containing shot here. He can hit his 15 down by the black and leave the white behind the black. Might be the only option he's got. And that's looking like what he's going to do. And then looks to try and just bring it back down here into this cluster. And so good defensive play here from Burmester. Yeah, he got away of that one. Might have a does he have an opportunity here on the two blue? Can he thread the needle here? He's having a look at it. What's his second shot? Possibly come back and does he need to shift anything here, Zane? Oh, I think the biggest thing is he's just gotta make a legal shot. And there's that big cluster of balls there. I think they're gonna get a couple of shots each. Yeah, that was the most important thing. Open the door here though for Big Bounce Burmester. He's going to come back. He's going to have that orange 15. Yeah, we 
already eyed up. I think he's going to cannon this 14 onto that brown big one, open up the one. So probably playing for a little bit of luck. Certainly oh, broken it up. Opens up everything. One, well, one gonna, shot. Yep, he's going to need to play through here. Big bounce, Burmester, because he has opened the table up. And just looking at those solid balls, they do look like, in fact, they all do have a pocket if needed. Missed it, missed it now. Opportunity for Tony. Yeah, he's got a couple of little trouble balls around. So it'll be interesting to see how he approaches this visit. Yeah, if he can take control here of the cue ball, then those troubles might disappear. There's the fact that he doesn't necessarily have the control he wants. It's a start, so what does he do? Maybe he comes across two cushions here. Try to get back onto the orange five. It's one. It does oh. come back across on two. Oh. Just on the wrong side though, is he? Yeah, at least he's got the, the two on. He's got options true. Yeah, it's easy, isn't it? Just sit there and just focus on the one ball and forgetting that in fact there are other options on the table. Sort of putting himself into a little bit of trouble here. We saw it a lot this morning too, where players just, yeah, almost snatched defeat from the jaws of victory just by some key decisions or just some mis executions at times. Oh, another little cut shot called it. Now, where does the trouble lie? Oh, he's got a good shot on the green six. Yeah. Has to probably want to come across so he can get the like one in the same pocket yeah. so he can get some angle. Yeah, get some one on the yellow. Get some angle off the yellow. Try to get amongst that five and the seven. No, no, he's electing to screw this back maybe. Played for a cannon. Oh, what do I know? Look at that. Oh, look, we've had Jimmy sit here in the same position, Zane, calling it for only players to do something different and pull it off. And like we say, it's easy to sit here, but we're not at the table. These guys are seeing things very differently to what we are at times. And... That's what I'm saying. You can look at it and think the obvious shot, and they're seeing something completely different, which what makes the sport equally compelling. So, really good play here from Farrell. And now, just the eight, just the eight to finish. Yeah, that was a nice finish. And it will be another ten points, but it'll extend the lead by a further eight because the under 21s will pick up two. And so another good start. 58 plays 35 now. 58 plays, 35. In regards to Blake's success in a town like Waitara, which, um, has he had much press and coverage down there and been in some of those smaller towns? Sometimes that can be of a benefit for some of these so-called smaller sports, and I use that term lightly. Yeah, it gets a lot of coverage out there. Um, I think there's an, a new article going out on the Daily News owned by Stuff, um, he's quite fortunate. He applied for a program with Sport Taranaki, um, their future champions program, which um, he got selected for after a pretty hefty process. So they teach the kids um, about the mental side of sports, um, nutrition, um, everything possible um, in the rest of, throughout the rest of the year to get them to that next level. So we've got 
Our next game underway. Who have we got here? We've got Rama Tula Nazari at the table. Up against, I think it might be Ronald Lopez, is it? Yep, that's right. So this young man looked good earlier in his first round, picking up a valuable 10 points. Haven't seen a lot of them. It's an opportunity to introduce himself to the wider Q Sport public. One of the young talents coming through and really just now starting to see all the hard work that Massey have done over the years and now in combination with the New Zealand Pool Association, this, the clubs and the infrastructure and the coaching and group of players starting to come through pushing each other and getting an international opportunity. And you've got the World Junior Ten Ball in Hamilton in September. Yeah, no, certainly looking forward to that. So a number of these kids will probably be playing in that. So missed it again just talk about these unforced errors at times and how costly will that one be is there a preferred format for um for blake oh he just loves hitting a ball you know sometimes you get a lot of criticism where everyone says he should focus on something you know last year he was playing five or six different formats of pool um, he just loves it. Yeah, he's young enough at the moment too. I guess at some point you might have to specialise, but at the moment, learn all formats. You're always learning something, can't you? Yeah. I go back to the America's Cup when we won the America's Cup back in the early 1990s. Eventually they said, look, you know, it's bringing all these sailors and stuff from every different yachting class you could imagine of all experienced different international yachting regattas and all different boats and then bringing all that knowledge together and that was the difference and I think that's the same thing. Yeah, he definitely prefers 10 ball. He's fallen in love with that, with that game. Well, that's the Olympic point of view going forward. Hopefully, come Brisbane, that will be the format. And hopefully, it will be included in the Olympic program. Oh, that'll be pretty exciting. So, little Dan Lago here. Seeing if he can take his opportunity. Things look pretty good if he can just get past this. Yeah, Blake was quite fortunate last week. He won the club's New Zealand Junior Nationals. Yeah, we, we mentioned that earlier this morning. You know, to be fair, I'll, I'll put a lot of it down to Jimmy. Um, he's, especially this year, he spent a lot of time with Blake, um, teaching him a lot of defence. Yeah. Um, but as you're aware, he's had a, a number of coaches over the year teach him different things. Um, Marco's been a big influence on his stance and his timing. Yeah, it's funny though, isn't it? When you're trying to win a World Cup football final, rugby final, whatever, you know, it's often defence that gets the job done. And I think you can apply that across to a lot of sports. You know, sometimes it's just those key moments, isn't it? How good is your defensive game? And your ability to execute it and your ability to know when to play it. Because often in that situation, you've got three balls in play, haven't you? You've got the cue ball, the object ball, and then ultimately the ball you're looking to try and hide behind. Yeah, well, his next goal, going over to that under-21s VNEA um, world champs. So he started focusing and hitting more on the valley table. We've got one at home, so he's getting stuck into that. Hope he cleans his room. <laughs> yeah, most of the time it's normally pretty tidy. <laughs> Okay. And there we go. There'll be another simple opportunity here from Roldan Lago. Just to take them to 68-38 and have a 30-point lead. And just yeah, like nice. that, they do get the job done. Now the last match of the second round about to take place. 
Here is now Blake Bernard. Blake Bernard. Who's he playing here? He's playing Rolden. So Roldan Largo, he will have the break. So just bringing it slightly back off the balk line there, or that white chalk line. And good break from him. And we've seen the four ball go down. Now he has to decide what he wants to do. So unlike rules at home, you can choose what you want to do. The eight ball is sitting there precariously, so that is not an option for any ball. That'll be something they factor in at some point. And it is just sitting right there on the edge. So that pocket, so we're down to five pockets for these remaining balls on the table. Solids look pretty good. Yeah, if he's going to take the solids, you probably want to get on the other side of that 11 so he can run down for that 9. That's probably only his problem ball where he's got to get behind it. Like it might be a good idea to take this 15. I imagine you growing up like all of us at some point. You've So just watch the shot he's so used going for. Yeah, so he's still got to try to get back on that 9. This is going to be a messy frame. Yeah, just trying to understand the logic here from him, but he'll clearly be able to rationalise it if we did ask him. Looks like he called safe. So, yep, I'd like to sink the two, hand the shot back to Blake. So, good tactics here from Roldan Largo, finding a way out of a bit of difficulty. And now, what does this young man from White do? What are his options? There's probably nothing here to go for, so he's probably looking at the best position to put the white. I might elect to put the, just contain the 12, put the one behind the 12. So the yellow ball. We'll shut down the game for a little while. Yellow ball, just sink it in behind that. Yeah, purple stripe ball. No, so he's going in front of the big ball. Let's have a look what he does here. Yep. So let's have a look. He got away with it. Only time will tell. So Roald Lager will come up. Will he see things differently? Does he look to play the yellow one ball, or does he look take his chance elsewhere? And is there another option for him? Now starts to look down the table, starts to look at those other options. Does he look to play defensive and look to throw it back? Well, I think he's going to. No, nope, pot's one. Oh, he tried to promote um, the big ball there. Intriguing match this one. Certainly oh, he's got on the so right side of that yeah, line. Certainly hitting the ball well, isn't he? Yeah. Certainly just starting to come into his own. Does rather than Largo, boy, an experienced campaigner. Moving been away forward. With many New Zealand teams over the years. Yeah, was it him who made the last eight last year? I think it was. In Vegas. It's a big sport, isn't it, amongst the Asian countries and the Asian population and the Philippines, Japan. Yeah, I can see here he's going to use a 10 to hit into the 1 to promote and, and maybe open up that pocket. There you go. He's navigated this set very well. 
quality player, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to thread the needle here. And then he's just going to have to just gently kiss the eight ball and it's all over. It'll be another 10 points the way of the New Zealand men's black team. Yeah, unless he snookers himself. Should be pretty much done and dusted here. And he does get the job done. And now 78 plays 40. So a 38 point lead for this New Zealand men's black team. Starting to get into... Starting to get away from this New Zealand under-21s team, but we saw a big shift, similar situation earlier this morning, except it was the New Zealand under-21s who had a commanding lead over the New Zealand senior men's white team. And things changed very quickly. In fact, it came down to the very, very last match to determine who would win it. With a lot of different scenarios that could have played out. At one point, it almost looked like it was going to end up being a draw. And the number of points accumulated... But it was the under-21s that came out victors on the finish. So Kieran Dempsey, he'll be back at the table, start of the third round. And he'll take on the professor, Jimmy Henry, who so far has just looked absolutely bulletproof. Yeah, I think the only way to beat Jimmy here is a break and clear. Yeah. Because I think Jimmy's too defensive game. It's just read on the game. It's just so good. There's just no... Just has such a wonderful understanding of the tactical side of it. So going low on the cue ball. Kieran Dempsey. World under 21 amateur champion. Oh, how lucky does Jimmy get? Have a look here. What's Jimmy going to take here? Is he going to go with the stripes? He's a player who will identify the difficult wall. He'll look to move it early too. He will look to try and shift it if he needs to. If he sees, say, the third shot might be difficult for him, he will address it very early on. He's not about just accumulating seven points and giving up the frame. I'll ask you this, Saint. I mean, you would have grown up like all of us and played pool at friends' houses or at motels or wherever and probably never really understood the true tactics and, and the control of the cue ball and the spin. It was just a simple case of putting the ball in front of you. Yeah, having a bear, putting some balls. And now understanding boys, just the absolute magnitude of it and just what is actually required. Well, he's not happy with that shot. He'll find a way out, though, Jimmy. He will find a way out. He'll play the defensive game if he needs to. Is there a defensive opportunity, though? Or yeah. Is he going to look across at Kieran Dempsey and go, Kieran, I understand what your weakness is, and I'm going to force you onto that hand. He can still carry on here, because if he gets on the right side of it 11, he might be able to screw back into that... Um, brown one but it looks like here he's going to go for the middle he's going to come off two cushions and try to promote his trouble ball down the end oh he just missed let's see what he does here Is he going to double the 11 over? No. Oh, crafty. Just plays safety, plays the defensive shot. Knew that was going to come because he did not use that little marker there on the side of the table to nominate a pocket. You must nominate your pockets. Karen's just got to be careful here that he doesn't give a good angle to Jimmy. So he can use the 11, the wide off the 11, to hit his other ball. Nice shot from Jimmy. Uh, nice shot, I should say, from Kieran, Kieran Dempsey. Yep. 
It's a really, really good opportunity here now for Dempsey. Just need to get himself eventually on the right side there for that Brown 7 ball. And the back of Karen's head, he just won't want to get let Jimmy get back to the table. Oh, Jimmy gets back to the table, it's all over. We know that with the professor. Jimmy will tell you that himself. So we are at times Karen has come undone in the past. It's just been more sort of almost unforced errors from him. So just got to make sure he just keeps it together mentally. Just plays with that level of clarity and freedom. I can do it off this ball. Can promote this brown board down the, oh, at the top of the table. This is a shot. No, yeah, nicely done. It. Yeah, nicely done. Just move that beautifully. Yep. That was always going to be the one ball that was going to provide a little bit of difficulty with him for him. a beautiful shot. Screw it back for the brown six, one and black. Just like that, eh? Just like that. These guys make it look so easy. But it's anything but when you put a bit of pressure in the television lights under you. So it's got a little bit of work to do here. Go to the top right and looks like it. Make sure of the pot. It's going in. Two rails beautifully played there yeah, by great position. Kieran Dempsey. Boy, that is good. And now if this brings it back down, it should be enough to get it done here. Great weight again on the cue ball. Very, very good from Kieran Dempsey. Brilliantly done. And he'll pull back a really valuable 10 points. Jimmy will pick up five. It'll be 83 playing 50. So that margin is 33 points. Karen will be happy with that. He scored the professor in that game. He did. And now Alex Andres will come to the table. This is the second match of the third round. She's playing Tony. So taking on Tony Fa'arau. Who was very impressive in his previous match. And so really got to believe here, Alex. Thing that she's just been probably a slight weakness today is just being the break, just not, just not able to pot her away. So that is that score, 83.50. So Alex Andres and with the break, needs to not have a dry break here. Needs something to go down. Wants a good break. Is she unlucky again or is it luck? But it is another dry break, good break. Table is spread open. You've got those solids all at one end of the table, the stripes all at the other. Where does he go here? Does he go with the stripes? Or does he go with the solids, I think? Might just be a 50-50 split here. Is there any one particular ball that's going to cause some problems? Yeah, these both sets look... Fairly okay. Yeah, don't think I'm saying it's probably the most even break we've had so far in regards to the spread on the table. Isn't that six ball's not really causing any major problems for stripes and equally two. The green ball may be the only one that might provide a bit of a challenge at some point in regards to the solids. So maybe that is the reason to go with the stripes. And he's going to play the stripes. Yep, 
take his isolated strike ball. Bring the cue ball yeah. back down. And as Jimmy says, just get rid of it early. And then just bring everything down to one end of the table. That way you can play from the middle of the table most of the time. Control the cue ball. Just hold the white ball back just off the rail. Or his upper brown ball. Yep, nicely done. Delicate little left touch. to the four maybe so you're watching the third round match between Tony Fardell and Alex Andres in this format between the New Zealand under 21 juniors taking on the senior men's team in this team format five members in each team each member plays one frame against the opposing members. Ten points for winning the frame. And a point for every ball the losing team does sink. So technically you could still pick up seven points if you lose the frame. And that's the score at the moment, 83-50. And just like that. out beating Alex Andres by 10 to nothing extending that lead now 93 50 big bounce Burma stunt comes to the table man who plays a lot of his Q sports out of the Glen Eden Club in West Auckland I understand he might be a relation to Moss Burmester the swimmer it's not a particularly common name Moss of course gold medalist and the butterfly at the Commonwealth Games and 2006, fourth in the Olympic final in 2008 in the 200 metre butterfly. Boy, good break. Three stripes have gone down, according to my calculations. Yeah, so this could be a good confidence boosting frame for um, Sheridan. Yeah, just have a look at any difficult ball there that he might just need to move. Probably has to go for big ones here. Yeah, three. I think three have gone down already. So, yeah, different thing in this point situation, isn't it? If you decide to go for solids, you're 23 points over immediately. Yeah, and that's what they did in the morning game, the seniors. They had a chance to go 10 0, but went for the opposite set and ended up being 10 2. Towards the end, that might have been the difference. Absolutely. And so now big bounce Burma start. He'll look to <coughs> run this down the table. Or does he get rid of this ball? And he'll look to bring this cue ball back into the middle of the table somehow. Bring it back across to the other side. Give himself an angle on that stripe 12 ball. Does come back across. He's got to be got himself into a little bit of difficulty. So looking for that top left hand corner. And then looking to just Keep it there and come back and play that 12. And he's missed the shot. Missed the shot. Big moment, I would suggest here. Sheridan Burmester disappointed. Just a little bit too much weight on the previous shot and just got himself on the wrong angle. And now Ronald 
Lopez. And decides to play safety. So throws it back to Burmester. Yeah, I'd have a go at cutting this right down to the end of the table. I don't think he's got a choice, has he? I mean, it's game on, isn't it? I mean, it's there for Lopez to just... You can try and be clever. I'm with you. I mean, I have a saying, Las Vegas wasn't built on winners, but sometimes you've got to gamble, eh? Yeah, definitely. What's the old song? You've got to know when to hold, know when to fold. He's got to try to navigate that gap between the five and the six so he can get that 12, is it? Oh, does run it up. He's does run it up. Really nice shot. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Now, the difficult 12 ball. Now, what does he do here? Boy, tough shot. I don't think he can cut it in the middle without hitting the Well, he'll go in off only, I think, too. Danger here. So what's he nominating that middle pocket, is he? No, he's coming back. What's he doing here? Uh, I think he is. Definitely a good bird's eye view of the, the, the table. Boy, this would be one of the great shots if he can pull this off. And get on the black. Oh, Ooh. almost did it too. Gutsy shot. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. But open table now completely here. For this man coming to the table, Ronald Lopez. So Lopez, his frame to lose. Just look to pick him off one by one now. Two and the four there. Maybe the two balls that might create the highest degree of difficulty. Take the four here. Just got to move that 12, doesn't he, really? And he's all go. Uh, take the four here. So purple four ball was what yep. he's, was the object ball. And he opens up that pocket for the two. Just can't make a mistake. No. Oh, he's doing it this way. He's going to come back across the table, is he? Little no, he's gonna tiny play the purple back. four. Yep, tiny screw back for the six. Big screw back. So, gotta get rid of that two ball, I think. Oh, missed it, missed it. Oh, yeah. I got so lucky. Big bounce, bear missed it. Bring out the jump cue. Bring out the jump cue. Might be able to swerve it around it. No, no mass going, eight. Going for the, the jump cue. Come on, the juniors need this one. Yeah, well, the juniors do need this one. I was just going to say, you sort of sense that if this one gets away from the juniors, I think it'll be, yeah, almost near impossible to come back through three rounds with just the two rounds to play. Quite a monumental effort to come back from 50-odd points down. All right, we get to see Sheridan's jump shot. Uh, he'll, like, he'll like the opportunity here. I mean, they would like to do this in a game situation. This is where you find out concentration key. I reckon odds are in his favour. I'm going to pick him to do this. And he does it. Oh, but he snookered himself. Did he just get on it? I think he's just on it. Go above the table. Oh, he's on it. That's definitely on. Yeah, I don't think he can squeeze that. I think he can thread the needle there between the cue ball and the eight ball. Oh, he doesn't look too happy. Nah, he's, looking, he's eyeing up the angle. He can cheat the pocket a little bit if he had to anyway. Let's take it on. He's going to take it on, Burmester. So let's have a look at this to pick up a valuable 10 points. It'll still be f four points that'll go the way oh, of the juniors, easy. and he does get it done. So really, really good opportunity. Come back there for Big Bounce Burmester, which we'll now see Rahamatula Nazari come to the table. Nazari come to the table. back and just have a look at that replay so yeah that was
was a classy finish from Sheridan. Jump shot, narrow cut. Had it all in front of him and he made it. So here we go. So Ramatola Nazari with the break. And so we lose the three ball. So solids are down. What's he eyeing here? As you see, stripes as being. That 12 ball, probably the one that would create the degree of difficulty. Needs to go with the stripes. Yeah, the juniors need a couple of 10 nil racks. Uh, in the morning game, the seniors, they got a couple of 10 nil racks to bring them closer. Yeah, well, it's almost now or never, isn't it? So <coughs> a tough shot. Yeah, really tough shot. Those corners. And I think that's just maybe a little inexperience where possibly some sort of defensive shot might have been a better option. He felt he could get it though. But you know, all these big ones look great. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying earlier that the only ball that looked like any real difficulty when you looked at the strikes was that purple 12 ball, but try and move that now and he's done that blue 10 at the top of the table a senior team just looks calm and collective yeah yes See, he should see this out too right here, shouldn't he? See, well done, Largo. There's nothing there that's particularly oh, tricky for him. What did you do? I just put the commentator's <laughs> curse on because I want to see a young fella do well. What do you think I did? I did it deliberately. <laughs> what part of that haven't you learnt yet? There's a thing called the comment. It's not a myth. That's true. <laughs> I said that just because I wanted to give your young guy, Blake Bernard, an opportunity. <laughs> Saying that, I still think there's options here. Maybe just, just about controlling that cue ball, though, isn't it? Oh, he's got a shot on the 10. Yeah. Not much, but he does have one. So the blue 10, top of the table. We need to try and just cut that into that top corner. And he's going to go for it too. So really big key moment here. He sinks this. He does. Brings it back down. And what options? Yep, I think he can thread the needle there. Yeah, just a little stop shot. And will take control of this match. Checking both balls. Screw this. Oh no, oh. he just touched it. Yeah, it was a bit too close to the 11. So, unforced error. A key moment. Opportunity. The door is ajar. Now, Rama <coughs> Tula Nazari. Can he walk through that door? Just it's there for him. Just a little stun out for the four. So far, so good. Brings it back up. Oh, he's got a lucky kiss there. But a work still to be done by the young man. Big shot right here. Does he believe? Big pockets he does. Yeah, friendly bounce. And now, a real momentum shift if they can win this one. Yeah, come back over this side of the table a little. Wants to be on the left of the eight, of this, sorry, the brown ball. Yeah, nice shot. Can I let just to do a little wee stop shot here, tiny screw back. Yeah, 
a beautiful shot. Much needed points for the juniors. Yep, great momentum shift too, and also just reducing the New Zealand men's team to just the four points. So 101 plays 70, we're down to 31 points. And now one of the real stars, the young man out of White Thra, hopes of one day playing the sport at a professional level, comes to the table to see if he can continue the momentum, seize the opportunity. And Richard Alfonso. Yep. And young Blake Bernard, blessed with a very good looking dad. Well, that's you, big guy. Yeah. I definitely don't, don't go to the same hairdresser as you. <laughs> oh, we wish this young man all the very, very best as we wish all the young junior players on the way up the very best as well. But let's see what Blake Bernard can do. We're going to see the two has gone. They lost a little control on that white. I'm lucky it didn't scratch anywhere. You explain the definition. What do you mean scratch? Now, normally when you break, you try to screw back the white or you leave it in the middle of the table. Whereas if you scratch, the white ball goes in. You know, you hand the, the control back to your opponent. So it's just like an in-off, basically. Yep, yep, that's it. Yeah, I'd just like to explain these definitions <coughs> to people that may be watching it, that... I don't understand some of the vernacular that goes with sports. I'm certainly still learning as we go. But I tell you what, it is a fascinating sport. And if you don't think you should, if you don't think maths and physics and all of that is relevant while you're at school, you never know. You might end up taking up Q sports and it all becomes relevant. Yeah. Angles. A bit of trigonometry for the angles. Yeah, you've already confused me. <laughs> yeah. Nicely balanced. Done a lot of work here with Marco Toysha, as mentioned, in terms of stance and the ability to strike the ball. And like all sports, there is a technical component to it. So the hardest ball here for Blake will be the black. So he's going to need to try and move it if he can. Yeah, black ball, if he can somehow get on well, the side that he's on at the moment at some point. He'll be aware of it. He's a smart player. So he's just got to make sure he gets the job done in front of him at the moment, though, one after the other. It's a funny game. You want to be thinking far ahead, but you've also got to just make sure you get yeah, the immediately ball down. Hasn't done too good here, unless he can cut the brown over the middle, which I don't think he can. OK, so does he look to play a safety shot? Is there a safety shot is the key thing? Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? We'll play safety. What is the safety shot? Is there an option here? I'm not sure there is. So he might just have to go here. Yeah, he's going to try to get his ball in front of those two bigs over by the end pocket. Got another option, possibly. What does he look to do? Looking to try and possibly what? Cut the... Cut. No, he's just putting the white ball down the end. Yeah, nicely done too. Has he no. got enough weight on it? No, Didn't ten ball it. is open. Blue ten is open. Purple twelve ball, potentially an object ball, but mind you, he's got a little bit of work to do there. He's going to throw it back on Richard Alfonso. Yeah, really nice man, Richard. Always keen to help out the juniors, have a chat to them. Oh, that's what I like about sport, doesn't it? It tends to break down a lot of racial barriers as well. You know, you sort of come along, you've got different people from all different walks of life, all different ethnic backgrounds, and you might have some, I don't know, preconceived ideas or you know, yeah. maybe familiar with some of the cultural norms, and you just get to meet these people, play with them, and you realise actually nothing's different. We've just shared the same passion for the same sport. Yeah, the pool table is a great equaliser. Absolutely. I think sport in general, isn't it? And ethnicity, where are you guys originally? Oh, um... Yeah, we're born and bred in Waitara, me and my wife, Barb. Um, we're 
moved over to Aussie in 96. For Are you were Māori descent, though? Yeah, Māori yep. descent. Um, Barb's Te Aoteawa on Ngāti Ruahini. Baba looks at you, Nati Pakia. <laughs> Good man, Albert Grammar boy, though. <laughs> Went to school with a large Maori Pacific Island community. Yeah. No, I often say, I, and I still say it, I think, in a lot of sport, I think that more sports need to still tap into particularly Pacific Island kids. Um, you know, Maori kids, I think, best athletes in the world across a lot of sports. And I think too many sports tend to stereotype them as saying, oh, league or rugby. Yeah. And, you know, I look at cricket and I think how much work are you really doing in that space to try and develop really good cricketers? And having gone to a very multicultural school back in my day, I just saw these kids pick up sports for the first time and just, just extraordinary what I saw. So it's good yeah, to I, didn't, I didn't have a good angle here on this, the big brown one. So he's electing, oh, he's con doing a containment shot. Yeah, playing oh, safety. I don't know if he left it on. He wasn't too happy with it. Well, we'll find out, won't we, from Blake Bernard. A young man. Is that on for the end pocket, maybe? One good pot here could get him back into this frame. You know, he made an error on his second shot. Snookered himself. I'm just not sure he's got a pathway, has he? Can he thread the needle here? I don't think he can see it. Pots on. Is it going down the end? No. Tried to play some sort of, oh, look at that. Some sort of safety, maybe just to block the the brown big one. But I think if he cheats the pocket, it's probably a little bit covered there. Oh, I'll take it right now. Get the right angle on the nine. Yeah, we saw him earlier in the very first frame of the day in his first match make a bit of a real fundamental, well, unforced error by his own high standards. So that's one thing you've always got to remember, as much as you think things are often done. Yeah, he's got to think this through. If Blake gets another visit, it's all over. He's got to try to get a cut on that 14. So green 14 ball. <coughs> I'll go for the nine first, I'd say. Try to get that little narrow gap so you can cut in the 14. Or double it. So or play a safety. So it just comes in. Nice weight, nice weight. Is it enough? Is it enough? It drops. Yeah, he's got the good angle on it. He's got a shot. Yeah. He should be right here. So he's looking to just uh, subtly, just slightly just cut this in. And then just come back for the black. Let's screw this back a little bit. Brings it back oh, across the other side. Nicely done. Got a lucky nudge on the eight. And so now Richard Alfonso to extend this lead to 111 to 73. And almost out to a 40 point margin. And so we'll finish the end of the third round. bring us to the start of the fourth round. The end of the fourth round, if that lead is more than 50 points, we will not have a fifth round. So, Tony Whaarau will take on Karen Dempsey. <coughs> We fought out with the break.
73 to 111. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 38 points to margin at the moment. I was just saying, if it gets out to be on 50 by the time we get through this round, we won't be playing a fifth. There won't be enough points left to win. We have a maximum 10 points. to start bringing in the golden ball so they can get some more points. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they're doing snooker now. What do they do? Oh, they've introduced a, a golden ball that goes down the end. It's worth a lot more, so your breaks can possibly be bigger than 147 now. break there from Kieran. Yeah, Kieran. Oh no, that was from Tony. Yeah, so Kieran Dempsey now comes to the table and he has, well, the one ball precariously placed there, so that is on if he decides to take the solids. Yeah, probably going to take the littles and hit this big one onto the little one. Which he's allowed to do off the very first shot after the break, puts the other one down, so whatever happens, stripes will be be interesting pick up a point in that situation he could have nominated either of them well he still might he, no he could have I don't know which one he nominated there because he sunk both of them he could have nominated well he's not happy with the outcome is he yeah maybe he went for the little ones maybe he looks to play a little bit of safety here now throw it back on Tony and see if Tony can maybe get himself out of trouble and no well the juniors need this create the unforced error and come back to the table <coughs> So, no, I've seen from Tony so far, he's been very good today, so you don't really want him coming back to the table. And so he does play defensively. Not too bad. Not too bad. Difficult shots for Tony. There are pockets, but they are very, very difficult shots. What does he do? Does he look to play the plant here? Does he look to just throw it back on Kieran? No, he's got to have some sort of go. But what does he? What, what are the options here? Oh, oh, probably in the nine. Cut the nine in the middle. Oh, cut. Yeah, didn't see that. So maybe cut the nine in the middle. Yep. He's got to cut. No, not on the fourteen. Yeah, cut the nine in. Or we can play safe here. Yeah, I think it's he's going to play. 14. I think he's going to play safe, isn't he? And as long as on that shot, either the cue ball or the object ball must come off a rail if you're going to snooker or play safety. And it just stops you from just basically tapping him behind the ball a hundred times. This will be interesting to see Kieran's mindset. You know, they're a long way behind. Is he going to take this on, or is he going to play safe? You know, for someone of his ability. Taking that two down to the corner should be a formality. Oh, he's taking on the three. Going to take three top left here. So bottom of the screen, his top left, or his top right, in fact. Yeah, he's run it, he's nice run it, shot. he's run it. Nice shot, really nicely played. Now he's got some options. So really big opportunity here for Dempsey. Just missed it, trying to promote his one. Still, he's at the table. As long as he's at the table, he's got a chance. Now he takes the uh, two down to the end, so he can bring the white ball across, back across the table. I think that's what he's electing to do. Runs that down nicely. Yeah, didn't bring it over far enough. Oh, he's got the brown. A solid brown ball. Not 100% happy, but certainly not undoable for him. The body language suggests that it's not ideal, but not bad either. So he's just going to, just a lovely little going low on this cue ball. So he's just going to want to just draw it back. And now he's in a bit of trouble.
Maybe you can just nudge the four onto the one. Leave that um, purple 12 locked up. Yeah, just put the cue ball in behind that. Yeah. Yep, just like that. <coughs> you know, his next visit, if he gets a shot on the four, he could use that to promote the one out of that space. Well, that 12 ball there, it's it's a tough one, isn't it, for Tony, wherever it happens from here. He's got himself in a precarious position. He's going to need to try and move that if he can. Because he doesn't have a pocket for it this end. And I'm not sure he can get on the other side of it from the other end. If he got nice and straight on that 12, he could just elect just to touch it, not give Kieran a shot on his four. Oh, no, he's played a good angle off the 11. Might be able to get it out of there right now. Yeah, going to have to move it now, isn't he? So watch the cue ball here, folks, looking to try and just move that purple. Wants to sink this ball, but just move, and he does move it. Oh, really nicely played. Yeah. Great shot there from Tony Fardell. Really good shot. That could be a match winner. Yeah, I'm quite impressed by Tony. Oh, he's looked brilliant all day. Yeah, Jimmy the Professor Henry, he'll be hurting, getting beaten earlier today after winning the first two matches comfortably. Just feel with Jimmy starting to crack. Yep. I only say that because he's standing directly behind me now. Yeah, nicely played from Tony. Really, really good now. That was a really lovely shot to move this, this ball here. Give himself the angle required. Just doesn't want to be too casual here. Still needs to get the job done. does just like that will be another 10 points it'll be 121 playing 78 if he pops this give him a lead of 43 yeah beautiful yeah just like that they do get that continue that momentum Continue to just hold this under-21 team at bay. And next game up. Will feature Alexandra Andres. And we'll come up against... Roland Lopez. Yeah, Ro Ronald Lopez. Oh, Ronald. Great to have, just I say, this contingent of players that have migrated here to New Zealand, whether it be out of the Philippines or out of Asia, that have really just lifted the standard of Q Sports, along with the likes of Marco Toysha and clearly young Sullivan Clark as well. So it's in a good space at the moment. And there we go. That is that lead at the moment, 43 points. They'll be doing the maths in their head. There's still plenty of time here for the under-21s, but they won't want to drop this one. As I said, if they go ahead by more than 50 points with a round to play, it is all over, folks. This is the fourth round you're watching, the second match of the fourth round. Live from the Massey Club in Pukekohe. If you are inspired by what you see and you are watching this, don't forget to check out the Massey Clubs. Harua down there in Taranaki, Hamilton Club, of course, Glen Eden, New Lynn. Pukekohe here in the Auckland region as well and still looking to further expand in time. But as mentioned by my co-commentator Zane, he's talked very much about what this club has done for his young son Blake Bernard, who's in action, and 
the coaching, the holiday programs and just the pathways that they're providing, trying to teach these young players, taking some of the guesswork out for them at a young age. So, Yeah, all my kids. I've got a daughter, Sydney Bernard. She's in the New Zealand under-16 team. They're out there having a hit against the seniors as well. And then I've got a younger daughter, Lena, um, 12 years or 11 years old. Um, she's playing in all the leagues. A wide range of age for kids in that. They do really well. And where does your wife sit in all of this? Oh, she's, she picks up the cue. She's pretty handy. Like you said before, it's probably where they get all the talent from. <laughs> no, but it's funny, isn't it? You suddenly come in and think, I never thought cues for it to be where the kids go, but they have gone. And I've got two young kids now, and I'm just a taxi service most of the time. Oh, what do they do? Uh, surf life saving, swimming and water polo. Oh, nice. And my little guy's right into his football, but yeah, you know, pretty pretty proficient. Daughter's particularly very good, strong. And we live out at Mirawa on the west coast, clearly. So big surf life saving club out there, but great sport to get into too. It's just so tough and just really good skills for later in life. Oh, as long as all the kids are having fun. Well, that's it. The key thing's having fun. There's not a lot of fun in swimming. So if you're going to swim, you have to want to do it. Fortunately, my young one does. A hard sport, not a lot of uh, visual stimulation. So Lopez, he promoted that nine very well. Yeah, he just wants to put it in break play. This, just break this little cluster up here, does he? Does he just want to move? Or does he feel that he's got the plant there if he needs it? Oh, is he just maybe no, comes back, feels he's got it. He needs it. Does he look to play that now, or does he come back down the table? I think he's going to play it now. Nicely done. I tell you, I tell you what, this senior team's very good. Been consistent throughout the whole match. You just feel like too. You know, I've watched a lot of these guys over the last three or four years. You just feel like they're just really starting to come into their own, not just individually but also collectively, and could do something really special again. At, the VNAA. They won the World Teams Championship about five years ago in New Zealand. And they'll be looking to try and replicate that. Of course, there are a whole lot of different formats within the team environment. It's a really nice balanced team. It's always good to have a guy like Jimmy, the professor, a part of the team as well, because he can just offer so much coaching advice. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to do here. He got on the wrong side. He might have to try to put it down the end so he gets a natural angle on the black. But he's going in the middle. He's just got to avoid all the little balls down the end. So from off oh, two he's, rails. Yeah, he's done that easy. Yeah, nice opportunity. So he's got... Yeah. And so he's just got to run this up past that one yellow. And it will be a further 10 points. He's going to knock it into the oh. side. Missed it. Missed it. Wow. Come on, Alex. I thought initially it was the top yeah. left pocket was his option, and then he went for that middle pocket because clearly he couldn't see a way through. And now it's here for Alexandra Andres. Can she get it done? Does she believe? She's probably sitting there thinking, oh, well, that match is done and dusted. Yep, I was she ready to turn it over. herself back at the table, and now she's got to get herself composed. It's all there, so she's just got to pretend that Jimmy's just running a coaching session with her. It's just a case of sinking these balls one by one. She's definitely capable of doing this. It's just whether they've got the temperament with the television and the pressure. Oh, she's grown up in this environment. I was just about to say, that's good night, nurse. But if um, Alex can run this out as a valuable 10 points... Yeah, right back in it. I mean, the thing is that they've picked up seven, haven't they? So just pulling it back by three points. But it keeps under that 40-point margin, which does say that it's not going to end prematurely if we do go into a final round. What well, could end up prematurely, but not that premature. Oh, that's a nice positional shot. Yeah, she's got to get herself up the other end of the table. Screw this back. Oh, didn't maybe get quite enough on it. Yeah, she might have to take the three now. Just 
get a natural angle yeah. back for that seven. Just wanted to draw that back mm. a little bit more. And now tough shot here, it needs to make this. Big shot. Big shot under oh, pressure, great shot under pressure what. from Andres. That is good, that is really good. She got a good result there. Yep. I tell you what, don't underestimate the pressure she was feeling on that shot. Now, done the work, Alex, get this one done. Nice weight, comes back, and now just the eight ball to pick up this. They will move to 88 points. It'll be 128 playing 88. So that'll be a 40 point difference. And sinks it and does it nicely. Oh, they stay alive. Sheridan, the big bounce, Burmester is back up. He's playing the man at the top. Rolden Largo. Yeah, 30 points is that lead. So, I want to win one of these. Need to find 10 points here somehow, these under 21s. One go down, I didn't see it. No, try break, I think. It looks like he's gone to sit back down. Mind you, the uh, shoes, no, it's no, coming back, so something clearly one. has gone down. Yeah, I think there's only six big ones up. So now he has to decide what he wants to play here. Oh, there's not a lot of trouble. He's going to go immediately with the stripes. So this could be a very, very fast frame, knowing the quality of this man. Still have a path. Oh, he's got the 12. He can come down the end. Got some options, but we talk about the unforced errors. And he is playing that. He's going to play that in the end. He's going to go that top <coughs> left-hand corner, or just bottom right as we see it now. Cuts it nicely, stops it. Oh, he's putting himself into trouble. Yeah, he's going to have to pull out a little bit of a miracle here. Oh, I, still, I think the 10's still on for a pot. He's still in a bit of trouble, though, as mentioned by Zane. Zane Bernard alongside of me in commentary. Oh, nice pot. Yeah, he's still not comfortable for... Oh, he's got the 11 in the middle. What am I talking about? It's sometimes it's easy, isn't it? You yeah. tend to focus on that object ball in the commentary and you're sort of not actually looking visually wide enough at some of the other options that they do have. And... I think sometimes it's because we get caught up in the nine ball, ten ball, where you've got to go in order, and then clearly in the eight ball you can play anyone. And so you tend to get into a habit of looking at the immediate object ball in front of you. And so now this is the money shot right here. Yeah, right shot. here, folks. Tough shot. This, and it might just be too much of an ask for this New Zealand team to come back. They trail at the moment by, what have we got, one... 28 playing 88, haven't we? What have we got? 40 point difference. So, does he look to possibly play any safety shot here? Does he have an option? One shot. One shot. Put one now in the coffin of the juniors. Cuts it, oh, cuts it well it. too. He brings oh, it back. Wow. Is he lucky? Is he lucky? Does he get the bounce? He snook it himself, has he? Does he have a path? We'll go above the table. Have a look, folks. It's not over yet. Tough shot. I think he's got an angle. He's, yeah, he's definitely got an angle carefully there. Carefully doesn't go in off. Yeah, he could he could elect to hit it off the the brown ball. And then he can control the white a little bit better. 
Oh, they're way in for Andy. Might as well just go for the cat. Just thought the man Albert Grammer, wait for a wait, nice and simple. Yeah. Oh, it does it, does it, and brilliant, brilliant from Ronald Rodan Largo. Does and it off now the it is one thirty-eight plays eighty-eight. That lead now fifty points, and we are now starting to get into the serious, serious end for these juniors. A fifty-point lead at the end of this round, and. We will not be playing the final round unless they decide to simply do it for experience. So 138 plays 88. 50 point margin. And now Roldan Largo. Who's up at the table? Richard Alfonso, I think, is it? Yep. So Richard Alfonso at the table, my apologies. Comes across, well, good break, but dry break. Opportunity here now for this young man, Ramatullah Nazari. Does he believe? 50 points behind. Second to last match of this round two. Yeah, they need two tens. Need two tens. Two ten zips. And they've got a chance. He's got soft hands, isn't he? He sort of plays quite, quite an open stance. Gonna have to take something on long here. I don't know if anything's on. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, how unlucky is that? Wow. Gravity just not quite going his way. I'm not sure what the outcome of the cue ball would have been, but certainly took the shot on. Yeah, importantly, um, it's an obstacle for the one. Well, you'd hope with a shot like that, you at least come out with second prize. This man all day has been destroying the dreams of the juniors. I tell you, if they win this one, it's going to come down to your young fella who will definitely need to win his last match. I think they've got to win every match from here on. Well, as long as they're not trailing by any more than 61 points at the end of this, they've got a chance. Trail by 50 at the moment. Yeah, just the one. He's just got to run down for the one. Lovely little touch. Stop shot, a little bit of an angle. So Richard Alfonso maintaining the good form that we've seen all day from him. Just the one error earlier. Uncharacteristic error. Oh, 
unlucky. Hit the jaw. And snookered himself. Just commentator's curse. Yep. Just, just the one error. And then, as we say it, as we've said all day, and often we've said it, it is the commentator's curse. But now we'll need to be very methodical in his approach. So he's looking to go. And so turn position over. And now real opportunity for Zanari. With ball in hand. You'd like to think he should get the job done. Yeah, I think he takes a brown one into the middle. 11, take the two balls on the call. He opens this up. He's going all the way now. So he's clearly got a pathway through to the black here. He sees it clearly. So 10 ball, blue stripe ball. And he's got options here. He's yeah, sort of in the middle of both shots. But he's got the, so the he's brown, big brown stripe ball here. So middle pocket, tough pocket, cannot kiss that corner at all. Needs to play with this the right weight. Just needs to run this in gently. Does it beautifully. Comes back. Two shots away from giving this under 21s a slight outside chance. The thing here the, the senior team's doing is they're getting the points on the board. Yeah, making it very difficult. Yeah, even when they lose, it's 10-7, 10-6. Yeah, nice so shot. This to wrap up the frame and tick up 10 points, which will mean 145. We'll play 98, which will mean it will be a lead of 47 points. So, juniors will need to win this one and try and prevent the carnage that potentially could still play out for the losing team. And what a match we got up. Ma got the master and the apprentice. We have indeed. So we've got Blake Bernard up against Jimmy the Professor Henry. Jimmy wins this and it is all over. Well, I hope you just have the one round left. 50 points will be up for grabs. At the moment, the margin is 47. Come on, dry break. <laughs> so it needs to be a dry break, and then they've got to really just try and prevent the men's black team from picking up four points. Because if my maths are correct, and if they pick up four points, that might still be enough to get the job done even if they lose the frame. <coughs> oh, have we got it? Dry break by Jimmy Henry. This is Blake's chance. They're all on. There doesn't seem to be too many problems here. Just got to compose himself. I think he likes the big stripes here. Yeah, he's going to need to be absolutely methodical. So. There's one. So all you've got to do now, break it down shot by shot. But the shot includes control of the cue ball. So pocketing the ball is only half the point. The full point or the full ball comes with the control of the cue ball. That's what he's thinking at the moment. 100% he'll be thinking not to let Jimmy have a shot. Doesn't want Jimmy to get to the table and turn this game around and take control of it.
going low on the cue ball. So just going to bring this back. That underspin on it. Or backspin. He's going to flick the 12 on the way through, sinking this 9. shot. Still a good pot needed here with the ball on the rail. He zone up that cannon. Has Brown on to the green one. Big shot, cuts it, drops. Oh. Got himself in difficulty now though. Snookered himself. Boy, big chance here. And what are his options? Well, if he knew how to do a jump shot. He'd bring out the jump cue. Yep. Yeah. Still got that cluster of balls there though, so. Needs to hide it. Not too easy for Jimmy. to give away a foul. And Jimmy will address and assess the situation. Oh, he's put Blake's ball over the pocket. I think he's, Blake can somehow get this 10 out. Maybe he can do it now. If he can get the, is that the brown brown strike ball into the middle pocket. Well, and he's going to go for it, it. Yep. He's going to go for oh, it. Oh, he's got to. You know, the juniors are, are down. He's playing Jimmy Henry. This is his chance. Dream scenario television. Yep. Dad's commentating. No pressure, young man. No he's pressure, be Blake. Run, running into the 10. Focus on the pot. Good things will happen. Oh, he didn't get the pot. It might be still okay if that boarding's blocking the six. And it is. Yeah, but with all the balls open, Jimmy's going to be too smart here. He'll pull something out. Stop that, that score for you on this frame. So now, the Jimmy Henry. They're too busy watching the game, not updating the score. Oh, I didn't realise that's what <laughs> you're doing over there, the score. I thought it was coming from my other side, actually. I wasn't sort of certainly hinting. So 4-1. Oh, what a shot. Jimmy gets rid of one. Oh, and here we go. And Typical Jimmy style. Comes off the cushion. No, Jimmy's smart, mate. And yeah. now a world of trouble here for Blake Bernard. Look, even if he can hit his um, stripes. Well, you just feel that this might just be the moment where it's all over. The young fellas might just get the job done. Like I've been around Jimmy long enough now. If you get a chance, you have to take it. Otherwise, he's going to turn that match around and screw in those screws. could see what he was trying to do. He was in no man's land. He was probably trying to get that black in front of the six. But, but you know, like I say, what, what I'm liking about young Blake and what I'm liking about these juniors is the fact that you can see what the intent is. Okay, have they executed it? But it's the fact that they're thinking that way, which I think is a real credit to them. And now, Jimmy, I think you'd think we'll just be joining the dots here. Yep. 
And so this will take them to an unassailable lead with one round to go if they do win this. Yeah, Jimmy's one player when he's sure of himself and he knows, knows a run out, he, he acts pretty quickly. Yeah, he's still got to execute it though. He has said he hasn't had a lot of time at the table, so he's still just got to make sure that he's got his cue working well. Look at that though, he just comes across the table beautifully, does the professor. And this will take them out to 155, 103 with a round to play. So technically this will be for the match for this series. And it is, so Jimmy Henry puts it down, 155, plays 103. And just like that, through four rounds, it is all over, officially. That's whether or not they decide to play this fifth round. They are going to play the fifth round. Oh, here we go. So maybe we could double it up. And now the gunslinger from Eindhoven enters the building, the great Marco Teuscher. So we'll bring Marco into commentary at some point. Okay, we'll bring Marco Toysha into commentary now. We do apologise there. Not that we've had any problem with this. Zane can focus a little bit on that scoring. We'll bring him in. So a very good afternoon to the man who they simply call the gunslinger from Eindhoven, <laughs> Marco Toysha. He's been ranked as high as 23 in the world, former US United States Open 10 ball champion back in 2019. Afternoon to you, Marco. Welcome, how you doing? Very good, thank you. Well, we've actually just technically, from a scoring point of view, the juniors can't win this. Yeah. But nice to see them playing the fifth round, gaining that valuable experience against the senior players. It's an interesting format. Yeah. There's not a lot of room for error, is there? No, it's uh, it's always been uh, pretty tough, especially on the valley tables. Um, not much room to uh, to make mistakes. So it's, yeah, it's pretty aggressive and, you know, make one mistake and usually cost you the frame. So Kieran Dempsey with the break. It's been good today, Kieran Dempsey. Ooh. Oh, just as I say, that cue ball goes down, and we've seen one of the stripes go as well. And so, what have you been up to? You've got a big year ahead, or have you been overseas already? Yeah, I've been travelling a couple of overseas trips, and uh, I have a bit of a break right now for the next maybe two months. The, uh, one month on New Zealand right now, and another month uh, before I travel overseas again. Um, my, next, uh, my next event will be in uh, Saudi Arabia. Oh, like, nice. Uh, well yeah. done. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to that one and been uh, doing a lot of practice and gymming and been a good um, good routine right now. So, yeah. So, Ronald Lopez. What's, what, what is it about Ronald Lopez's game? What type of player is Ronald? Um, yeah, Ronald, is a, you know, he's been around the game for a long time here in New Zealand. Um, he's been doing... You know, pretty well in New Zealand. He's won a lot of events, and um, thing is with Ronald, he's always in action. He always gambles a lot uh, when it comes to uh, American pool. Um, played him a couple of big matches. Um, but this doesn't look too good. I mean, um, looks like he's snookered and. I think he only can see the two ball right now at the moment, so looks like a Kieran is getting get it is gonna get back to the table on this frame. Yeah, it's not a lot of room for error is there, it's just in the one frame we've seen. He Yeah, the only thing the only thing is yes, the two ball. Um I don't think he can bank the two ball. What safety options does he have here? Yeah. Is it a case of? Oh, he's going to try to jump it, jump. which is which is not a bad uh, a bad option of. because the five ball is pretty it's pretty makeable. So this will be a television shot, folks. Five ball settle back. Here we go. So Lopez will look to jump. This twelve ball touches oh, it though. Yeah. So the snooker immediately. So he does give the ball up. So not the best jump shot he's seen. But we did talk earlier, didn't we? With these particular tables being seven foot. Yeah. That the that the slate base is not as thick as what you might get on the nine foot table, yeah. so you don't get quite as much pop out of the yeah, jump shot. That's correct. Still not a really easy layout. I think if the fourteen is on in the in the corner pocket where the purple five is, uh, I think he will start with the yeah with the nine ball because that's the only problem ball that he has on the table. 
so ideally it's making the 11, making the nine ball and then um, 14 and pretty much it's all over from there. You guys always make it sound so easy and from there it's all over. Love it, love it. But they do make it easy, don't they? Remarkable players. So Kieran Dempsey, young man out of Hamilton. Looking to play up the table, oh. hit it with plenty of power. I don't think I don't think he had to try to open it. I think he had a chance to um, to actually just make the 14. If you look at it, it's like it looks like the 14 is on in the corner pocket, past the five. Um, um, yeah, and um, yeah, I think he tried to open it. It was a bit a uh, bit of an interesting shot there. Still not over because the five ball is still a little bit um, trapped in, uh, yeah, in no the corner there. for it at the moment. Unless he can get somehow down this other end of the table, but then he's just got a no, wall of large strike balls that he's got to get through. So I think he will use the tree ball uh, to give himself like an angle to bump into the five. or um, To look and try and move it. Yeah. yeah. So that is the key thing. It's a remarkable yeah, game. He's, he's already pointing to that, uh, the line of the from the tree to the five. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, he tried to stun it. Uh, that's why I would never stun a ball like that. I would probably just play for top spin. So you're all guaranteed to give yourself a shot. Oh, and misses it too. Yeah. Now the door is open. So he's well and left it truly ajar. So real opportunity now here for Kieran Dempsey to come in and just clean up this frame. <laughs> Yeah, you look like you're in reasonably good shape fitness-wise, and so yeah. you've been doing a bit of aerobic work. Yeah, and no, I think um, the last three and a half months have been like, you know, seven days a week, just into the cardio and the weights, and yep. yeah, just like, I think, yeah, mm. a pretty slick uh, mm. with, the, with the gymming for a while, so it's good to be, be back into it, and yeah, I'm looking forward to the big events this year. It looks like it's just enough. Yeah, I think it's important. You know, I think um, I often say this with a lot of sports that require concentration. Cricket's a really good example when you're batting or whatever, that aerobic fitness, don't underestimate it. I think the fitter you are, the greater clarity you have for longer periods of time. And this is a game where you can be inside all day. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you've got to make sure you have clarity. Yeah, and I think I think over the last um, the last year, I felt like I wasn't as fit like around the table, especially like uh, deeper into the, in the, into the events. So, um, yeah, and that'll definitely help uh, moving forward. So Kieran Dempsey wrapping up that particular frame. So that's the first win that the juniors have had for a little while. But nice for them to bounce back and try and close up the score. Can't win it from here, but they do pick up a valuable 10 points. And so 160 plays 113. It'll be Alexandra Andres up now. I'm up against Roldan Largo. So let's have a look at the break. He's looked excellent today, this young man, or this gentleman. Not sure how young he is, I guess well, it's all relative. And so we've oh, seen. Oh, scratch as well. Okay, so cue ball's gone down. And we also saw one strike ball go. Not sure what the other ball is. Certainly two have gone down. So now Alexandra Andres comes to the table. She's had some good performances today. She showed some real consistency. Only on one occasion probably did we see her get the yips, if I can use that term. Yes, good opportunity here. Um, after this one. After this frame. Um, yeah, I think the opening shot is probably the hardest one. I think she... I don't think this is allowed what she's doing right now. 
Yeah. Oh, it's, it's nice uh, from Roland to tell her um, about the rule. Wh what is the rule? So she tried to shoot, so we get she get ball hand behind the line after the break because she make the foul on the break, so you get only ball hand behind the behind the line. Um, but you're not allowed to take any balls that's in the um, in the D. In the in the little area where the yeah, behind, behind the, the line. line. Yeah. Yep. So um, so yeah, you have to shoot a ball outside that area. So she was trying to just shoot the 14. And that was the little bit of the problem ball. So as well. she can put the cue ball inside of that ball area, yeah. but she yeah. must play a ball outside of it. Yep. Yeah. And it's only off a foul off the break. Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh, missed it. The opportunity was there, and wow, she has now provided another immediate point there for Roldan Lago. Yeah, he will be going for the for the stripes because the the tr the problem ball that the the head was the 14, but um. Yeah, if you make the any stride ball and you just make, get rid of the 11 ball, the 14 will be on in the pocket as well. So not many problems left on the table, to be honest. Oh, he's going for the 15. It's not an easy shot. Oh, that's he didn't get the right result I think he was hoping for. I think he's looking up maybe to playing the combination that will give him like a winning sit winning situation. So if he if he gets on if he makes this one and he get a shot on the on the fourteen after making the eleven, he'd so be basically just a little plant there. Yeah. Pops one in, brings it back down the table. Yeah, no, he's, he's in a pretty uh pretty, pretty good position yeah. here now. So is he looking to play the fifteen or is he looking to play the nine? Yeah, he's nice no, he's playing the I think it's the thirteen and try 13. to bump, My bump into the 13. ten ball. Yeah. Nicely done. Still a little bit work to do. Ideally, it's like getting rid of the yeah, of the nine ball, because that's the only problem. Yeah. So he decides to get rid of it early, yeah. which is what Jimmy always says: get rid of yeah. the trouble ball early. Ooh. Address it early. Is he okay? He's yeah, okay. He's perfect. Yeah. Just got out of way with that. Could have ended up accidentally snooking himself or putting himself in a precarious position. But he does come back. So well done, Lago. Five two, looking to make it a ten two. Sweep continue to extend this lead over this New Zealand under 21s. Yeah, it plays it perfect. And it's be interesting to see if he screw this one back or just go like around the, around this five ball. Yeah, he's going around it. That's the, yeah. the best way to do it. Nicely played. So one shot away from wrapping up yet another one of these matches, which will then take us to the third match of the final round, which will see Big Bounce Burmester to come to the table. Alongside of me, the man they call oh. the gunslinger from Eindhoven, Marco Teuscher, bringing you the expert comments, and that frame is wrapped up. And a pretty quick frame after a little bit of a messy start. And now Big Bounce Burmester will come up to the table. So we will have another change in commentary. Yeah. No, no, we look forward to it. Keep up the good fitness work, my good man. We can change your name from the gunslinger to the Iron Man. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that, it, mate. <laughs> you aerobic animal, you. Marco, the aerobic animal, toy shot, or Marco, the gunslinger from Eindhoven. You can text us here. I don't think we've got a text number, but if you do, <laughs> just put it in the comment section of the YouTube. Gunslinger from Eindhoven. The aerobic animal from Eindhoven. Okay. So here we go. Underway in this third match of the fifth round of this intriguing series between the New Zealand juniors and the seniors and Sheridan Burmester up against Richard Alfonso. Alfonso just a really really experienced player. Big bounce plays a lot of his pull out of Glen Eden Club in the west there in Auckland. bring back into the commentary we will bring in Zane Bernard he's also keeping an eye on our scoring 
Another opportunity here for Big Bounce Burmester. Probably, probably a chance for the juniors just to make the match look a bit more respectable. Oh, and he's oh, scratched. Scratched, and so there we go. Foul on the cue ball. So that goes down. And now the great man will come to the table and probably should get the job done from here, Richard Alfonso. It's another one of those, I hate to say it, but almost an unforced error. You seen by Big Bounce first. It's been a long day for these guys. They've been going since 10 o'clock this morning, sitting around. So it's now 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so six hours. Up and down, up and down. And maybe the fact that they know probably this can't actually win the match as such. I just wonder where the edge has disappeared a little bit. Maybe the jeopardy's not there. It's already been decided. But valuable, valuable match experience and match practice. Just potting practice here for Richard. Yeah, he still doesn't want to be too casual about it, though, does he? You know, still just wants to make sure he gets it done. Making sure he does control that cue ball, gets the right weight. You know, no, I'll say you can train all you want, but practice all you want, but nothing simulates a match like a match or a game like a game. You know, it's amazing how things just change. And, you know, you often see a rugby team that gets out to a 40 or 50 point. What does the coach want? They want that team to maintain their shape, maintain the form, stick to the game plan. And I think that's the message for all of these players here is, hey, whether we're losing, whether we're winning, let's be the best we can be. Let's stick to it. That's all right. Oh, he's, oh, he's run back over. This is nice. Probably just going to screw this back a little bit with the black in the middle pocket, top middle there. So one shot away from wrapping up another. We'll just have then the two matches remaining. One will feature Ramatola Nazari, and the other will feature Blake Bernard on the junior side. We will have Richard Fa'irao up. And I think we might have the professor. Will be the professor up, Jimmy Henry. Yeah, he gave Blake a lesson uh, last round. And that's why they call him the professor, because he'll take you back to school. One of the smartest men when it comes to Q Sports. Absolute got the mind of a Q Sport professor. Lovely, lovely man. Very gentle, very humble. And has time for everybody. Oh, Ramatola, if we can get a 10 here, we'll be the best of the juniors in the second session. Oh, another dry break from the professor. No, I think we saw the... Oh, did it? Yeah, I think we saw down? the... T was it the three red ball? I'm just sometimes oh, it's hard yeah, to know whether yeah, it might have yeah. been the orange five ball. Just the colours look a little different when we're yeah, above. Still at the table. So I think it was the orange five ball that did go down. He'll just want to knock these off one by one, won't he? I don't think he's too phased by anything he sees on the table at the moment, Jimmy. Just look at the little lovely touch there. He's got to come back for that. Two ball. Oh, I got a little bit straight on this one. <laughs> yeah, so they're electing to go for the six. A little bit short. Oh, he must be tired. A little bit straight, a little bit short. Still at the table, though. Yeah, still at the table, though, Jimmy. He'll have a plan, he'll have a way out of this. Always does the professor. And that's sometimes when you just don't get to the table enough to practice yourself. You just don't quite control the weight, get a feel for things. So he's looking to bring this back into this pocket closest to him. So it's going to be a big shot if he pulls this off. 
Does bring it back, does bring it back, and drops oh, it in wow. for quality. Does he put the... Oh, go? unlucky, and off. Oh, oh, here's a chance. That was a box off a <laughs> shot, though, initially from Jimmy. And I tell you what, he's got to be unlucky for that to be in and off. A really, really good shot. And you look across at the juniors and just give them a little reminder. And tell you what, there was nothing deliberate in it. Jimmy's not a guy that's going to give these yellow, uh, give these juniors, hey, I'll, you know, let you win. He's not that guy. He's a competitor. He's a fierce competitor. And I tell he you what, he doesn't a, give any inches. No, take a look at his face, folks, because if you ever see him in a bar one night and you've maybe had a few too many drinks and you think you're a bit ambitious at the pool table, don't play him. Yep, walk away. You'll lose $10 in the first frame. <laughs> By the end of it, you'll go home bankrupt. So an opportunity here for Ramatola Nazari to clear the table. I think a real difficulty there for him. Just to bring the cue ball back into the table, to the middle of the table. That's what we'll start to see now. There we go. And now we can just pack them off. One, two, three, four. little screw back. So two balls away for Ramatola Nazari to pick up a really valuable 10 points and just close the gap. And we'll come now just to the final match of the day, which will feature one of the real rising stars of the sport in Blake Bernard. Little cut shot, done enough here. Oh, come Got on. himself a knock. Get a should be kiss. okay there. Yep. So, should be a player of this quality. Have no problem putting it into that pocket. Turn straight to Jimmy and say thank you. Yeah, and I think he, little heart rate increase there for a moment. I thought he may have stuffed that up, but got a little bit too straight on it. But he's just oh, always no. missed it. Now oh. he's missed it. Now he doesn't have the chance to say to Jimmy, does he? <coughs> he might as well just concede right now. I think Jimmy Love went free inside his head then. I think Jimmy Henry got inside his head. And we talk about it, he got the yips. He was thinking about the victory perhaps before it had come. And now Jimmy's got a bit of work here. We'll just cut this in and then just run this back down. And yep, and there we go. And Jimmy Henry will wrap this one up. So he, s he snatches victory from the jaws of defeat as Jimmy Henry. He'll sit them down afterwards and probably slap a few of them around and go, look, I didn't teach you to play that way. You should never have let me win that one. And now the last match of the day. And keep an eye, write the name down, folks. Blake Bernard out of White Throat. Both his sisters play it. His mum's apparently pretty handy. And Dad drives the taxi. <laughs> oh, he's pl playing the inform Tony. Tony's surprised me all yeah. day today. Uh, sometimes it's the ones that walk quietly but carry the big stick. Hope you have enjoyed the coverage. Don't forget to, if you are looking for pool equipment, you are looking to buy the right gear or help certainly enhance your performance, do check out Predator, their range. Don't forget to join the Massé Club and the Valley Tables with the Predator cloth on the tables as well. World class. What you're playing here is what you'll get overseas, which is what Massé do offer. I got one down. Nice, tidy break. Yeah, really good break. Yeah. He's got some options here. Probably be going for littles here. Yeah, let's just have a look across the table where you've got those two. So you've got the two stripes down the left end of the table up against the cushion. He hasn't performed to his high standards in the second set playing, I think this, I playing the adults. But, but I do think it's hard in a one-off frame situation where you're yeah. up and down all the time. You know, I'd like to see him... Get a bit of redemption here, though. When you get it, when you you know, just a chance for these guys to get a bit of momentum. But it's a great learning experience, as you said. You know, this young man plays every form of the game. Maybe his preference is ten ball, but yeah. Well, this year um, he's knuckling down, and he's going to be dedicated to ten ball. So 
that's probably going to be predominantly what he's going to be playing. Yeah, not a bad thing at some point to specialise, but have an understanding of everything. And with the World Junior 10 ball in Hamilton in September, he's got an eye on trying to make that team. How old is he? Uh, just turned 17. Just turned 17, okay. So he's up, what, up at under 21, is it? Yep. And just, yeah, just so he's got a few guys ahead of him, age-wise. That doesn't necessarily mean they're better players. Yeah, been a great day of pool today. Excellent setup. Awesome commentary of you, Mark. Oh, no, look, you guys are um, the ones that provide the um, real analysis. I'm fascinated by it. I'm passionate about what I do, but I found the sport incredibly intriguing. It's thoroughly enjoyable as we see this young man go to work. The technician. Have you got a nickname? Yeah, they call him the Smiling Assassin. The Smiling Assassin. There you go. So Blake the Smiling Assassin Bernard. He's got a Facebook page. He's all over Facebook. Gives commentary on all his tournaments. Oh, um, fantastic. Some na names naturally sort of just come out of nowhere, don't they? Uh, yeah. Well, know. it started off as a silent assassin. One of his old coaches gave it to him. But because he's always smiling in that, I thought it was more relevant to change it to Smiling Assassin. And he's such a happy kid. the key thing as long as they enjoy it so now Blake Bernard looking to try and just close out oh I screwed it back a little bit but he can cut this in got to have a little bit of control here so he doesn't go down run down too far down the table I, is he comfortable knowing that there's live streaming there's television type cameras around oh he's last couple of years he's been in front of everything everything that's good it's good to get a young age just yeah. be able to switch off at the end of the day just peripheral things don't really affect the way you play sometimes too though you know you do talk to some players they have hotter lights and the television tables and the cloth can run a little bit quicker from table to table so they do need to make their adjustment and just like that he gets the job done and there it is folks so this series officially comes to an end and it will be the New Zealand men's who beat this New Zealand under 20 team comfortably in the finish by 190 points to 127 but really the story is about the valuable experience these youngsters gain from it we saw earlier this morning when they played this, the first of the New Zealand men's team and they ended up winning that but the pressure that was on in that final round and that's the pressure that they will take into these individual competitions that's the pressure they need to learn to deal with to be able to maintain that clarity and I think that's what we saw today from Kieran Dempsey, Sheridan Burmester, Alexandria Andres, Blake Bernard, Ramatola Nazari and Gulam that we saw earlier today and so that brings our coverage to a close here and there we are confirming it so Nazari on points the best of the New Zealand under 21s but it's not sometimes that's just the rub of the green to be honest the fact is that they are five six very very good cures that are representing New Zealand at this under 21 level and then well we're starting to get some great depth at a senior level as well remembering that Marco Toysha not available. Sullivan Clark's not here either. Boy, they're a good-looking bunch too. Not just talented, but good-looking. <laughs> so, well done to Jimmy Henry, Roldan Lago, Richard Alfonso, Ronald Lopez, and Tony Faadel. Uh, just some final thoughts quickly from you there, Zane. Yeah, it's been an exciting day. Great um, experience for all the juniors there. They started out um, really hot um, and come back a little bit. They managed to hold on for the win in the first series against the other senior team but I think this second senior team they're going to do well over in Vegas yeah no and there's still yeah, time between now and July so still plenty of 
uh, tournament play to come. We hope you have enjoyed the coverage here, courtesy of Massey, New Zealand Pool, of course, Predator, all of our sponsors. Um, so look, on behalf of myself and my co-commentators, it's been an absolute privilege and a pleasure. Don't forget, pick up a queue, go and check out the team at Massey, go and talk to some of the coaches, take your game to the next level, allow them to take out some of the guesswork, and we look forward to having your company next time. Thank you, Mark. Uh, I like the SP2 because, one, the wrap goes all the way down. Um, the design is elegant. It's not too much. It's not too little. You know, color scheme looks really nice. And then the 12.9 Revo just fits on there perfect. So to actually go through the process and see how every shaft is made and how they can uh, tweak it this way or tweak it that way. Or, so it's, it, the process is incredible. And just being able to understand it and have trust that it's made the right way and, you know, it's formed this way every single time when you need it. It's just, it's like uh, having a little coach on your shoulder while you're playing.